Ai tui e tarangi e tui honei tui a te papa e takoto nei tui a te taura herenga waka te taura herenga tangata nau mai hoki mai kai oku iti kai oku rahi kai oku whakatike tike ki tenei te papa hotanga o te whakatai tai tama te kauma toru te kauma whano hoki o tenei Aotearoa New Zealand Maori Rugby League ngā mihi nui ki te hau kāinga ngā rotorua nui o kahumata momoe ko ia nei Ko te motu i whakai ke mai rā ki runga i te pae pae poto o hau mai tawhiti. Hoa e nō rā e te iwi ko tēnei te rangi i tuarua o tō tātou whakatātai ko tēnei te rangi o ngā whiringa whaiti me te whiringa toa anō hoki. Ana ko tēnei ko te kemu tuatahi o te atanei, e wāinga nui a te rongo Māori ki tawhiti me tō tātou whānau no te tairā whiti o ngā ti kahungunu. Hoa e nō rā e te iwi ko Pātara Behrman a hau. Ko Utah Wilson a hau. Awesome, Fano. Welcome to uh, the first of our live stream games. A thanks to One Foundation, uh, to Above uh, Sound and Production as well, bringing you this live stream action today. Rotorua Lakes Council and Rotorua Bay of Plenty Rugby League as well uh, for looking after our grounds and providing it in pristine condition for our Tamariki to be able to perform at their highest level throughout this tournament. This is, of course, the finals day of our 13s and 14s Tama tournament this year. Ko waika hua, ko waika tohu, ko waika eke ki te tihi o angitū. Ko ea ko te pātai nui e huama, tai hua ke kākite. Yep, who will take out the 13s and 14s grade today? We shall find out, and it starts with these two teams. Ngāti kau hunga nui at number one, Dante Renata Munro. He'll be playing standout today. Number two, Anthony Hanley uh, Karauna will be at centre. And number three, Munro, he'll be at the back in the, the loose forward role. Number five, Kani Waidia, he'll be playing halfback. And number six, Darius Rao. Ramia Brown on the wing. Seven, Tahuwaka Kupa, he'll also be playing on the wing. Number nine, Ngai Tahu Waide will be the fullback. At ten, John Col Cooker at second row. At eleven, Cruz Tango will be up at the prop. Twelve, Bobby John Hitter at prop. Thirteen, Julius Raihama. Second row and also prop today. 14 Kays Ropiha, 15 Leti John Hetter, 16 Aries Bellamy, at number 17 Harlem Ray Dartana, number 20 Jared Stevenson, 21 Surah Bennett Dalbo. I think that's how you say it. Just read this writing here at the front. At number two Kipper Sims and 18 Eno Fowler. And for the Tedongo Modiki Tafiti team, looking like they're about to kick off to uh, Ngati Kahungunu. 
uh, at number one, Lazuriko Makawari, number two, Cody Willis, number three, Tarao Ngafika Karaitan, and number four, El Elysia Tui Laipa, uh, uh, number five, Lambros Toomanga, number six, Jaden Hapi, number seven, Te Aotuiroa Pirangi Kokaya, number eight, Jonas Rake, number nine, Payson Harper, number ten, and captain Eli Harboru, number eleven, Miki Mataupu, number twelve is Te Raimana Tahiata, number thirteen, Tayshin Taylor, number 14, Tyler Nukunuku, number 15, Dazras TV, 16, Isaiah Ferguson, Selkirk, and 17, Onyx Simmons. Excellent, and we had a great start to this game, starting off with a big hit, but the boy got straight back up again. Hey, oi, Makafokamua Te Poro, we have a knock on from Ngati Kahungunu, and it could be that, uh, yes, Tarongo Modi. We'll get the feed and the ball. And we got two referees out on the field there uh, today. The legend himself, uh, AJ. Uh, he is the uh, ex uh, he is the main uh, referee conductor here. And I believe there's two referees on there. Uh, maybe the young fella uh, that's there is, uh, is learning his craft as well. So uh, having AJ out there to help guide him through uh, this uh, tournament, so cup fight. Uh, Tirongo Modi with the ball. Yeah, up to the left hand side, and just as you're talking about the referees there, Patara, um, you know, we talk about our. Oh, oh, try. Oh, try to oh, we'll get back to that. We'll get back, we'll get back, to, back to that. To the <laughs> we look at the replay. A little offload uh, off to the winger. Looked like, uh, yeah, they completed their tackle, but a quick play the ball. A few, um, oh, look like yeah, a little bit of a head clash there. there. Yeah. But a friendly fire. Unfortunately, Unfortunately for uh, Ngāti Kahunganu there, but uh, Te Ronga Mauri Kitafiti opened the scoring and capitalised on the uh, friendly fire over there, taking the score 4-0. And that is Ngaitahu Waidea who is on the ground at the moment and player safety, of course. We hope that the young, the young fella is okay. We have a uh, few of our whanau over there. Tiro Tiro Haere Ana i te tamaitirae. He's moving around, which is a good sign, and uh, no doubt that'll probably be him for the rest of the day, uh, being concussion as well. And uh, so I don't, I can't see him returning to the game here, But he'll be in good hands, and we'll have our medics uh, check him over. So it's all our fun now of uh, young Aitahu. Pick the bite. He's in good hands, and we of course wish the best for his recovery. I'll kick it here from Te Rongo Modi Kitafiti, lining it up from the sideline. And we've seen some awesome kickers over the, the course of yesterday. We have indeed. And, um, yeah, look, can't rule, uh, can't rule them out. And it's That's struck a good nicely. Strike. Yeah, good <laughs> the flags are up. Oh, another one. Yeah, and the T boy uh, right there is really chuffed with the young fellas as well, giving them some big ups there. Kapai uh, Etama. And you're absolutely right, we've seen some really, oh, and um, yeah, hopefully the young fella's okay. He's, he's obviously in, uh, in a bit of pain at the moment. And Karoha ki aia, ka tukuna ngā karikia, me te aroha nui ki aakoe, tama, ka piki tōra ki runga ki aakoe. He's up yeah. and walking, he's up and walking uh, off the field, so that's definitely a good sign. Uh, but yeah, like you said, Pātara, wish him all the best uh, in his recovery. Um, and as we were talking about before, about the referees, um, before, you know, the try players time. rudely scored a try. How rude. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, we, we talk about, um, you know, the, our tournament's been pathways for players, but they're also pathways for, for other aspects of our game, for our Kaiwa Wao. And, um, you know, it's good to see some of our young Kaiwa Wao coming through, getting some training from um, uh, our more experienced referees, such as uh, AJ in there. Absolutely, and we've seen... Uh, James Bucky, uh, who, who, who has been officiating a few games in the NRL, uh, both as uh, linesman and uh, goal linesman as well, and he started at these tournaments. Yes, Bucky uh, Parkinson. Uh, Parkinson, sorry. Yeah. Yes. So, um, unfortunately for Rongo Modi Kitafiti, Te Rongo Modi Kitafiti, uh, balls just come off a hand and gone forward, so uh, Ngāti Kahunganu will get a scrum feed 40 metres out from the opposition try line with a uh, look to post some points back. Karoha ki te tatatakana. 
so uh, Ngāti Kahunga nui. Hot on attack. Here's number 15 here. Strong run, but equally strong defence. Number 8 there, nice tackle around the legs. Jonas Rake from Te Rongo Mauri Ki Tawhiti. Oh, and the big number 12 with a good spin move there. That is Bobby John Heta. Oh, but it's been pulled up for a forward pass. No, he's not happy about it either. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of timing issues. Yeah, he knows too because he just made about 10, 15 metres there. Oh, man. Yeah, and they're, in a, they're, in the, they're getting into the green zone, so definitely uh, opportunity gone missing there. Hopefully for Ngāti Kahungun and their supporters, they put in a big defensive effort here. So Rongo Mauri ki tawhiti. Te hare ana ki tawhiti. Going down oh. the far side. Ooh, does well to stay in there, does the winger. He did. Good peace of mind there. He needs to surrender the tackle so he didn't get taken out. Ka pai e tama. Setting it up there for the number four. Elysia tu laepa. Half taking the ball all the way to the line. Well into uh, Ngāti Kahungunu's zone now. There's Rongo Modi Kitafiti. Drops back the number 16 back under. Isaiah. Just shy of the 20 metre line now. Defenders falling over everywhere <laughs> uh, for Ngāti Kahungunu. There's Rongo Modi go to the left hand side. Nice shape play. They had the numbers to the left hand side, but. Fullback with his fancy footwork comes back infield, finds a little bit of space, but is eventually pulled down on the 10 metre line and also earning his side a penalty for a high shot. So, a fresh set of six here for Rongomori Kitafiti looking to extend their lead. Seven minutes gone in this first half. Hopefully, they keep the pressure on as well instead of going for the two and being the finals day as well. Some teams might opt to take the uh, points on offer. We've seen that their kicker can put it across. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, the, these games today getting a little bit tighter, the finals day and all that. Um, eight points up is makes the team have to score twice, but ten points up is even better. Absolutely. And one again, uh, the same try score, I think. Uh, the number nine, he can, he's going to be one to watch out for. Uh, the markers have to do their, do their job. Look at that. He just saw the gap right there. And Tricky. Yeah. Looks left, comes right. Peter. Peter. That was just a ten aque. Uh, that try. Oh, thank you very much. Now, fancy graphics there. Thanks to Above Sound and Production as well. They're doing a massive job for us here at Puget Fiddle. This is our call kicker again, Tayshan Taylor. Banged it over from the left hand touchline. He's on he's about oh, 10, 15 meters out from the the right side post. Judging from that first kick, he should be able to pop this one over. Yeah, Mind you, it's on the, the other Makutu, side. Yeah. The Makutu is on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but um, I think I found with, it looks like he's a right foot kicker. It's a little bit harder to kick it from the right side of the field because you've got that natural natural swing across and the ball often curves to the left. So um, see if he can make the, the adjustments to, to bang it over. Oh, I'm with Ito Patara. Mm. Yeah, showed his class on the first kick, surely. Surely. You can't be putting it on them this early. <laughs> Surely, yeah. First game of the day. And we've done it. Oh, we've done we've it. We've done it. We've done it. Oh, oh. man. Aroha mai, Etama. Aroha mai. Oh, no. <laughs> Score remains 10 points to nil. Mungo Modi Kitafiti over Ngati Kahunganu. Nine minutes gone in this first half of our first game for today. Yeah, that was really on the back of a, uh, a forward pass. We shifted the ball back to uh, Te Rongo Mauri, Kitafiti, and then followed up by a penalty, and uh, Te Rongo Mauri were able to capitalise on that mistake and on that penalty, and they go over to score. So for Ngāti Kahungunu, of course, a little bit of discipline, and we'll go a long way. Hopefully they don't give away any more penalties and some piggybacks up the field. Probably hoping to start this set like they did the last one and, and force an error or something. But a strong run here by Rongo Modi Kitafiti. Number eight, Jonas Rake. Brings the ball up to the 40 meter line. Now the number two here to the left hand side brings this ball up over halfway. It's top, uh, Cody Wolves. 
Out of a mic. Strong run there. And here's the young try scorer. Oh, that's the that's number the one. Back, Rico Makawari. Rico. And the ball skill. Gives it back to Cody. He plays the, or he'll be playing the ball for the second uh, second time the set. Back to back runs. Yeah, that was great, great run there. And drawing in the fullback and finding that man. Oh, oh, and the uh, footwork there by the number four, Tui Laepa. We look back at that one. Yeah, it's a fantastic run from the fullback who set this up really and didn't give uh, Ngati Kahu any time to set their defensive line and away he went. Laepa adding another four points on there for uh, Tongomori Kitafiti. You see here we might have a change of kicker, a bit of a rotation going on here for Tongomori Kitafiti. Yeah, we've seen this a number of times yesterday as well. Eh? Uh, you know, a few teams showing that they've got a number of players in in their sides that can, um, can get their ball over the post. And I really like that too, especially when you've got um, a tournament team that's going to be picked at the end of the end of the tournament. We also have scouts here as well. It gives an opportunity for every kid to show class their talents, and gives the, ta uh, the lets the uh, scouts know. Oh, this boy can kick. This boy can kick. This boy can kick, and so forth and so on. So gives them yeah, a headache. Gives them a bit of a headache. I think this is the same. No, kicker this is the same kicker. Yeah. Hey, Sean Taylor. My, my eyes shush, are shush, shush, shush. <laughs> <laughs> Going through his processes. We saw a bit of that last night watching the NRL and we noticed that a lot of our kids were uh, doing the same processes as uh, as the NRL heroes and that seems to be his favourite side, the left side, so uh, that's, probably, that's probably what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's all, it wasn't us, it wasn't, it wasn't us, us at all. Not at all. <laughs> so he makes the Makes the conversion there, taking our score 16 points to nil. Roma Modi Kitafiti over Nati Kahumanu. A big, uh, big mihi to our Nati Kahumanu Fano as well last year, of course, with uh, Cyclone Gabriel. And the Fano still rallied together to make sure that their teams did make it to the Maori tournament, regardless of the, uh, the burdens that they had to carry at home. And they've done the same again this year and continued on their legacy. Uh, bringing teams to the Aotearoa New Zealand Māori Rugby Tournament. So the final of Ngāti Kahungunu e mihi tonu nei kia kote. Ngāti Kahungunu to get us back underway here. With the boot. Might uh, start trying things, I think. Yeah, it looked look like he might have been trying to go for a high kickoff maybe, but the ball's allowed to bounce. Luckily it's uh, a friendly bounce for Roma Māori ki tawhiti and they find that barnstorming prop. Banging it up the field, Jonas Rake again, he's over halfway already on the first run. Brilliant running. Oh, now they're running with a bit of intent, that's Tyrell Ngafika Karaitiana there, playing the ball on the 40 metre line inside Ngati Kahuguna's half. His fullback, he made the break before. Makuare, Rico Makuare. Love it, he's, he's keen to get in there and get some work. Uh, looking for work and um, relieving his prop forwards. Toomanga there. No, sorry. Yes, that is Toomanga. Plays the ball. Great tackle. Oh, yeah, great tackle. And there's a bit of line speed from Ngati Kahunganu as well. Definitely needed to be made there. A little bit of a wraparound play here. Oh, oh yes, wraparound. Into a, uh, what a shape. shape. Oh, oh, a nice shot on pass. Beautifully done. Unselfish work. Let's look back at that one. Great set play here. The number seven passes, wraps around, and they run a shadow play. Makawari gets himself out there. He was on the right-hand side probably like he was. <laughs> 10 seconds before that. So there's every full Oh, we oh, get a bit of a mana wave. wave. We get a mana wave you get one back to you too, my friend. You can't see us, but you can definitely <laughs> feel us. Yeah, you can feel it. <laughs> so that takes our score now, 20 points to nil. Yeah, just some just really, really, really awesome set play there and the awareness of the winger, well, the number two to draw in the defender and then give that uh, short pass out to the try scorer there. Absolutely fantastic. It's a move that I might have to adopt for my team when I go back home and uh, go back to training uh, this week. Tayshan Taylor here to attempt to add the extras again for uh, Te Rongo Mauri Kitafiti. 
The old double calf race going on. Get down, but this one just comes up short. The score remains 20 points to nil. Te Rongo Mauri Kitafiti over Ngāti Kahungunu. 15 minutes gone in the first half. Got about five more minutes left in this half. Yeah, to be young again with the calf races, I do that, I'll pull a cramp. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, great, great start from uh, Rungo Modi uh, in this uh, in this final day. And if I were Ngāti Kahungunu, I'd probably kick to the other side. I wouldn't kick it back to that number eight, the uh, Rake, who has been damaging with his runs off the kickoff. I'd probably go to the opposite side and see if uh, see if we find any <laughs> any better results coming from the other end. Looks like he's. Uh, He's listening to me. Yeah, they're setting up to, to kick it to the left hand side of the field. Yeah, good idea, what? Good idea. Taken well there by the number three, Tyrell Ngafika Tiraitiana. He's 35 metres out from his try line. So the forwards here for. Oh, what a strong what a run! Strong run. <laughs> Much to that boy, but man, he can run. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's oh. it's in on the new Tauraha, as they say. But out to this damaging left hand side, and look at that. He's already scored a try, and he's going down the side. I'm a That's great a tackle. Beautiful tackle there. Beautiful tackle. Absolutely fantastic from Ooh. Dante Renata Munro. Oh, but he didn't go out. I thought he lost the ball there. Yes, yeah, so did I actually. But oh well, we carry on. As the captain plays the ball. Yeah, fast approaching the fifth tackle there. They're, all they need to oh, do is make it. Outside inside play. Oh, We've beautiful. seen a number of those yesterday. We see it again here. Yeah, just that break down the left hand side and uh, Ngati Kahungunu defence tiring. Some not moving off the line, some a little bit slow to cover back on the inside. And they don't want Modi Kitafiti make them pay for that one. Epiro. Epiro. Yeah, that left hand edge of uh, of Te Rongo Modi is very dangerous. Yeah, I'm unlucky for Ngati Kahungunu though. I thought I thought that tackle uh, that the young young uh, Dante made did force the ball loose, but referee thinks otherwise. And you know, we're just the people in the box. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. But I'm not going to say anything about this kicking. Yeah, we don't know anything about kicking either. Yeah, well. nah. <laughs> I mean, the two times I've had a kick, I didn't. I wasn't successful. So, hundred <laughs> percent miss rate right here. <laughs> yeah, at least you're consistent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Andy puts it over. He adds the extras there. Twenty-six points to nil. Te Rongo Mauri Kitafiti over Ngati Kahungunu. Final minutes of this half ticking down. And uh, looks like the sun might be coming through today, uh, Patara. Yeah, absolutely fantastic uh, to have the sun come out because yesterday, of course, we were warm in our, in our commentary box, but a lot of our referees and our, and our runners and our officials and even our, our selectors were having to walk around in the rain and they were coming back a little bit trenched yesterday. So uh, good weather today and uh, there's a lot more smiles out there. But I'll tell you what, regardless of how the weather was yesterday, I have to shout out to all the whanau who stuck it out the yeah. whole of the day, uh, regardless of the rain and and what not that was pounded down on them yesterday. Definitely a lot less umbrellas today. And if anything, they look like they might come out because uh, they need some shelter from the heat. Yes. As uh, we're back underway, Ngāti Kahungunu kicking off to yeah. Rongo Mauri Kitafiti. They look to go back to that left side as well because they did, they did help them out a little bit anyway. They, they managed to get the first three, four tackles in before they started hitting that left edge. But here we go, good run. Yeah, good footwork there by the number 17, Onyx Simmons. He brings the ball up just shy of the halfway line. Here's his left hand edge that we've seen do the damage. Oh, yeah, he just comes back infield and they're just damaging everywhere. Now they're going to the right side of the field. Good line there by the Sekiroa, but equally good tackle. Good shot there by the number 14 yeah, for Nasukahunganu. Oh, oh, and he's passed him the ball. 
He's got a little bit of a break here. This is the break that could change the and momentum of the game in Tsugnati Kahun in his favour. He's going all the way. The number two. <laughs> Shut the gate. Anthony Hanley Karodia. Now I'm here, Tama. Yeah, that was just a gift. Right on the stroke of half time. And that's exactly how they wanted to finish off the half. The points on the board. Just like that, Pito. So could this be the start of the comeback for Ngati Kahunganu? 26 points, the four kick to come from right in front. We just heard the hooter, so after this, we'll be going into half time. Fano, and what a half! You know, it's all been uh, pretty much one way up until the era from uh, Ngati Kahungunu, so uh, from from uh, Romomori Kitafiti falling into the hands of Ngati Kahungunu. So, Ngati Kahungunu, man, they get the ball. Look out as the flags go up 26 points to six. That was half time Gerard, there, Fano. Uh, Gerard Stevenson with that uh, conversion there, cup eight. So, yeah, Kahungunu. Finishing off that half uh, probably the way they wanted to start. Mm. But um, look, you, you make a mistake against them and they've shown you that they will make you pay. That's it. That's absolutely right. And that's all that Ngāti Kahungunu need is the, an opportunity to get the ball and amount a bit of attack. It's been all, as you said, uh, Te Ronga Māori Kitafiti in the first half. And so we'll see what Ngāti Kahungunu can do and if they can tidy up the fence on their left side, on their right side edge, sorry. And then, um, yeah, come back fighting in the second half. Ka pai nei mā hoki mai e te iwi, ko tēnei te wehenga tuarua o tēnei pakanga i wanganui a te ronga Māori ki tawhiti ki Ngāti Kahunganu. Ngāti Kahunganu uh, trailing a ronga mai, uh, 20 point, 26 points to 6. Uh, Ngāti Kahunganu, of course, uh, 
finishing that first half with a try and a knock on here from Te Ronga Mauri Kitafiti, the exact start that uh, Ngati Kahunanu were looking for an opportunity to get the ball. At least 95% of the ball has been in Te Ronga Mauri's hands in the first half. So this is an opportunity now for Ngati Kahunanu to mount a bit of a comeback. Yeah, and we saw before what uh, Ngati Kahunanu can do when uh, Ronga Mauri Kitafiti make errors. And look, we've got an error here. So it'll be interesting to see what they do here. Matakahinganu feeding the scrum, 35 metres out from Rongomori Kitapiti's try line to go to the left hand side of the field. Oh, little, Ooh, little, little bubble there, there but he Ooh, regathers. Check back. <laughs> and this is Stevenson now to play the ball. Matakahinganu coming out to the right hand side, pick number 11, charging forward, but made in some strong contact there by Terai Manatahiata. Cruz Hitke, Cruz Tango there, uh, playing the ball uh, by Cruz. That's exactly what your team wanted from you, my friend. Now the number 10, John uh, Koka, or Koka, to play the ball now. And add hookers, Anthony Hanley, Karodia. Oh, good tackle. And the referee is signaling a head high there. It's a little bit above the soldiers. So Judas uh, Rai Hama earns a penalty for his team. Stevenson to tap the ball and there's a look to go to touch. Had an extra few metres for his team there. He does a great job of it too, so they'll get a tap about 10, 10 or so metres out, maybe 10, 15. Hard to see from here. But yeah, it looks like they're on the line, so 10 metres out from uh, Toronga Mauri Kitafiti's line. First set of six. Looks like uh, Karaudia. Uh, who was to play centre has moved into the uh, hooker role now. There's the try scorer. Strong run there, four people on him, still standing in the tackle. I've oh, got two number two. got two number twos, okay, so uh, two we have to figure out who's, who's, <laughs> who's who here. <laughs> A couple of tutus there. So I think that's Sims who's playing hooker there. The other second number two, Sims. And that was Karodia who, who ran that ball up. So, yep, we got that sorted now, Fano. Going to come to the left hand side. A little bit of pressure here for uh, Tiranga Modi. And oh, he's looking to get the offload away. He does. They come back infield. Number 14 there for Nati Kahunganu ends up with the ball. But that man again, the second rower with the green head, gets right Manatahiata. For Tiranga Modi Kitafiti getting very busy going from left to right to left, right to left. <laughs> Sims trying to go out of uh, dummy half there, trying to find uh, a gap in the defence, but they were up to the task. There he is, the big boy. Still pumping the legs. Cruz Tango. Strong defence. Sims now out of dummy half, finding his half back, and Stevenson who puts a nice cross field kick there. Ooh, and uh, Be interesting to see what the call is here. He hadn't quite got the ball, but he did get his hands on it, so. Yeah, they've oh. given the penalty, taking them out without the ball. Ooh, okay. Thought it might have been fair game there, but uh, who are we to say? Yeah, quick tap allowed there. So another set of six here, Ngāti Kahunganu. That's Koko there. Owning himself a penalty as well, just a flop, I think. A bit of extra, yeah. extra sauce added to that tackle that wasn't needed. So we've got time off here. Referee pulling a couple of the... Tiranga Mauri Kitafiti boys out. Yeah, having a bit of a discussion here. Oh, and he is oh, going to send him. Sent one. Unfortunately for the young fella. Back-to-back yeah. -back penalties on the line and down to 12 now. He's looking, uh, he's the number two, the try scorer, or one of the number twos. Yes, uh, I think that's Karodia, this one. This number two was Simpson at hooker. Oh, oh the and, pick and the go. Cruz. And the spin again. He's down. <laughs> All right. Cruz Tungle stepping up for his team there. Deciding to come out of dummy half as we watch it again. This is, you know what? I'm just going to power over here. I'm going to push my way. One, two, three, four, five of them in the end trying to complete that tackle, but Tungle too strong. Pushing over and pedal. So yeah, look, there we go. There's the start that Kahunganu wanted. 26 points to 10 with a kick to come. 
Williams. Still got a lot of time in the second half. This is Jared Stevenson. And uh Rongo Mauri Kitafiti down uh, player. Uh, that was, it. was it five minutes in these tournaments? Yeah, yeah, should be with the um, maybe five 20 minute minutes, halves. Five minute whakata for the bro. Right now, number 20 for Kahungunu. Beautiful Stevenson, kick. Stevenson, beautiful kick. Right down the hey, diddle diddle. Just like that, 12 points to 26. Ngati Kahungunu. Looking to mount a comeback here. It's beautiful minutes Sunday to morning. go. 14 minutes and uh, 14 points. It's all about being able to keep the ball in hand, really, for Ngati Kahungunu now. They've had all the ball in the second half, and we see what can happen when teams have all the ball. Points will be scored. And good tactic here from Ngati, uh, yeah. from Rongo Mai, uh, Te Rongo Mauri, taking their time, coming back to halfway, and just running the clock down. Yeah, chewing up every, every second they can to get the get their player back on the field to the back to 13 on 13. Nice deep kick off here. Yeah. Taking well on the full. Oh, oh and the try score Tango. Definitely what they didn't need. So it's on Modi kicked off it. Yeah, no advantage. So well they have a scrum fee 20 meters in. It's on Modi kicked off it can uh yeah, to, to post some post their first points for the second half. Yeah, definitely not what Ngati Kaungunen wanted, all right. We know what uh, strike power Tirunga Modi have, and you give them this kind of field position, they will make you pay. Good on number seven here. Te Altuuro Pirangi Pokaya to feed the scrum. Of course, the Pokaya Fano uh, from uh, Te Kaufata uh, in the Waikato. We've seen uh, his father and downstairs earlier on, so he can play. Um, he keep the Pukai upon it. Oh, and a break here, straight off the scrum. Really? His half's partner, Jaden Huppe, going over. Posting the first points for Tirongo Modi Kitafiti. We look back at this. Nothing flash. It's the show. And Big go. hole open up. Go the left hand fend, and he just. Straight under the sticks, well, almost under the sticks, just off to the right-hand side. Opens a scoring in the second half for a side. 30 points to 12, and again, it's just the errors that are letting the other team in. Mm, absolutely, and right off the kickoff as well. Just gifted a uh, on Modi at field position, and now the Kauganu backs against the wall once again, and they're going to have to try and force a mistake here to get the ball back. Sean Taylor here. He's only just missed the, the one that we uh, we tapped him on. Oh no, sorry, maybe two uh, in the first half. So you, you tapped him on. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of the sticks. He should get this one. He'll get it. He'll get it. There we have it. Kohiki not the tapu with the whānau. It's yeah. lifted. Kwa <laughs> 32 points to 12. Te rongo Mauri ki tawhiti over Ngāti Kahungunu. Almost nine minutes gone in the second half of our first fixture of the day. Here at Pukitawhero Park, the sun is beaming in our eyes at the moment. So if you're in and around the area, get on down. Watch some awesome, awesome football. Kore Utsu, too whānau. There's no... Uh, surcharge uh, for you to come along and um, enjoy the tournament. I did bump into a uh, Pike couple last night in the elevator who just happened to see the cars and decided to come in and have a watch. They're absolutely amazed uh, by the tournament and the organization. And yeah, so come one and all. Oh, nice low strong kickoff. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, oh. There could be a result. <laughs> no, the referee says he's gone back. Oh, did yeah, we, we hear a whistle? whistle? We did hear the whistle. Yeah. Look, as we were saying, that's exactly what Ngāti Kahungunu were trying to force. Yeah, absolutely. And now they have an opportunity inside uh, Te Rongo Mau Mauri uh, territory. They definitely want to hit back quick as well. And 
score in this next set. If they can do that, then yeah, we're back. We're back on, Fanny. We're back on. Yeah, they probably want to pick the scrum a little bit quicker though. Time's not on their side. Got That's ten right. minutes to go in the second half. Stevenson to feed the scrum here. Just making sure that his uh, his Sikoro and his prop have the their feet in the right position so that he can get a good feed out to his outside backs. And here we go. Strong defense there by the number six, the try score at the old two door Pokaya. And that's uh, Bellamy playing the ball for Kahungunu now back to Stevenson. Stevenson turns it back to uh, Sariv Bennett Daub. Sorry, I can't read this writing here, but Daub, hopefully I said that right to the final back home. I apologize if I did get that last name wrong. Sims out of dummy half. He goes left. Finds Stevenson. He pops it on to Ropiha. Defense here for Tiro Mamori Kitafiti has been solid. Has been there and for the most part of this game too. Stevenson decides to throw a long ball out. It was a nice pass as well. It was. Bellamy now playing the ball. They come back to Stevenson. Stevenson looking to do a cross field kick. There's an unknown. Oh, well taken there uh, from Terongo Modi bringing it out of the try line, but I think he'll get a 20 meter yeah, tap put here. On the fall and goal. Yeah, so that'll be a seven tackle set for Terongo Modi. Great defense there. Yeah, great defense. And a nice take at the end of the set there by the winger. So they get a 20 meter tap, a head full of steam, the number eight, Jonas Rackets. A name that we've heard a number of times uh, in this match so far, but we're in some good defense by the Fords for Nath Kahungunu. So opt to go down the right hand edge through the number three. Yeah, good strong run again. Afrika Kroetiana. It's Tyrell Afrika Kroetiana, I should say. And uh, this man has been very busy for them today, Rico Makawari. Yeah, this is the game plan. Every third tackle, we'll see uh, Makawari come out of uh, dummy half there and get him get busy. Oh, nice footwork. Yeah, don't be surprised to see him on the left hand side of the field in the next play, too, because uh, he keeps himself very busy off the back of the long shape, too. Just as you said that, you can see him just in the background of the shot here, um, creeping his way over to that left side. As we find the captain now, Eli Harbottle with the ball. Gets an offload away. The goal kicker here, Tayshan Taylor. Holds on to the ball. But we hear a whistle. Someone's coming a little bit high on Taylor. At this grade here, Fana, for those of you watching at home, any, any hands or arms going above... The shoulders will be pulled up. Strong run here by the number 17. Onyx Simmons, he's trying to fight to get over the line, but the Ngāti Kahungunu defence push him back. A couple of metres out now. Taylor shows back on the inside. Caught in a nice ball and all tackle and finished off by uh, the Ngāti Kahungunu middles. As they go to the right hand side, Makawari, nice draw and pass and puts his winger over. Yeah, well done. All class there from Makawari. Some good footwork. John draws in his uh, opposite defender, holds it up, holds it up, and then passes off to the winger to score in the corner. Beautifully done. Great work there from Makawari just to beat the centre. Made the winger have to shut on him. Simple two on one, draw and pass. Executed well. It just extends their lead, making it a little bit harder for Ngāti Kahungunu um, to mount a comeback. And with the time ticking down, it's not in any hurry to uh, take this kick. They chew up as much of the clock as he can. Great memories for the Tamariki in this grade also to be able to think about those things. You know, it's so often when you're a young fellow, you just want to get on with it. Yeah, let's go. But now they're really thinking about, hey, you've got time. Take your time. Let's run the clock down. Yes, we're ahead. But also, you know, if we can run the clock down, we minimize the risk of any injuries as we advance through uh, to the final stages of today. Yeah, it's very... Very good maturity shown by, by the young fellas. And, you know, he's had a couple of drinks. He's moved the tee about three or four times. He'll uh, go back, take his steps, do his calf raises, maybe pull up his socks. Yeah, yeah. There's the one calf raise. There's a two calf raise. Breath. Dang. Oh, 
Nice, nice strike. strike. Just under the goalpost. So score remains 36 points to 12. Te Ronga Mauri Kitafiti over Ngāti Kahuminu in our 13th summer grade. First game here of the day. Our finals day here at Pukita Federal Park. Yeah, good game uh, regardless of the score here. But both teams have shown some really good skill uh, with ball in hand. Uh, even some good defences as well from both sides. But more so uh, Te Ronga Mauri who had, were camped out on their line there for a little while and managed to repel any attack coming from Ngāti Kahunganu then receiving the ball back and then going just about the length of the field uh, to score on the corner there. Back underway here, another sh good uh, solid kick off there. Probably trying to look for the same. Oh, what a hit up. And the and offload. offload. He tries to go around the outside, but he's caught by the jersey and Lasso to the ground. Yeah, bit of a ring a ring of Rosie there. And Penalty. He's, uh, picked up a little bit of an injury. Heard the whistle, but I'm not sure whether it's a penalty or a knock-on or something like that. Got a bit of a show of, good show of uh, yeah. sportsmanship there. Beautifully done. So a knock-on there uh, after that uh, that tackle was completed. So Cody Wills getting up a little bit ginger after that one, but uh, good to see he's up and looks like he'll, he'll shake it off. Probably have another game or so after this. Not sure if they're. they're we're not too sure who, who's into the finals um, yet, but. Uh, Ngati Kahunganu with a scrum feed 40 metres out from Te Ronga Mauri Kitafiti's try line. Stevenson. Falls out of the scrum off to the left hand side. Rushing defence there by the number six. Oh, to yeah, yeah. Strong, strong drive back. Bellamy back. That green head gets featured uh, across the field a number of times. <laughs> and here's uh, Bobby John Hitter now. <laughs> Moving up the field. Sims out of dummy half. We're looking to go a little bit out uh, wider. And this is uh, Karodia. We've got two number twos out there. That's Karodia playing in the and center position. Scores. Oh, yeah, yeah, well done here. Just going on the sideline, but uh, well chased. Having a go, having a go, Kahungunu. They got nothing to lose now, so they needed to throw the whole book at, uh, at Te Ronga Modi. Yeah, but Te Ronga Modi up to the task mm -hmm. and an awesome tackle there, taking him over the sideline. There was Te Aotuiro Pokaia. Copy book around the, around the waist, <laughs> around the legs. Nice little step. Yeah, Bumps nice off one. He's so able to get away from him the second time. 30 metres out from their own try line. Tiromo Mauri Kitafiti. Oh, some fancy footwork. Gets rid of another defender. Bit of a lift at the leg here. And of course, these kids have been watching the NRL. They know that that's not allowed anymore. Oh, nice offload. Good stuff. Great tackling from uh, the Ngati Kahungunu side. Lucky to get away with the flop there was going to come in as well. He came in for the second man. Oh, good, good strong, strong run. He is the captain. He's the number 10, Eli Harbottle. A few hard bottles done on Rahui Pukik as well. Maybe uh, yeah, the kickboxing fana. Yeah, the kickboxing fana. And of course, they. Uh, oh, he broke through the, the line, but he forgot to take the ball with him. Did I manatahi ata? Wonder what the call is here. Was it a strip or a knockdown? Yeah, it looks like it's been stripped. It's two on one. As we, uh, oh, it's Tahiata again, getting very busy for his side. Counting down the seconds now in the second half. So, uh, Tiromo Modi Kitafiti looking to uh, extend their extend their lead, maybe extend their for and against points. Coming to the left hand side, this side's been dangerous. Quick early ball, cut out oh, pass. Yeah. They've got the numbers, they've got the skill, they've got the try. Te Ronga Mauri Kitafiti. And this is the draw and pass once again. Great skills there shown by Te Ronga Mauri Kitafiti. Nice long ball. Draw in the defender. Pass it out to the open man. Beautifully done. Cody Wills there goes over 
to finish the game for the Tirongo Morikita Fitzy side. Wouldn't be too much longer in this uh, second half now. And there it is, the Putatara. A big shout out to our referees as well and to any of the whanau out there who feel like they can do a better job or uh, can help out our referees. We are, uh, we are continually asking whanau to come and join our referees association. And AJ, as you see out there, is the man to contact. And you just get a hold of Aotearoa New Zealand Māori Rugby League and we'll uh, put you onto the right people and get that green jump on your back. And we've had a uh, ground announcer here, Hone Honu Irapana, who's answered that call as well. He's refereed, uh, refereed a few games now uh, here at this tournament and at the uh, New Zealand Rugby League tournaments as well. Good strike, but uh, maybe just not enough wheat picks for breakfast this morning. Mm. So score, score will remain score, <laughs> score will remain 40 points to 12. And uh, and that is the final score in this match between Te Ronga Mauri Kitafeti and Ngāti Kahungunu. The first game of the day, we've still got a jam-packed day of action ahead of us. But man, what a dominant display there by Te Ronga Mauri Kitafeti. I took it away to you and uh, possibly could see Rongo Mauri uh, Kitafiti uh, feature in our finals today. We'll know more as the day progresses. But yeah, nga mihi ki nga kapa e rua o tira ki a koutou e maa takitaki mai nga i a koutou kāinga.
Araete Iwi Kotakoto Te Manuka. Both the teams have laid down the challenge to each other. Counties Manuko Māori. E whakangātua ana kia te kotahitanga i tēnei te reanga te kaumātoru. E whiringa whānui tēnei. This is a quarter final in our 13th Tama grade. So we've got kotahitanga taking on counties Māori. I'm Utah Wilson and I'm joined here by none other than Mai Rangatira, Whatua Paora, Whatuira. Tēnā koe, kei taku Rangatira. Tēnā koe, mauri oi te whānau. Te whiti te rā, the sun is shining. Ke te whakahihi. Aho, I'm excited, I'm fired up. New Zealand has an abundance of talent i tēnei rā. And that, all that talent is down here at Pukita Whero Park. The county's Manuko about to kick off to Te Kotaitanga, County's Manuko. Uh, teamless from 1 to 21 uh, as action is underway so teamless I'll just try and get through that but man what a start there strong defence Kotaitanga I think I'll just wait for a break and play because I'm too excited Kotaitanga here with the first use of the ball both teams vying for a spot in the semi-final Strong oh, defence by the Kotaitanga side. Ah, sorry, the Counties Monaco side. Counties have started with the right attitude. Solid in defence. And I think we've seen uh, this Kotaitanga team yesterday. It's DJ Purcell there for uh, Kotaitanga. have just played the ball. Kotaitanga, they were extremely dominant. And Nana Hi. Great to see what they come up with. Itineata. Here's again Purcell. Getting to the end of the set, puts the boot to the ball. Taken on the fall there by Tutane Kai Popata. He's made in some strong defence. Plays the ball 40 metres out from his own try line. Quick play the ball at that. Counties Manuko well over halfway now. Up to the right hand side of the field. Oh man, there's been hits galore and we're only into the second set. Counties Manuko getting their forwards to middle things up for them. That's the number eight. Charles Does Strickland, Cecil Mahani. Down his knees. Could play the ball. Another complete set. So they're going tit for tat, these two teams. Oh, and an error there. The ball's bounced kindly, but pulled down just before the try line. Good work there. By the Kotei Tanga fullback to get back in time, and he's forced the ball over the line. Oh, no, he's been held up. We have a quick look back at that one. Tries to sneaky little go from dummy half. It looked like he got the ball down. Oh, a while. Says there's a hand under it, so uh, Counties Monaco back underway. Through the number six here. It's Tekayara, he pop up. Counties now hot on attack, five metres out from the opposition try line. Go off to the right hand side. Kotaitanga defence up in their faces. And back to their right side. They must be smelling something down the right hand edge. They're, they're going to look there again. No, that was the fifth and final. Great tackle book. Tackle from the centre. Mataafa. It's Kotaitanga just to work. Oh! And another error, double knock-on. Yeah, double knock-on there, man. Awesome defence here by the, uh, the county's Monaco side. Forced that ball free, so uh, Kotaitanga under some early pressure in this game to three minutes deep. We're about 30 hits deep. County's scrum 10 metres out from the Kotaitanga try line. Maori have got some good shape here on the left side. Will they go blind? They take it to the left side. Nice Pop hands through the back line. Ooh, With a nice left and the right one. Step from the centre. Number three. It's Jordan Thompson there. And they come to the left hand side again. Little show and go. The fullback with the ball. Decides not to give it out. River one more two that is. To the forwards, but the defence for Kotaitanga up to the task. Drives him back just shy of the 10 metre line. Solid defence. They'll be getting a lot of confidence out of this. Oh, and he's forced an error there. It's DJ Purcell. Paitol Mahi Purcell. 
What's the call here? We've got time off. A few counties, boys' hands on the head. I think they're uh, disputing the fact. Talking about uh, Purcell, Itaragatel, he's got a great work rate. Yeah, definitely a great work rate. But uh, I think they might be asking a question about a lifting tackle. The uh, legs come up above the horizontal. So, yeah. We do have the penalty here. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunately for uh, Purcell, it's just a solid tackle and the uh, legs ended up coming up. But uh, we're back underway here, the number 10, Ngati Mahanga Wilson. Tēnā koe tama. Waimotu with the ball now. Plays it. Well, they look like they had numbers to the right side of the field, but they look back towards the middle and a little bit hard to get out of the clutches of Purcell. Is every good Lucy? Is. He's just oh, everywhere. Nice oh, he looked like he was going over and dropped the lollies. He will play the first knock on by counties. I don't hold my happens to the best of them, Fano. Nice show and go. But unfortunately, he dropped the ball oh. just before the line. Oh, penalty. No, no, it looks like a scrum. So. Scrum? Penalty. Oh, scrum. Scrum feed to counties. Okay, so the Kyle Wall seen something else. Must have gone back by counties and forward by Kotaitanga, maybe. So all the pressure on Kotaitanga, and they've done well to repel the attacks thus far. Takayara Hipopata gets the ball into the scrum, and they come out to the right hand side of the field. Maybe looking to use a bit of the speed that they've got on this right edge. Their fullback River Waimotu, but taken down in a beautiful tackle there by the left hand centre for Kotaitanga, and they look to, to the blind side. Great work from Marka there. So counties, Kotei Tanga. Sitting up. Get deep up, get deep up. Oh, the show. Bounce back to the right hand side of the field. He's going to use a bit of pace. He breaks out of a few tackles and eventually they go over to score counties. Taking the early lead in this game. Sensational individual try. Yes. Shouts the dummy, left hand fan, left hand step. Backs himself, and a try. Yeah, the left-hand defence there for Koteitanga just fell asleep a little bit. Counties out, opens our uh, scoring. Four points to nil with a kick to come, and it's been pretty much one-way traffic. Uh, counties, you know, starving uh, Koteitanga of the ball, and every time that Koteitanga got the ball, uh, counties force an error. So, man, this is the kind of football they want to be playing. I think uh, Kotaitanga done very well in, uh, there to repel the attack as long as they did. But, um, you know, that much time on your line. Uh, County's definitely, yeah, had to, had to crack it somehow. Aye, Marika. Kotaitanga did well in defence. It's only been seven minutes. Kratos Puna here attempting the conversion, and it's waved away, so score remains four points to nil. County's Manuko over Kotaitanga. In this quarter final in our 13s Tama grade. Almost eight minutes gone in this first half. County Māori has most of the ball, most of the position. They're able to capitalize. Got quite a competitive game. Out to yeah, def yeah, definitely. Uh, one of the teams we watched yesterday actually in um, one of the teams that I would have picked to be to be in the back end of today. So, um, yeah, looks like they, they might have met the match here. As, uh, they get us back underway. Taken well on the full there by the county second rower. And he knows no way but straight. Very physical uh, encounter between these two teams. Strong defence. Kutaitanga looking to make up for that try that they let in. Again, counties just rolling forward through the props. The number eight there, Charles Strickland. Sort of defense from Parcel. On pass hit up, it's a solid run. Kaitas Puna, the goal kicker. And here's uh, Nati Mahanga Wilson. Bumps off one. Been active really in the piece. Fifth and final. Puts the boot to the ball. Nice kick needs to be 
supported by strong kick chase taken well on the full there by the fullback for Kotaitana and put on his back by Kratos Puna the back's getting busy here for Kotaitana yeah what a game we've got on our hands oh great run from the center right side center Back seem to be getting involved, give the cause a bit of a rest. Yeah, I'm liking the look of both of these number 13s actually. Uh, Kratos Puna for counties, and as we see, a little bit of a breakdown the left hand side for uh, Kotaitanga. They forced a 4 3 though, county side, so they're out of the out of the red for now. As, uh, we can hear some uh, it from the mic on the sidelines saying, get it up the middle, but. Uh, Collected a little bit high there, so penalty to counties. A little bit ginger getting up there. So number 12, John Riley Harris. Just to remember, these boys have uh, had a full game, a f full day of um, games yesterday. So you know the bodies will be a little bit sore and a uh, few few bumps and bruises around. It's the battle of attrition, uh, second day. Trying to run it off, he's trying to hobble it off. I need a little bit of that magic. Why the magic <laughs> yeah. water? Nah, it doesn't look like County's Monaco has found touch, so fortunately for Kutaitanga. The winger caught the ball and stays in field. Strong run, strong run. Campbell Byrne, Nati Ngapuhi, Nati Fatua. So number 13 again for counties getting busy. Kratos Puna, and here's his opposite number, DJ Purcell. The battle of the 13s going on here, Tefano. Oh, it's towed through by the counties, Monaco center, is it? Oh, the half, the number six, oh. and we gathered. Oh, play on, Heidi Tumu. Oh, we have a look back at that one, Fano. He goes all the way. I think it's a try. I think it's a try as well. Toes it through. Regathers gets the NRL bounce, goes to offload. I think it comes off the hand of the Kotaitanga centre, but I think it's been pulled back. It's oh, a close call. No. So what is the call? Was mustn't have come off the Kotaitanga centre's hand. So knock on counties. Kotaitanga lucky with that one. And that was an exciting passage of play. Scrum feed Kotaitanga 20 metres out from their own line. What do you think they've got going on here? You think they'll they'll do uh, one off play or some something safe or the chance the hand go keep wide? Keep it simple. Keep it simple. That yeah, they do. Bandy yards. Kotaitanga have been under the pump. Strong He's tackle. A strong there. set. Strong kick chase. They start playing down country Māori red zone. A bit, a bit behind the April, Kotaitanga just need to build a bit of confidence, hold the ball. Yeah, they've got good go for there. I think that's just the second tackle, and they're into their opponents. Uh, just show the opponent's 20 metre line. Purcell is back door. Linking up with the centre on the edge, but a great hidden stick from the winger. Chitane Kai Popata. I think Counties, Monaco, uh, Counties Māori have done their homework. Understand that the centres for Kotahitanga are strong. So they've been in their faces, not giving them too much time. Great work there by the centre on the right side for Counties. There's a uh, the replacements on the number 16 there, rider Henry Pateru. Getting the team going forward, man, and just to think that these boys are on the food ends. <laughs> They're playing the premiers. He looks left and right, goes back to the left, the blind side. Popata getting busy, getting in. And that good boy DJ Purcell, he's all over the field. Counties to the middle of the field. Ooh, shaky pass. And getting to the fifth and final here. 
solid kick. It's down the ground and the bounce. Oh, oh and that's play on. That's play on. There he goes again. Give a chase of the kick and he goes and over the Superman dive. dive. As you look back at their replay, ball's allowed to bounce. Bounces twice, actually comes off the knee of the number three, bounces into the fullback. And that man again, Te Kaiara Hipopata, the leader. But an awesome try there for County, so eight points to nil. Fantastic try. That try, they, although it was a good kick, and unfortunately the, the ball didn't bounce Kotahi Tanga's way. But it all come down to the strong kick chase. The fundamentals of rugby league, having a strong kick, but also, most importantly, a strong chase. And we're going to have to understand, Fido, our Tama only 12, 13, 14 years of age, doing a great job. Awesome job. And yeah, it just, just reminds me of, uh, you know, the those uh, kupu aki aki that you get in, in the huddles, saying, you know, a kick's only as good as its chase. So... Man, County's really taking that on board and Takayara Hipopata coming up with the goods. There's uh, Kratos Puna here looking to add the extras from right in front. Strikes it. Strikes it well. Flags are up. 10 points to nil. County's over Kotaitanga. A massive number he knew it to all the whanau, all the supporters. Turning up and drives E10-8R. Yeah, as we look around the park, plenty of supporters. And we can only just see field one and two. We've got six fields going into Fano, so if you're in or around the, the Rotorua area, come on down to Pukutafero Park for entry. Karika to To watch uh, the next generation of NRL Māori All-Stars. As uh, Purcell gets us back underway, ball's allowed to bounce there. Great kick. Oh, and just loses his foot in there as the number four, Nixon Andrew for Counties. Here he is again, Ryder, Henry Peteru. Great line speed by Kohitanga. Kotahitanga, on my final. Strong running here. Strong carry, found his front. Kratos Puna. Another name that I'm going to remember, that Kratos Puna, DJ Purcell, Ngati Mahanga, Wilson. Yeah, might have been a hand in there. Yeah, and I think the referee re uh, agrees with you there. It's just Kotaitanga guilty of uh, just the small little mistakes. Ca Captain Z asking the question of the ref. And it looks like County's uh, opting for the tap. So just shy of the 40 meter line. It's a morning on the burst. Ngati Mahanga Wilson here. Ford battle here for uh, these two teams. I'm impressed by Mr. Wilson, number 10. Has some strong carries this first half. Set the platform for his team. So there's this boy here, Kratos Puna, and backed up by the second row on the left edge, the number 11, Spencer Foster. It looks like they're exchanging some words there. Mighty to new brothers. Keep playing yeah, football. Getting a little bit heated, but uh, it's just the passion coming through. Both teams want to win. There's uh, Ryder, Henry Peteru. Strong running up the middle. He's uh, attracting a lot of defenders. High kick. The last one was allowed to bounce, oh. but taken well there by the winger for. Is that the winger or the fullback? The, winger. the winger. Just but a tick here. Eli, great take. That should build his confidence back up. Oh man, the drowning defence here by Counties uh, Māori, keeping Kotaitanga in that corner. Some more of the backs coming in to give the forwards a rest. That's the fullback there. Fraser McDade for the Kotaitanga. Strong carry from the centre. has been strong the whole entire tournament. Trying to uplift his team up. Purcell puts boot to ball. It's a high kick. Well, it's taken well on the full there by uh, Popata. Nice. Popata, that one. Great tackle there around the legs. And the standoff. Piss it. 
Maybe a piss it on a mic. Halfway line here now. Counties, oh, a little bit of a juggle with the ball. And our Huda goes for the first half, so that's the end of our first half here. Final 10 points to nil. Counties, Manuko over to Kotahitaga. What a half it has been from both these sides. Counties seemingly drowning uh, Kotahitaga out of this game. Yesterday we saw what Kotahitaga were capable of, um, but Counties not giving them any of that opportunity. Starving them with the ball, they've had the position. The majority of the first half, they were able to capitalise. Uh, they're looking good, Counties Māori. I'm, I'm impressed. But in saying that too, Kotahitanga, uh, they played strong yesterday. It's all about regathering their mindset, regathering, regaining their composure. I'm sure the coach will come up with a better game plan for the second half, Uta. Yeah, so let's see who gets the more magic way in, uh, into their players in the halftime huddle. We'll be back with the second half of action in this quarter final very shortly. Kia mai tonu mai. No mai hoki mai te iwi ki tēnei te wehenga rua o tēnei pakanga o te whiringa whānui. It's quarter final here between Counties Manuko and Te Kotaitanga. Counties Manuko drowning Te Kotaitanga of any uh, opportunity to put points on board in the first half. And, um, they have a high shot there. Yeah, a high shot off the kickoff. He's uh, taking the time. As we know, whānau... Rugby league is a physical sport and sometimes accidents do happen. But he's okay, he's on his feet. Having the magic Y. Yeah, having the magic water. So uh, County is looking to, to find touch. 10 points up. Kotaitanga are going, uh, going to need to be a little bit more uh, disciplined in this half. They want to pull it back and progress to the next stage of uh, this tournament to find touch on the halfway line counties now up the field with number 20 that's Tyrese Marsden strong one-on-one -on -one defense 
from the 11. Campbell Burn. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The work there from the prop, the number eight, Charles Strickland, Cecil Mahoney. And they go back down their left hand side of the field. Strong running there by the Sekaroa. He's still pumping his legs. Cook Spencer the ball. Foster. He doesn't mind a bit of a uh, bit of lip. Having a bit of a cordial there. Saying how much he enjoyed that tackle and he's encouraging his uh, opposite to, to keep it up. Nice little step kick over, but taken well on the full there by uh, the Tikotaitanga winger. Is that the number two, Yosateki Wangatairewa? Ooh, a little juggle there, but awesome, awesome work there to hold on to the ball. Oh, this county's defence has just been ruthless. They sure have. Kratos Puna, he's been a big leader in uh, in that ruthless defence. He uh, shapes to go right, comes back to the left, 20 metres out from uh, their own try line. Go down the left-hand side of the field, ball gets out to the wing, beats one. Oh, it's pulled down by the jersey by... Uh, the number seven for counties, Damon Fanga. At their final, the ball finds that man, DJ Purcell. Massive kick down, Bouncing he finds ground. a cross between the fullback and the winger. Paul Pata now with the ball. Tutane Kai. Oh, the back's getting in, getting busy. The fullback here, River Waimotu. Made a solid tackle there by. Olele uh, Lapuaho from Te Kotahitanga. Working again from Marka. Oh, here he goes again, Spencer. <laughs> Spencer Foster down the left side of the field. It does well to stay in the players. Great skill. Oh, good tackle. Awesome tackle there by Javion Matafa. County's now on the front foot. Spencer finds his half. Puts a little... Stab over the top. And it nicely just before the try line and the defence for counties is up there. They almost pushed them back in goal, but uh seemed like they just stopped. Number 13, Kratos Puna. Very busy for the county side. Kutahitanga under pressure. Counties Māori can sense a bit of victory here. Playing extremely well. DJ Purcell gets the offload away. It's not going to take much for the county side to... Uh, yeah, they just need to stay very disciplined. I they think, do. Uh, so, solid set of defence. They have the players to make a statement though. Kotahitanga. He's going to maintain the position of the ball. Strong defence there by the number nine for uh, counties. That's Josh Sean. Then final. Ball allowed to bounce, but it's in the hands of River Waimotu there, the fullback for counties. Kicking out his hole. Go straight into the number 14 for Spotai Warren. Backs here getting busy for counties. Up over the 40 ball. meter line. Trying to play the ball down. Give this team a little bit of a rest. He's carrying on the momentum from the first half that they that they gained. Oh, solid oh, hits. Oh, 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 yes. Three, four tackles in a row. And they're number 13 again. Very busy. Kratos Puna, DJ Purcell. Take a bow. These two boys, man. Very fit. Wangatairewa with the ball, fancy footwork. Nice Ooh, work and a draw. The this is the first tackle, they probably just want to settle things up. Purcell, he's back there. Getting his hands on the ball and getting busy. Down to his knees, quick play the ball from Purcell. Kratos Puna for County's Manuka. Man, I'd like to see that boy's stats. And this fella's stats. DJ Purcell picking up a handy 10, 15 metres for his team. County's now on the back foot in the middle of the, par in, uh, in the, middle of the park. That's what great leaders do, Utah, when the teams are, when their teams are a bit down. 
They get their hands on the ball like what Purcell is demonstrating. And he can kick. What can he do? Oh, we've got a bit of time off here. Looks like uh, Tutane Kaipopata went to uh, contest that ball and he's come off second best. Uh, he's up, he's up uh, on the knee. He's up to his feet now. It's good to see. A little bit of a knock maybe to the back. Maybe might have got to wind it a little bit maybe. A bit of a corridor here between uh, our Kai Wawao and our sideline official. Uh, we'll see what they're coming up with here. Good chance for Kanti's Ma Māori to regain their composure as well. They're on defence now, so they need to be strong here. Kotahi Tonga definitely will be hungry to put some points on the board. Yeah, definitely, as uh, we see our Kaiwa Wild pulling a number of players over, laying down the law. Letting them know who's in charge here. Auntie Bird are there on the field with their, with their flag. Don't miss with fire. She yeah, knows what no. she's doing. Great work from our referees too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Kaiwa Wild taking good control of this game. So uh, we're going to play the knock-on from County's Māori. So Kotaitanga now uh, with some good ball. It's been a while since we've seen this for uh, Kotai Tanga, so interesting to see uh, how counties repels their attack, or if they repel their attack. Mm. Kotai Tanga be desperate to get on the board sometime soon. The time's not on their side. Ten points down, though. It's, it's not that far out of reach. So the ball comes out of the scrum, off to the left-hand side of the field. Solid carry from the centre. Back towards the middle. DJ Purcell gets his hands on the ball. No doubt he was going to do that. He'd probably do it another two or three times in the set at least. The attack down the left-hand oh. side. He gets the offload away. Good hands by Good the hands. ball back in. And a great Stands try. The up. Great finish. Fraser McDade. Nati Rokawa. Nati Tuferitoa. Look back at that. Look like the ball is going to ground and uh, he just stands his opposite number up. Nice. One more two. Beautiful footwork. Transfers to the left hand with the ball. Uses his right hand as a fence. Great to see at a young age. Yeah, great skills. Great skills. The small basic fundamentals that the, you know we try to teach uh, our, our tamariki. That is why. Awesome footwork, awesome fend. Ball in the right hand, oh, in the left hand, but the correct hand, I should say. <laughs> is, uh, DJ Purcell looking to line the kick up. To add the extras this is a crucial kick as well. Strikes it and it's gone off to the left side of the post. So score remains 10 points to four. Counties. Still holding on to their lead over Kotaitanga, but Kotaitanga, here they come. I think uh, Kotaitanga will be one of those teams that, you know, once you give them a sniff, they'll, they'll uh, get their tails up and get a bit of a roll on, so it'll be interesting to see. I think it's very important, though, for them here to not get too, too far ahead of themselves and to complete the set. Tera to a kick. Uh, Kotaitanga have the, the skills of uh, the individual players that can pull something out of nothing. Definitely. County's Māori here just taking their time, composing themselves. They understand that they are still in the lead. So County's get us back underway. Taken on the full there by the Kotahi Tanga. Strong uh -huh. carry. Down to his feet. He's a quick play of the ball. Taitanga now hot on attack. Come back towards the middle of the field and as uh, most teams do look towards their forward to get forwards to get them going forward. It's the number 20 there for Kotaitanga. DJ Purcell. Oh, great left foot step. Forward. Strong carry. Still going, pumping those legs. That's a 20, 25 metre run from DJ. Still can't get him to the ground. Yeah. Awesome footwork late at the line. 
Beaten by example. Here's our centre. Strong carry. Yeah, they can smell it now, Kotei Tanga. They're on the front foot. Purcell, oh, it's unfortunate. It's just a bit too flat. It's unfortunate, but we still have 10 minutes on the clock. Still 10 minutes on the clock. 10 minutes of action. Having, having the experience a long time ago, playing with the greats, the Benji Marshalls, the Scotty Princes, when they have made a mistake, they've been able to shake it off straight away and not get too worried about it and Heidi Tony move on to the next play. That's why they were so great. They were willing to take the risks and take mistake, uh, make mistakes, but we were willing to forget about it and move on. That's a great lesson to be learned from, from our tamatu. Not get too caught up in it. You just the got past. a Heidi Tony. <laughs> You can't change. Uh, you can't change the past. So uh, here we go. County's now on attack. We'll see if uh, DJ can shake that one off as well. No doubt, he's always been a class player for uh, the Kotei Tanga side. Looking at, uh, to make up for his mistake, actually. He's, uh, County's now rolling up the field. No markers there. Good eyes up footy. Play around the ruck. Kratos Puna again. Yeah, other number 13, it's been very busy, Matthew Mahanga Wilson. Solid game today. Wilson, and, uh, I love the mullet too, bro. Yeah, there's a lot of mana in the mullets uh, <laughs> across the tawny. <laughs> He's having a fucker fucker tar, but uh, the refs called time off. There's a player down in back play for Kotahi Tanga. Uh, he's up, up and back on his feet, so we'll resume play. It's, uh, Spencer there. Strong Foster. carry, right, right footstep, strong carry. He's uh, within 10 metres now, seven metres out from Kotei Tanga line. Oh, a little chip for himself, straight into the hands of the Kotei Tanga player. Great hands. Oh, oh, oh. been called for a knock on. It could be costly, Uta. It could be costly if counties can capitalise on this mistake. We've got about seven minutes left in this uh, encounter. And if, you know, the, the game's been in, uh, anything to go by so far, if counties can post points here, I think it'll be very hard for Kotei Tanga to pull it back. But it's not going, going to be impossible. We've seen what Kotei Tanga are capable of as well. So uh, counties Manuko with the scrum feed 10 metres out from the Kotei Tanga try line. Backline already on the right side. Here yeah, they come to this right side. Damon Fanga. Bit of a show and go. Oh. Step. And a oh. Gets his hands to the ball. Uh, yeah, I think that, yeah. He tried his hand. It's worth a try. Yeah, he's, he stopped the try. He stopped the try there. He had to, had to get in that lane. He done well. Got a fingertip to the ball. So, uh, Yosateki Waitanga Rewa. The skill set of our Tama. Running with two hands, showing the ball. So another set of six here. Scrum feed on the right-hand side of the field now for Counties Monaco. Another 10 metres out again. I guess the good thing about this four counties is that uh, it's chewing up time on the clock. Strong carry, strong defence. Come to the left-hand side of the field. Oh, the double cut out. They've got numbers out to the oh, left. Oh, so he shows the ball. He steps back inside. He bounces right. off one. Oh. He gets in. You look back at the replay. They had numbers out to the left-hand side of the field. I thought if he'd given it, there would have been a bit of a try out there. But, man, he beats a number of defenders to go him himself. Rival Waimotu with a try that would probably seal the deal for County's Monaco. 14 points to four with a kick to come. Outstanding footwork. Outstanding. And the strength. Yeah, you, you, you still had a bit of work to do there, did uh, Waimotu. A lot of work. That's what I'm so impressed by, our, our Tama. The skill level. Outstanding. It's been awesome. To, uh, it was awesome to see, uh, you know, the spine link up there. It started uh, off the number 13, Kratos Puna, our goal kicker here. Done a double cutout pass, found River Waimotu. He had looked like a three-on-one outside him. But uh, the, the defence from Kotaitanga 
all shifting across, and I think uh, he found a little bit of a space where someone didn't shift and made them pay for it. Kante's Māori playing disciplined football uh, this morning. Uh, Kotahitanga. If I can I know they've tried and tried again, but County's Māori just too strong, able to keep it simple, make the yardage out of their own red zone. The majority of their set plays this morning. He lines up the kick. The flags are up. 16 points to four counties over Kotaitanga in this quarterfinal in our 13s Tama grade. What an exciting game we've got here. Around about four or five minutes to go left in the second half. Can Kotaitanga claw back? If they, they are to claw back. They're going to have to do it very shortly. They're going to have to find a way to come up with the ball within the next minute or so. You can hear people on the sideline saying, watch the short. We're passionate Fano yeah. supporting their team. But uh, they decide to go for the long kickoff. Hopefully get someone under the ball or something here. Strong carry to set, set up the first play. Just a few minutes left in this game. It's uh, Zach Ngati Mahanga Wilson again with the mullet flying around. Oh, there we go. The leaders in the team putting their hands up. Kratos Puna. Probably just want to play the set out. Time's ticking down. Ooh, fancy little ball. play. So number three down the sideline. Eventually pulled down by the fullback. Strong run. It's Troyden Thompson. Here we go. Spencer Foster with the ball now. He's been busy for them in this game as well. We're on to the fifth and final. Crossfield kick. Oh! oh. He hadn't attempted it, but it was not... Ooh. Close. Oh, knocked on in goal by the looks of things. So 20 meter tap. And a seven tackle set for the. Uh, oh, he tried to take the tap from. Uh, well, it wasn't the middle of the 20. Kotaitanga now with the ball. Time's ticking down. A couple minutes left, and you'd probably say that counties will close this one now. So we get a quick couple of runaways here. DJ Purcell, the leader of this Kutaitanga side. Another strong carry. Yeah, Hard to put people. down, still on his feet. Four people in the tackle and still on his feet. Doing a bit of a raid down the left-hand side. Number 11 for Kutaitanga now. Campbell Byrne. Campbell Bourne, Sean Paul. Kratos Puna there on defence for the county's Māori side. Purcell flips the ball on. Ooh, too high there. The, the legs came up over the horizontal. Time sticking down. Kotaitanga want to be, yep, getting their move on with the with this play. Although they are down, it'll be great to see Kotaitanga score. Yes, we hear the hooter, so this will be the last play of the game. And DJ scores. Purcell playing the last try wins. But unfortunately, that's not going to be enough for the Kotei Tanga side. We look back at the replay, though. We hear the hooter go off in the background. DJ Purcell, footwork, one-on-one. -on -one. Stands a number of defenders up. He goes between, like, three or four defenders there. Too much strength, too much confidence. And if there's anybody that we wanted to score and he deserved it, yeah. DJ Purcell. What an outstanding performance, despite not taking out the victory, Etienne Yata. Yeah, look. Like you said, he deserved that try. And he's looking to convert his own try. From in front, flags are up. But score remains 16 points to 10 in favour of Counties Monaco Māori in this quarter-final in our 13s time of grade. We have full time there. And what an awesome game we have. Look, Counties Monaco knows what it means for them. They move on to the next stage in their grade. Whānau, we have more interesting games coming up. Your thoughts, Otua? Outstanding performance from County's Māori. They were disciplined. They were able to get out of the red zone very quickly. They kept it simple. And they took the opportunities when they came. But for, for, for Aroha Mai to the 
Kotahitanga. Just unfortunately, it wasn't the, the day this morning. Yeah. But hey, it's all about experience. They are still young. They have plenty of years ahead of them. And no doubt, they'll bounce back. Yeah, so with that whānau, we will wrap this uh, game up. We have uh, our next game coming up. Kotahitanga taking on Awa in the 14s. Tama quarterfinal. So, yeah, don't go too far. We've got some more action just like that action that just happened. Coming up shortly. Kia mai tonu mai.
Ka pai kia koe tika kura hi kia kua fakatika tika nau mai hoki mai ki tenei tukinga nui o te reanga te kauma a whaa koe a koko tahitanga e pakanga atu ana ki a awa a i tenei te whiringa whaiti o te reanga te kauma a whaa and of course we just come off the back of the quarterfinals of the under 13s grade koe tahitanga featured in that game as well against Counties Manukau Māori Counties Manukau Māori running away with that game in the end and they will advance through to the semi-final ko wai ka hua ko wai Katohu and this under 14s great Kotaitanga once again have an opportunity to advance through, and Awa will be hoping to pull an upset here and uh, advance through to the semi finals. Heoi, ete iwi, herangi paki, herangi mokopuna, kete fitsi maya tama nui tera, toro watsuana, yana hi hi, kirungi yata tau, itene onga ata, ko patara bearman a hau, ko aute te hi hafe, onga kai papaho, itene onga kemi, and I have next to me the legend himself, Paul Fatsuira Ngatino Mihi, ete ete tuakana. Meriore to Rangatira. Excited. Great talent here. Yeah, absolutely. It's been awesome Phenomenal two days. Talent. Yeah, it has been. Outstanding. Had, had an opportunity to walk around the crowd, and those are the sentiments shared by uh, all of our whanau. Absolutely blown away uh, by the way everybody conducted themselves over the last two days, both from our kaitautoko, our supporters, all the way through to our coaches and managers, and of course our organisers here in Rotorua. And if you're at home and you have an opportunity to come along and check out the action and see it live, I tell you what, you won't be disappointed. Free entry as well as Awa gets us under the way and Kotahitanga running left to right on your screens and a strong run there from uh, the big prop forward. And now we bring it back to the middle of the park. Kotahitanga inching their way forward. Just past the 40 meter mark there was number 15, Hauraki. They're looking to shift early there, but the, uh, the ball finds the ground, but regathered. And now Kotahitanga bringing it up just over uh, halfway now. Coming out of dummy half and down the blind side, he saw a bit of room. Verting with room. the sidelines, yeah, <laughs> and that was cool. Wasn't much cool. to move. <laughs> wasn't much room to get in there, but he got there. He got them. Winger decides to back up there too, and that's Raiden Ashby Pau. Coming back to the right-hand side, a little chip play there. He regathers the ball. Oh, the referee says something else, though. A penalty offside seems to be the call here. And so Awa will have an opportunity now to bring the ball out of their own uh, territory. But some good some good yardage there from Kotei. He's taking good signs early on in the game. Some great signs there. They're able to get into Awa's uh, red zone. Uh, I have to give full uh, credit to our, our referee for this game, Sunny. A former New Zealand Māori representative, yes. doing great things across Aotearoa, everything to do with rugby league. He is doing this. So great to see Rangatira Sunny doing some beautiful mahi tenera. Yeah, he's a fantastic uh, uh, stalwart of the game and, and giving back to our tamariki now as a, as a kaiwawa, as a referee. So, Sunny, mihi atu on the kia ko mito whanau ano hoki. So, I want out with the tap on the 20 metre line. Settle up their strong little tackle from uh, Fetsu Pefairangi. Great numbers in tackle there for Kotaitanga. Yeah, nothing too flash from them at this stage, just settling into the game. Nice good strong tackle again uh, from our Kotaitanga team. I think it's a good way to approach this game too. We are in the quarterfinals now. Mm. You don't want to get too overawed by the occasion. Yeah, that's something that uh, that these tournaments provide for Orangate as well, is to be able to learn how to cope uh, with those uh, types of pressures, being a quarterfinal and keeping their cool and being patient and all of those uh, different aspects of the game. Oh, this is a good return here. Uh, from Kotaitanga, and again, out of dummy half, the back three, looking to get some work early on, and he brings it up just shy of the 40 meter mark. Inside their own half. And a good strong run here from uh, Kendrick Monga. Strong carry. Number six running a bit of shape play, picking up his full back. And now the center running through Lachlan Ellis. And he comes up about 20 meters out from the try line. And out of W half again, he's not oh. shy to run this hooker. 
Absolutely fantastic. Kuya Cook. We'll take a look at that again. Kuya Cook. Arohamai. Just a nice clean play the ball there. And he notices. He looks up. He sees that uh, there's a bit of space down that blind side. Catches the markers. Uh, standing there having a cup of tea. And he goes all the way for the try. Piro. Komotuihi Kuya Cook. Sensational try. Great individual try. Great awareness. I have to mention too, Koya Cook, his father, Jamie Cook. Oh, nice. A good dear friend of mine, representing New Zealand Māori, supporting his whānau. Oh, Fatuorake. Waka Papa runs deep in that young fella. Eko Tahitanga. Hit first. Wasn't too much room to move. No, it wasn't too much room at all. He did, and there's a second run he's had now down the blind side and made metres and uh, exposing that uh, blind side defence. And just good awareness, like you said, and, and the ability to stay in play as well uh, with all the defenders coming across. Just, just great. At the tender age of 14 years old. The conversion is unsuccessful, so the uh, score remains four points to zero. Kotahitanga. Great start front. from yeah, Ai Marika. Great start from Kotahitanga. And a big mihi to all the whānau from Kotahitanga as well. You know, they've, they've been in the tournament for quite some time now and they continually to chew out uh, great representatives for, uh, for, their, for their kapa, for their team. And they heavily feature in the finals in all the age groups right up to Tuakana. So you know, I don't know what it is in the water there with, uh, with the whānau from Kotahitanga, but, you know... Just a great organised uh, crew there behind the scenes and that allows the kids to be able to do what they do on the field. Take it to Kōrero Te Rangatera. Whatever they are doing, it is working. It's working. It's working, absolutely. Awa with the kick-off there. Oh, nice. nice <laughs> and then he ups the pace there. Big man. Big man, Cooper Hayward. And he earns a penalty for his side as well. The growth of our tama. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know what they're feeding them. <laughs> man, back in our days, you know, and then the 15th grade, they were running out with beards. And, <laughs> 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 and Hayward decides to run again. He says, "Give it back to me, mate. I haven't had enough. I want to go again." Great to see. Coming back down this left-hand side, Cook from dummy half. Some good service there. Cook Great once again, dummies left and comes back to the right hand side, bringing it back to the middle. And here's Pefairangi. Famous name from the East Coast, Ngati Pelo. Coming back down the right hand edge now. Oh, he's juggle, juggles the ball, but he does well to regather. And with the offload as well, the nice Sunny Bull flip pass to the number 20, Cassius Sasulu. He plays it. Oh, and here he goes again, down the blind side. They're going to have to keep an eye on this young fella, Cook. All the way down the blind side and does well again to stay in play. Sensational effort from Cook. Beautifully done. Sasulu once again for another hit up in this set. Drawing in four defenders. And that, unfortunately, for uh, Kotahi Tanga, that was the fifth and final. But not a, not a bad place to uh, hand the ball back over to Awa. Ai Marika. They're putting the pressure on Kotahitanga. Awa haven't had any opportunities thus far. And they're going to have to keep an eye on Cook because he is tearing them up out of dummy half around that ruck area. Marcus is going to have to work in order to contain him. He's definitely the danger man for Kotahitanga. Absolutely. Great one-on-one -on -one tackle. Again, numbers in the tackle. I want not panicking. Just slowly creeping up the field. A bit of an injury here, so hopefully he's okay. Referee has called time, so he can be assessed. As the trainers come out now and decide, no, there's some magic water. Here. Fountain of youth. Does the trick. <laughs> yep, he's okay. Water worked, and he will play the ball. And game will resume. Strong carry. 
Yeah, it's still nothing flash, nothing to panic about yet from Mawa, knowing that the scoreline is only four points the difference. Have to kick the ball down now. Taken well then, fouls on space down that sideline. He's still inside, play still after going. tripping a little bit. He offloads it to the fullback, Tahu Omua, and he goes over for the try. We'll look at that again from the... The right foot step, not yeah. much room to move. Lachlan Ellis. A lot of gas to burn. Left foot step in, offload. Ah, oh, great support there from the fullback. Tahu Omua scoring the try in uh, beside the post there. Pedro. Beautiful work from Kotahi Tanga. Keeping the pressure on. Just got word as well that uh, young boy went down the sideline there. Locked analysis is the son of our, one of our sponsors. Uh, Casey and the team, Run Foundation, Ngati no Mihi. All the way from Ngati to Fareto. Ngati Kahungunu, Kita Wairua. Stepping up to take the uh, conversion. Shay McEwen. And the conversion is successful this time. Score now 10 points to zero. A couple of danger men uh, for Kotahitanga already identified. Alice has been busy already. And of course, the number nine, Koya Cook. And we've also had Cassia Sulu uh, being quite busy in there. And their big number eight, Cooper Hayward. So these are the people that I think I wanted to contain. Exactly. Uh, they've been dangerous every time they've touched the ball. Uh, Kotahitanga have just dominated. Uh, no doubt they've prepared well. And they are ready for, for battle. And it looks like... Uh, if Awa don't strike back, they could be in a world of trouble. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's see if they change tactics here from the kickoff. We've seen that from a few of our teams, knowing that they want to get the ball away from some of those danger men, and they may opt to look cook to the left-hand side now and try their hand at defending against the left-hand edge, or the right-hand edge of Kotahitanga, should I say, and give their left-hand side a bit of work to do. So we're about halfway through the first half now. And just a reminder to our whanau at home, our time isn't the official time. Uh, the official time will be held by our referees association. Oh, we need a strong kick and a strong kick chase. They send it back to Haywood in the end, who puts a little bit of a jinking step before uh, accelerating into the defensive line. And just strong. Look at that, throwing players off. Takes three in the end to put him down on the ground. He's a big young man. That he is. A nice little tip on there. Strong and another carry. offload. Kotahitanga not afraid to let the ball go. And under these conditions, it's absolutely warranted as well. Number 14 is showing some skill. And oh. he decides to offload as well. And a try to Chad Kamara. And we'll have a look at that again as well. Just some great, great awareness skill. here. Yeah, this is Desmond Kingy. Yeah, look at that. The one arm pass. <laughs> <laughs> and Chad Kamara goes over for the try and Kotahitanga add on another four points to their tally 14 points to zero now this is something we've seen with a lot of our, our grades another mana wave thrown there by the uh, the water boy number six steps up to take the conversion this time Houston Jessup it's amazing to me the, the level of skill amongst our Tama mm. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And that, of course, is the reason why uh, all our NRL clubs are sending scouts our way. Hi, <laughs> Marika. At 12, 13, 14 years of age. Yes. Attracting the NRL clubs. The Roosters, the Warriors, obviously. Yep. We have the Titans represent here as well. The Bulldogs brought uh, uh, brought some scouts with them. Sports Vision, which is a uh, recruitment agency. Uh, oh, I was too busy talking there. Conversion was successful though, so their points now 16 points to zero, and that was converted by Houston uh, Jessup there. 
But yeah, big ups to the NRL coming through, and I know that they have a really good recruitment drive uh, over there in the Hitaradia, and they help these tamariki get into kura uh, with sponsorships, and they hook them up with gear and, and look after them uh, in their systems. So uh, that's something, of course, uh, we'll be looking to do here in Aotearoa, or at least to uh, advance ourselves in that area. Made on the boat. Every penny helps yes. when it comes to the grassroots, especially from our whānau. We spent hours and hours of endless time and effort to raise Putia mm. for their team to be here this weekend. Totopo. Of course, all the hotels here and motels here in Rotorua, they absolutely are rubbing their hands together every time there's a tournament held here because they know that you know, we don't travel by ourselves, the Tao Māori, no, we bring the whole whānau, the whole <laughs> iwi comes out to support. It's good for the economy for Rotorua. Yeah, come, come on. Come on, Tika. <laughs> oh, we're getting us on the way again with the kickoff, and they've gone right back down to that uh, left-hand side of Kotahitanga. A little bit of a dummy there. There's Jessup. Takes the tackle. Didn't manage to find his prop forward who was coming in for a run there. Time was just a little bit off. But Awa showing some resolve in their defence. Sure. Still in the fight, Awa. Oh, this is a good strong run there. The number 12, Dayton Edwards. Strong carry from number 10. Yeah, I see a Five right men, there. four men to take him down. Now, out of dummy half, and we saw what he did with the one arm pass, and he did it again this time with an offload to his number three, Lennox Gray Samania. He's just shy off the line now. They want to watch out for dummy half, but he does end up passing the ball back out. Little chip at the back, threads the needle, and finds oh. some space. And luckily for our, oh no, was that one of the Kataitanga players? Hi, America. Sonny Farado is looking to award this try, and he does indeed. We'll look at it again. Just a nice little uh, grubber kick there. Good chase. Great chase. Plenty of Kotahitanga numbers there. Unfortunately, I couldn't see too, too many Awa uh, defenders trying their best to regather the ball. And your kick is, I've said it before, I'll say it or not, your kick is only as good as the chase. Absolutely. The fundamentals of rugby league competing for every single inch and every single meter and every single ball. Absolutely fantastic from Kotahitanga. Shay uh, McEwen steps up now to try and convert that try. 20 points to zero at the moment. Right through the middle of the post and that adds another two points to the tally. 22 points to zero. Kotahitanga well ahead in this first half. Roughly 16 minutes of play already gone in this first half. 20 minute halves. Uh, te whanau, for those of you just tuned in, uh, mihi ana kia koutou, wherever you're tuning in from, we hope that you're having a fantastic day and you're enjoying uh, the rugby league action from our young tama uh, in this tournament. This is, of course, the under 14s grade, and this is quarter final action between these two sides. Te awa, they are a little bit behind on the scoreboard. It's important that they finish the last three, four minutes strong. Absolutely. Build a little bit more confidence up, have a breather at half time. I'm sure the coach will be implementing some strategies to to get them back into the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. With 80% of the ball being in Kotaitanga's favour, that's exactly what they need to do. Put a good defensive effort in here, get the ball back, and uh, of course they'll be hoping to score before half time and inch their way back into this game. The sun is shining, Fano, to fit it out. Better conditions than what it was in Nana here. Alright, Tika. It's probably why our, uh, our completion rate is a lot better today than it was yesterday. Our uh, opting to go to the left hand side this time with their kick. And two tackles in. And coming down to the blind side. Dayton Edwards now playing the ball. Moving into uh, the hooker role is Desmond Kingy. Oh, but they find a break down the sideline. Great, Great ball. step. Strong and a carry. Good 
bump off, and he decides to offload it, but oh, the offload was just a little bit off there. We'll have a look at that again, just coming down that blind side, just a nice cutout pass, a face ball uh, to young uh, Cassius Salu'u, who almost goes all the way, and just couldn't quite get that pass right, that last pass right to get to his uh, support runner there, but Kate to buy ahead, and Anoka Kate to hide in. Oh, we'll be welcoming the scrummer as well. Paul might to help welcome mistakes. It was worth a try. It was worth a try. Right on the break of halftime, and Sunny Farado does call uh, the halftime break there. Kotahi Tanga Ruataka Marua Kite Kore. We'll take a short break and we'll be back with the second half shortly. Matuni Mai TV. Ah, Mauri Ore Teiwi, nai maa hoki mai, tēnei te wehenga tuarua, o tēnei te whiringa whāiti, e wāinga nui a kotahitanga me awa atu i a pukata whero, roto rua nui, e tēnei ki o ngā rangi, nai maa hara mai ki te pai pai poto o hau mai tawhiti. Kotahitanga, we'll kick the ball off and start our second half, pushing the ball out to the right hand side, nice high kick as well, and a good chase. In the end, though, cleaned up by uh, Awa. Now we'll be looking to complete this set, get to their kick, or better yet, score some points. Awa needs some points on the board. A fair bit behind, but they started to set strong. Yeah, 
strong carry for number 10. Yeah, lucky not to get a penalty there. Yeah, Just a Fraser. On in, the, in the tackle, but carry on. It's so ball. Yeah, something we've seen a lot of uh, this weekend, haven't we? A lot of inside ball and inside type plays. Kind of stuck out there inside defender who's taking a bit of a break. Mm -hmm. And it has worked a few times this weekend. Not, the penalty now for Awa. Much needed for Awa. They need to start playing on the other side of the field. Haven't had too much opportunities. He puts it out there. About two meters out from halfway. Strong carry. Yeah, very strong carry. That's exactly what you want from your forwards. Setting up a platform for the rest of the team. Nice hit from the 13. To Nahui. From 92 for the talk. Counters front. Shift the ball to the right side. And a quick play of the ball here. Stick it down the blind side. We saw that work for Kofaitanga in the first half. He sure did. Wasn't too much room to move, but he did it. It's great to see. Back down there, we get into the latter stages of this uh, this set now. And here's the kick, crossfield kick. He's got the chasers there. Good nice take, take by Kofaitanga. But the chasers were there, and they managed to keep him. Contained and inside. Oh no. That was the, oh yes, it is a drop kick. He managed to push him back into uh, the goal line there. Great set from, uh, uh, from Awa. Great set from Awa. Much needed to start off the second half. Hopefully they can build some confidence and maintain the pressure on the Kotahitanga defensive line. A drop kick. A Travels 50 meters in the end there. Bit of a goosey. Oh, nice. Bit of a Benji. <laughs> oh, Sean Johnson. Sean Johnson, yeah. All, all, all of the above. All of the above. Another strong carry from the number 10. Mark Lai Fraser. Nati Rokawa. Represented as Fano Proud. And a penalty as well, offside. Very good from the number 21, Tahi Reed Tuta. Nati Kohi. Kohi. Well, now I want an opportunity now to build some pressure. And here he goes again, Fraser stepping up for his team. Good post contact meters made there by Fraser as well. Alan from dummy half. There were a lot of people there, but he was strong enough to turn over. Just short of the line, says Sunny Fadere Aokai. Well, well, for this fixture, we will have to stand up and play the ball. And they're looking, they're looking, they're ready to take on the dummy half. If he tries to go out there, and he does try and go there, but they were ready for it. Or were they? Oh. Or were they? Obviously not. Let's have a look again. Look how ready they are there. There's about four or five of them all looking at the dummy half. And he says, you know what? Look all you like. <laughs> Great awareness from Tyrell. Poor Hakina Jackson backed himself. So great strength, determination, mm. and he found the try line. Fantastic hit back from Awa. Back to back sets there, applied a bit of pressure on the Kotahitanga defensive line, and in the end, scored a try right from dummy half. Absolutely happy with that, and so will his coaches and his managers and his whanau as well. Great to see Tiawa bounce back on a positive note to start the second half. Absolutely, and sometimes all it takes is a try uh, for the energy levels to, to, to pick up. And he makes no mistake with the conversion. That's an extra two points. 22 points to six now. Awa on the comeback. 
because Kotaitanga won't be happy with the, the amount of penalties they gave away uh, in the first five minutes of the second half. So discipline, discipline can also play a big part uh, in the outcome of a game. So they'll be looking, of course, to fix up the discipline, disciplinary issues uh, at the moment. Tiawa needed their comeback. Got a little bit of a sniff now. And like you said, it comes down to discipline. Oh, but the turn around. Bit of a juggle. A bit of a juggle. Oh, look at that defense from our oh, good strong run, pushing him back at another couple of meters. And that was Chad Kamara with a bit of help from one of his teammates to push him back a couple of meters there. Two pass play. Okay, the right side. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Run hard. Yeah, just doing the one out stuff at the moment, just settling into it. Keeping it simple, good to see. Simple. Strong carry and an offload. Oh, yeah, beautiful offload and a jump over the top as well. Bit of hopscotch there. I don't think he played that anymore. Okay, they made it up to the uh, 40 meter mark now. Has Awa. That is the fifth and final, so they look to kick here. Beautiful kick. Beautiful the kick. Finds the ground and some. Oh, great kick. Almost Nearly a 40 20. <laughs> oh, Tom amazed me. Absolutely. At this age, you're already threatening to do 40 20 kicks. And then it's hard enough to do that in the NRL, let alone the under 14s grade. But a quarter deal coming from the sideline. A lot of passion. A lot of passion. A lot of Fano. passion from Alfano there. And just passionate, just passionate. That's all it is. And Anoke get the high there. Anoke, of course, is a scrum. Oh, Aroha Mai. No, it will be a straight handover. That was the fifth and final, so it'll just be a play of the ball. As Alwa set himself up now. First real touch of the ball since uh, the start of the second half, so. They'll be looking to march up the field, and they do so easily with a bit of a piggyback. That's not what I wanted to do, was give away a penalty. They're yeah, talking about discipline to Rangatira. Mm -hmm. Now's the time to demonstrate discipline. They're under fatigue. Absolutely. Time is crucial. Here's a big, strong run there. I think that is uh, Edwards playing the ball there. Oh, looked to go back inside, but lost his footing and does well to hold on to the ball there. That's the 17, and that is Masina. Strong carry for the center. Yeah, Samania now making good 10 odd meters for his team there. Post contact meters at that. Oh, oh. they do a nice shift play here. And the fullback passing it on uh, to Sa Sulu, who's already been a try scorer today, and beautifully done. We'll look at that again. Brilliant try. Through the hands, through the hands, and at no the back, up. full back jaws, draw pass, and a great finish with the right foot step. Wasn't too much to, room to move. No, not at all. But he showed his class. Well done. Paito Mahi. Paito Mahi Ehoa. Beautifully done. And that uh, adds to our scoreline now. And that'll be 26 points to Kotahitanga. To six with the conversion to come. The Fana Tapiri, that's the Kupu Māori for conversion, or uh, a term you can use, the Fana Tapiri. Fana being kick and Tapiri to add to something. Tiawa, we understand that they are, the score is 26 to 6, but Tiawa, they need to keep their heads up. Absolutely. It's all about the experience, and we have to remind ourselves, ano, ano. Mm -hmm. They're only young. They're only young. Plenty of time mm -hmm. to learn and get this experience and exposure. Uh, no doubt they'll, be, they'll come back next year bigger, stronger, Absolutely. more experienced. Absolutely. I believe this uh, Kotai Tanga team, they've been together for the last couple of years now. And, and like you said, you know that that experience that they've gained uh, at these tournaments is showing here in this, uh, in this game as well. So, yeah, I will definitely keep their heads up high, soaking all the experience that they've got and the learnings that they're getting from this tournament and apply that uh, when they come back again to the next tournament. 26 points to six. Kotahi Tanga leading the way in this quarter final in the under 14s Tama grade. Who's impressed you the most? 
uh, for for the sides for Kotaitanga. Um, yeah, definitely uh, in the first half, I really liked how uh, the hooker was coming out of dummy half and really exposing the the, the, the markers, and that was of course Koya Cook. Uh, some of their forwards have stepped up as well, running well. Uh, Pefairangi Edwards uh, have been working hard, and then you, of course the try scorer there, Cassius uh, Sulu. Uh, he's got his hands on the ball uh, quite a bit uh, in, in this game. So, yeah, yeah those would be the names that are standing out for me at the moment. And talking about uh, uh, Hayward, oh, sorry, he was another name that I missed out. Hayward, he featured heavily in that first half, and here he is now about to play the ball. Not shy to get involved too. Absolutely. Great to see. Strong carry. Strong carry. Counts on space up the middle there. And, Bit of speed, enough speed there to get around all of those defenders and finding a half gap and then pushing it through there. Out of dummy half. Draw pass. Ooh, just it was on. It. it was on. He had numbers there. Worth a try. So he gets a bit of a pat on the back from his, uh, his teammates as well. They get the bye, bro. Next job. Let's move on to the next job. One set. Let's just make sure that we get in there and tackle and make up for it there. So. Good sportsmanship and uh, good uh, gamemanship there from his uh, from his uh, mates there on the field. Great to see at a young age as well. Mm. Uh, Tama have been extremely competitive uh, this weekend, but the game the gamesmanship has been demonstrated as well, which is fantastic to see. Absolutely. Only shot out there half. Is our, oh, sorry, out of the back of the scrum. You hear the passion coming from the sideline. Giving them some direction what to do. And they said to go wider, and they did. And then find some success out there as well. Gaining another 10 metres for their team. Nice hands from the left-hand side. Sean Carrick for the number eight. Yeah, and he gets up and he goes another couple more metres. Tulava Stanley for Nati Koyhui. Setting up play here. Got to look to go wide. Okay, Fraser, well done. He's a quick play of the ball. And pushing the cross field kick. Chases are there, but it was taken well by Kotei Tanga. Nice little step and a fin, draws in another three defenders, but that was taken inside the goal line, so they will have a 20 meter tap here. Otaitanga having all the answers. Yeah, well positioned. They knew that the kick was coming, and so the wingers did drop back, ready to take that ball. Hold him, hold, hold him. Had a good strong run there from the number 12. Edwards. Oh, a nice offload. They're coming down this blind side, he just takes it straight, draws in the player, and we shall have another try as he brings it underneath the post. Let's go back and see that again. Hayward with the offload. Speed. And speed down the back line there. I think that's number 21. Oh, is that 22? Can't quite see the number there at the back of his jersey. Mr. But speed. Mr. Yeah, we'll speed, there you go. The man with the speed, the flash. There's another four points now to Kotei Tanga, 30 points to six. Roughly just under five minutes, or just over five minutes to go in this uh, in this game. Conversion still to come, and that is Houston Jessup who stepped up to do this conversion right in front of the post. Kotei Tanga, too strong, too classy. This will give them a lot of confidence as the business end of the tournament gets even stronger and harder. Absolutely. I think that was Sione Asa Eli uh, who scored that try for Kotahitanga. The conversion is successful. 32 points to six. Kotahitanga well in control here in this uh, quarterfinal. Tiawa they turned up with the right attitude. But they're up against it today. Kotahitanga, they've been disciplined. As you mentioned earlier as well, they've been together for a number of years. Mm. Mm. It seems like 2024 mm -hmm. could be their time. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
They built those combinations, their camaraderie amongst themselves. And the fruits of that labor has been shown here uh, in this game. And Awa, all you can ask for is your 100% effort, and they've done nothing short of that. So they're going to be absolutely proud of the efforts. Tika to Kordoi to Rangatira. Nice kick there, finds the ground, picked up in the end. Oh, look at the speed of this big man with a step and a, a fin, oh. but in the end, a bit of push and well, just a little bit of passion there coming from the boys. And thank goodness, uh, nothing more than a little push and shove them. I see Javier running down that sideline, showed a bit of pace. Awa now got an opportunity to put some more points on the board and finish the game strong. And, uh, our Kai Wawao is having a little bit of a quarter to the boys there. Hey, calm it down. Calm it down. It's okay. Kai Hall, not come up. All right. Oh, look, he's coming down this left hand side now. Oh, good tackle there. Put a bit of pressure on. Did, oh, sorry, that was Chad Kamara. All shoulder, though, says the referee. So that'll be a penalty to Abba. So we get an opportunity now to restart their set and march up the field a few more meters with the kick to touch. You know what? Even though they're behind on the scoreboard, it'd be great to see them get some points to, to finish the game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Kapai, make sure you stay with us because uh, the next game will be moving over to field two and that'll be another uh, finals game. Pikyo versus Hokianga Storm. That'll be a fantastic match. Of course, Hokianga uh, Storm have been uh, winners, previous winners of these tournaments and they always come with a strong side. And Ngati Pikyo, of course, the Hokianga team will be looking to uh, keep their mana intact and... They want a Fenua intact and provide some uh, victory celebrations for their, uh, for their home crowd. We're just waiting for a ball right now on field one. Uh, the kick obviously went over the top of the old stands there and into the car park. And finally we do have the ball back in play. So hopefully, I will hear exactly what you're saying, my brain. Uh, hopefully, they do score here and finish strong in this game. Great to finish off on a good note. Kotoritanga just been too dominant, but here we go. Tiawa with a chance. Strong run. Yes, Unlaw. Is that Fraser? Mr. Fraser. Yeah, he's been really good for a side. He stepped up when they needed him. If step. step. Yeah, with that tackle, he's been busy all game. Go out to live! Desmond Kenny coming across to uh, help his teammates there in that tackle. Oh, nice offload. offload, keeping it alive. Yeah, cut out pass. pass. They needed to do that. Oh, then the defense come up and shut that down. That was fantastic from Poe, Raiden Ashby Poe. And he passes it on to Jessup, who marches up the field. Out from dummy half is the number four, Lachlan Ellis. And we spoke about his fun now, of course, one of the Tamaiti of our major sponsors. Kapai Etama. His nice own work for the fullback. Oh, and a beautiful offload. Look at that. Just a nice flick pass. Hayward passes on the ball now as well. And here he is back on the field. And he was good in the first half. It was Cook just stepping around. Look at him go. Oh. Look at him go. What can't he do? What can't he do? I think he's been moved out of hook. Look at this. And Hayward just passes it on. Passes it on again from the number 11 to Cook. Cook does a little bit of a step. Looks back inside. Sees the gap and pins the ears back. What a mihado. Amazing individual try. Absolutely. Great school. Great class. Koya Cook. Oh, Daddy doing his papa proud. Jamie Cook, New Zealand Rugby League, Māori, international at the highest level. 
36 points to six and oh the big prop forward Hayward has decided to step up now and I said you know what I want to turn that kicking I'm not that far away from the post I can get this one <laughs> he's confident he was so confident in the fact he tried to go right underneath the, uh, the post but uh, the referee uh, thinks better off it you move over to the side here right? And so that, of course, brings us to the end of this game after this conversion. So Kotahitanga, under 14's Tama, will advance through to the semifinals. Hayward now, with his teammates watching on. And that's why prop forwards don't uh, <laughs> kick for goal. And there we go, 36 points to six. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of this game, Farno. We've got a quick turnaround. Our cameraman will be moving the cameras over to field two. Pikio versus Hokianga Storm. We'll be back with that game shortly. Mm -hmm. Ami Kakwe Tetsua Kana Otsia Koutau e Mataki Taki Maina.
Rodeo Re Huama, no my hooky mic didn't eat Papa Hotanga or Tatao, and we're moving over to the Deang at the Koma Tori, the 13th grade between the Hokanga Pikiao, Epakangatsu, and Ki or Tatao Fano, not the Nota, not the Tai Tokero, Hoki Yanga Storm back to bring the lightning and the thunder to the competition. And this is going to be a fantastic match between these two sides. Uh, both, of course, vying for a spot in that grand final. So there'll be a lot of uh, players putting their hand up to bring that fire in this match. Kopata de and joining me for this uh, this round is Utah Wilson is coming back into the commentary box. As we uh, have Hoki Yanga Storm looking to get us underway. There's the box rules off the tee, so a little quick uh, readjustment, and we finally get boot to ball. Oh, and uh, as I said, the ball falls off the tee, and the bro falls out of the out of his boots. <laughs> as, uh, Pikiao with first use of the ball here, coming down the right-hand side of the field. So pumping his legs in the tackle, 20 metres out from his own try line. Or is that 40? That's the 40, I think. Oh, some solid contact up the middle there. He's still running, still on his feet, still bumping. Yeah, good shot. Could have had a few support runners there. He might have popped the offload as well. As the loose forward brings it up. A nice strong run. He gets up to the 40 meter mark. Plays the ball as Piccio looks to play out wide. Who unfortunately drops the ball there, and the referee does call it a knock on him. Maka Faka Mua. Taka Faka Mua Rane. Knock on. And so Anunoke will take base. A scrum. Anunoke, the Kupu Maori for scrum. Aokiyanga Storm given an opportunity now to amount a bit of attack and add a bit of pressure to the Pikiao defensive line. We've seen what they can do with the ball yesterday. And with better conditions, I think uh, we'll see those uh, passes stick a little better today than they did yesterday. Fitziana Tamanuitarae, Huama, come on down to Pukita Fero Park. Come and enjoy the action live. Okianga Storm now coming down to the left hand side. Tries to turn the ball back inside. He does so successfully. And that is the second rower. Clark, who played the ball there, moving it on now uh, to this big man, Benson Hakaraya. Ngāpuhi te tamaitine, he plays the ball in the middle of the park, finding the half, who turns around there and throws a long ball, but just drops through, and that was uh, Bo Manuko, uh, who threw that long ball out to the winger, Jimmy Sammons, who unfortunately couldn't gather the ball in there, and so, he makafakamua no hooki. Another Nanoke will take place. About 10 or 15 meters. Oh, about, oh no. Yeah, about 10 or 15 meters out from their own try line. Uh, Pikiao with the ball now. Yeah, so Pikiao with the scrum feed here. Just making sure he's got a nice little passage to feed the ball through. And they get it out to the left hand side of the field. Nothing too fancy working out of their red zone. Solid defense there, but still on his feet. Elijah Ryder, number four there for the Pikiao Warriors. They go back to their left hand side. But the defense for Hokianga is all solid. Sounds like, or well, looks like, uh, ref's blowing the whistle there. He didn't hear it, but a uh, penalty for a high shot. A man in the middle, Harley Wall. All over that one. Mm, opts to take the quick tap as well rather than find the touchline. So. so, River Hodge there with the ball for Pikiao. Carry on down the blind side. Number one cuts through the defense, goes straight through two players, and goes very close to the sideline. Does well to stay in. Their number one there is number two, Tule White. So a little bit on the front foot here, Pikiel. Get to the other second row, the number 12, Robert Rewiti Simon. So he's coming to the right hand side, the hooker here. Finds his half. Cut out ball to the center on the right side. He shows. They're meeting some solid defense by the number 18 for the hook. Young Storm on their left edge. Nobody Wall plays the ball. The kick goes up. A great chase. A lot of picky old jerseys oh, there. Chase. He's storming onto the ball. 
looks like it may have been touched by a picky old player and got and travelled forward. So, fifth and final. They'll just go through with a play of the ball. Referee giving the mark there. Great, great set there from Pikyo. Uh, Marsh up the field there after a penalty and got themselves in good field position and good chase from that uh, from that kick. Absolutely, great set there from uh, Pikyo. A lot to be happy with there. And Hokianga Storm now bringing it back up to someone else have to begin this set. And he finds his feet nice and quick straight at dummy half and running with a bit of purpose as well. Hokianga Storm playing it on the 40 meter mark there. They decide to go wide early. Finding this big man who is stomping his feet, trying to push forward. Found the ground in the end and he plays the ball now as they come back to the to the left hand side to the big prop forward that is Cleve. Ngati Waita to Maizira. He plays it. Oh sorry, there's the 40 meter mark there. And then he's backed up by his big man and we've already seen him run the ball Benson Hakaraya plays the ball now inside of Pikiao territory and the uh, number six deciding to put a little chip kick in there but Pikiao right on to it they saw that coming yeah, and a great take there by the winger for Pikiao uh, Mark has caught the caught him running out of dummy half there and he's lost meters going backwards Hopefully Pikiao get uh, some people going forward for them now and this man put his hand up to take charge. I'll take the run here. Again, oh, some more mullets coming in. <laughs> Let's do the mahi. Mullets and mahi, number 13 for Pikiao there. Hinekura Terangi. What am I seeing the team come with all mullets? Nazi mullet. <laughs> oh, look at this run. Number two down the sideline. Yeah, we play our strides. That tackle needed to be made. Beautiful one. Fifth and final now. And again, they go to the left hand side with the boot. Nobody home. Ball's allowed to bounce. Oh, Makes a play it. it. And Picky will get a repeat set here. Oh, they'll be happy with that result. Yeah, they had the pressure kick. on them early in the game, and now they've worked their way up into, into some good ball. Interesting to see what Pikiao uh, come up with here. Scrum in the middle of the field options, both sides of the field. Yeah, both teams, both teams showing uh, they like to shift the ball, and both teams have been making some good yards. But this is the result Pikiao wanted. And look at that straight out of the, yeah, straight out of the, back scrum. Of the scrum. Number thirteen. Oh, There's the God. mullet man again. Here they could have Terangi. Mullet man. Out of the Pikiao club too, so uh, the, the Turangi Fano yeah. um, might be a little brother or something to, to Rikihana. Crosses over for the first points in this game. Pikiao taking an early lead, four points to nil over Hokianga Storm. Great run there. Caught the defence napping, and we've seen a lot of that over the weekend. A lot of teams opting to run straight out from the scrum. That's at uh, that time working to perfection. So we've got our number six here, Emanuera Manahi Maraikura, looking to add the extras for the picky outside. Ten or so meters out from the right hand post. Going through his processes and it goes across the face of the post. So score remains four points to nil. Hook uh, Younger trailing to the Pikiao side with about nine minutes gone in this first half. Yeah, Pikiao seem to be, or their, their kicking game has really worked for them and that's something that Hokianga will have to look at. Uh, two or three times now the kick has found the ground or has at least found its mark. And as you said, leading up to that try, nobody was home. Uh, so there'll be an area I think that the Hokianga Storm will want to be able to fix up you don't want to be handing the ball over and having a repeat set when you've done all that work to get five tackles in. And it looks like, the they're, looks like they're picking on their left side, or picking on left side, hooking on his right side mm. um, a lot with the kicks. 
being a little bit more elevated than field one, you know, you get a little bit more wind yes. uh, on that field. Tafiri. Yep. So back underway now, kick off. Hook Yanga. Ball's nice allowed to bounce. <laughs> Clean up nicely there by the number two, Wipaya Fitzel. Oh, and the ball's come free here. So Hook Yanga now with a chance to strike back straight away after after conceding points. And Monaco is sitting in there, dummy half. He passes it off now to Clark. Now we have the number nine back in there, Mason, to pass the ball out. And they shift it early. And a nice long ball from the 14. Goes off to the winger who had nobody in front of him. And that is Amani Viper scoring in the corner there. Let's take a look at that again. Yeah, the half does a double dummy back to the inside. And here's the long ball here from the number 14. Antics Courtney finding Viper who scores in the corner and there you go simple mistake field position gives the gifted to uh, Hokianga Storm and they capitalize on that in the corner yes yeah, so they level the scores again here uh, Hokianga basically nil all but uh, they've got an opportunity to put themselves in front and as you can see the flag there with the McDonald's sign on it getting a little bit hungry but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh you know the looks a little bit windy up there but, uh, i wonder if you'll do the grass trick you saw the grass trick yesterday yeah, you did see the grass trick, yes, uh, trick yesterday and it worked check the degrees of the wind and the the, the tide <laughs> used to be the old uh, lick the finger and put it in the ear ones <laughs> they used to be the uh, the go back in the day as well I think he's just going to use the uh, corner post there and you can see that it's a uh, southwesterly coming at a 28 degrees oh he struck it well it's coming across but waved away by the touchies so score remains four points all Pukiao Pukianga Storm locked up 11 minutes gone in the first half very even battle between the two teams. It's just going to come down to those little disciplinary issues, penalties, uh, ball, security. But both those teams can minimize those mistakes. That'll go a long way to them be victorious in this game. So, Hokianga Storm to receive the ball here, and they'll be looking to get a clean set and get to their kick. Yeah, number seven getting us back underway. Damon and Newton. Make sure all his players are back behind him and onside. They want to be giving, giving uh, penalties away easily. So Hokianga worked their way up the field. Having a strong uh, legs tackle. Oh, no, strong run, oh, though. Yeah, Cleaves is running up the field. Running a muck, really, isn't he? Look at that. There's six of them all around mm -hmm. him. It's about eight tackle busts there. Coming back now and backed up and hitting the vantage line. That was a good run as also, but good tackle as well from Beasley. Out of dummy half. He's found a lot of room there, has uh, Mason. Oh, but he's lost the ball. Let's just see what the referee says here. Was there an extra push in the tackle? Sorry, that wasn't Mason. That was Kitty Opa. Oh, sorry, Zhang. Zhang at number 17. Taika Zhang. That's a picky old. Getting away with one there. So Rawiri Wall, the number three. Made sure to let the ref know. Hey, look, drop the ball. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. Good shaggy song there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Newton here feeds the scrum. Try scorer Terangi off the back of the scrum, <laughs> just like he did before, and he's made a little bit of a break here. Brilliant, Eventually man. pulled down. Just over halfway. Zip zapping up the line. As they come to the left hand side. The fullback getting his hands on the ball. Come up to Tule White, but his hands have come off the ball as well. Yeah, he's looking to put an offload in the there, and the defensive line managed to wrap the hands up and force the ball loose. Yeah, nice Young a little off the let off the hook there. Yeah. Early on, I'm liking the look of uh, the number 13 for Pikiel Tirangi. Hinekura Tirangi. It's been dangerous. And he gets his hands on the ball as uh, Hokianga Storm oh, straight yeah. between two defenders. 
Beautiful Stands run, and he passes it on. This is Simmons now. The Simmons, Aruhamai. Simmons. That's all with a lot of momentum behind them at the moment. 20 meters out, or getting 10 meters out, gets an off right away. That's Clark. Back to this guy here who's been busy. The number eight, Cleve. Numbers out to the right hand side. Do they look to again? I know this boy can pass. He can run. He can break the line. He can score tries. Antics. Courtney with that try right there. Let's take a look again at that. Taika passes the ball out from dummy half. And here he is. Too big, too strong. Just like that, Hook Younger Storm. March up the field and take the lead. Eight points to four. This is Hotore, Jacob Hotore, looking to convert this one. <laughs> Fantastic day here, great conditions, nice and warm. Good number of people have come out today to support our rangatahi as well. I'm hiking a kaitautoko. Younger Storm, back-to-back -back tries. Taking the lead in this match now. Moves onto the ball and strikes it. And again, waved away by the touch judges. So eight points to four. Hook Younger now over Pikiao. Four or so minutes left in this first half. A yeah, very even battle, really. Eh? And it's just coming down to those uh, little mistakes that are making the difference between the two teams. Um, Giving a bit of field position uh, to either side, either both sides are showing that they can score. Obviously, with the tight score line like this, if they're given good field position, so it's going to come down to those little things, those little mistakes that's going to make the difference. So both teams will be looking to minimise that. Yeah, and I'd say that'll be the word out of half time, uh, out, of, out of the coaches' uh, camp in half time as uh, we approach at half time. Clock ticking down. Couple minutes left in this half. So we're back underway. The boot of Newton. Bounces well, over the, the ground. They let it bounce. <laughs> Lucky to regather there. Yeah, a little bit of a juggle. <laughs> He's uh, done well to return the ball and oh, oh. He passes it on. And they're, oh, they're looking to throw the ball around. This is the first tackle. Straight off the kickoff. They want to score straight away. Enterprising play by Hockey and still miss. Still going. Absolutely. Salmon's now to play the ball. Back out to oh, this big boy here, Tai Kapudua, storming up the park. Taika out of dummy half, and they're passing it on there to Roberts. Roberts will play the ball there in latitude for the Tangatani. Coming back to the open side, just looking to play two or three plays out from dummy half. It's a good point to have as well. Ball all the way down to the line. Oh, you did well to hold on to the ball there. It looks a little bit wet up on that field. You've got players slipping over every so often. <laughs> nice chip to the corner. The chases are there as well, but just a little too hard. From Hokianga Song, so that'll be a 20 meter tap uh, to Picky out. Unfortunately for Hokianga, you know, the, the oval ball, don't want to give them the. Uh, a favorable bounce that time, but if it bounced up for them, well, I thought they would have been in. There's uh, Pikiao now, 20 meter tap goes down the right hand side. A little bit of confusion as to who got the ball, but it ends up in the hands of the number 10 there, Manu Tute Fleming. He's driven back in a strong tackle by the hook young at the fence. There he goes again. He's been, yeah, he's been great. Dangy. He's not zip zapping, he's just going straight up the guts. Keeps you guessing, but you don't know what he's going to do. It's number 12, backing up his Lucy, Robert Rewiti Salmon. Options left and right for Pikiel, they opt to go to the left hand side. 
Ooh, they've got numbers out there. The winger comes oh, up and wow. what a hit. He read that to perfection. Well done to the uh, young fella there from Piquiao to hold on to that ball. Absolutely, because Viper was coming through like a Viper. <laughs> so 15 final here. Piquiao put the ball up. Find some grass again, but cleaned up there by the winger. Yeah, they seem to have a few more numbers at the back there now to clean up those uh, earlier mistakes that they were making uh, on the back of those kicks from Piquiao. So great move there from... Um, Young Storm and a good run once again here from this young fella, Tahatai Kaka. This boy's been great, hasn't he? He's been making a lot of meters for his team, uh, Taraika. And there we have it at the final, the whistle from the referee signaling half time. Pukyanga taking the lead into the halftime break. Eight points to four over Pukyanga. What a game we've got on our hands, Patara. Absolutely, we do. Nothing in this game, so the second half is going to be a doozy for Shoesy. Mate, Tony Maia, Wama, we'll be back with second half action. Ako Tatane. Kia ora noa te iwi, nei mā hoki mai ki tēnei te wehenga tuarua o tēnei pakangai wanganu i a pikiao rātou ko hoki ianga Storm. Now, kua mutu ngā hui hui ngā whakamutunga a ngā kaiako ki a rātou kapa. They've had their hui, they've uh, said their piece and they've told their teams what they expect from them in the second half and let's see uh, which coach delivered the best message come the second half. Eight points to four, hoki ianga Storm in the lead over pikiao. Budov Tirangi gets us back underway. He's been impressive for the Pikiao side in the first half. Pukiano Storm is propped straight up the middle, but he's been in some solid defence by the number 16 for Pikiao. That's Kaimani White. And that was Nico Cleave with that run. Uh, Cleave, sorry. This guy's been busy for Pukiano Storm as well. Just doing what he needs to do, trucking the ball up the field. Courtney, and of course he was uh, has a try assist to his name. Is this young fella, Cleave, once again, Backing up, that's the second touch in this uh, in this set. And now we're coming back to the left-hand side now. As they made a change, and Mason is back on the field, back into num uh, dummy half. Mason now coming back to the right-hand side, and they look to kick the ball down to the left-hand edge, and they find the ground, a good bounce. 
Uh, well taken in the end by Pukia. Oh, look at that step. Oh, show of footwork there by young Ricky Rangi Pito. Jumping up in the air, beating one defender with the fancy footwork. They come to the left hand side. Oh, strong tackle again. Very strong tackle. 40 meters out from the orange try line. Pukia. They go back to the blind again. Through there, number one. Toma two, Tule White. Courtney's been busy in that defensive effort. There's three tackles he's been involved in now for Kianga Storm. Gets it off right away. Kianga Storm, but well to stay up with the play there and shut off any option of uh, more offloads. They go to the right hand side, looking towards the backs. Winger catches the ball, dragging players over the 40 meter line. So Kutu plays the ball. Final. Oh, and a charge down. Oh, That'll be back to one. Repeat set, so yeah, no need to panic. Pukia now with another set of six. Tirangi gets his hands on the ball again, as every uh, busy 13 in the tournament has. And he is in the penalty as well. He's been fantastic, Rangi. Take it back just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit too high there from, uh, from Hokianga. The charge down there wasn't regathered, so that restarted the count and then the penalty, so the count restarts once again. And Langi just says, you know what? I'll just run it again. <laughs> None of this kicking nonsense. Give it <laughs> Give, just go, I'll just I'll just run it. Oh, oh, good tackle. All solid defense by the hook on the side. Number 15 there, straight back up to his feet. It's an extreme kick here. Oh, the half full pick here, the number six. Marcus both on the ground. Just dancing across the field looking for us for a for a gap, for a hole. Somewhere to squeeze through. But the uh, hooky on the storm aren't gonna let it happen that easily. Kirangi gets an off-road away. And he gathered as well, lucky there. Yeah, left and final. Ball comes to the left hand side. Passes it out. Oh, Central just a classic draw winner. pass. Yeah, nothing fancy there by the Pikiel side, but it works. If you look back at that, seemingly nothing happening. Ball gets into the hands of the number 11, River Hodge. He passes it on to the center, wearing the number eight. And the number five, Kingston Ingram, goes over for the Pikiel side. Leveling the scores now, eight points all for the kick to come. We talked about that, uh, you know, it's going to come down to those basic little errors or uh, disciplinary errors uh, that will make the difference. And after a charge down, a penalty, and off the back of that penalty, try was scored by Piccolo, and all of a sudden we're drawn. Yeah, we're drawn, and um, man, you can't really split these two teams. Piccolo now with the opportunity to take the lead. Not an easy kick. He's going to have to uh, run uphill by the looks of things too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Field 2 does have a bit of a downhill slope on that left-hand side. So when you score on the corner, the kicker does have to navigate uh, that little bit of space he has of flat ground. Because yeah, he will be running up and doing hill sprints. Not to mention the uh, wind that he's got to calculate. And yep. it's gone to the left even of the huddle. So our score remains eight points all. Pikiao, hooky on a storm. I blame him on the wind there. I didn't quite calculate it. It's pretty strong up on that field too. What is it? <laughs> Did you see that? Have you seen that clip when uh, the, that fan is, I can't remember who in the NRL is kicking, but um, he's elegant and telling him, you need to compensate. You need to <laughs> yeah, compensate. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Check that out on uh, YouTube. <laughs> fun, it is absolutely hilarious. You need to compensate. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe next time he'll he'll uh, compensate. Yeah, we just need a few of our fun to go walk over there and you know just just to let them know, right? To tell them <laughs> compensate. <laughs> to compensate. <laughs> it's too far left. Okay, must Tom get us back underway. Oh, the ball's allowed to bounce, but taken nicely there Ooh. by the number twelve. Yep. Yeah. Looking backwards, says the referee. The guy will bolt. Ooh, nice strong tackle there from Hakadaya. Very brown though by the Pikio players. Good now with the ball. 
Then the leader for this team breaks out a one tackle, goes between two, three, gets an offload away, four bounces up, but we're going to say that it had gone forward. Unfortunately. Oh, that, was, that was a good around the back type of offload too, and he's he's doing everything today, his uh, rangi. His iwi and his whanau will be absolutely proud of the way that he's playing in this tournament. Definitely. But he's, he's drawing in at least three or four defenders each time because they know how dangerous he is now. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Henekura Terangi. All right, to feed the scrum now is Manuko. He looks to pass the ball out to his half pairing. And a nice offload there to Ducky Ducky. Over the top of the, the reaching hands of a picky old defense. Ooh, bit, of, bit of a mix up there at a dummy half. It's like an iron now decides to run the ball straight up the Skype's cutting at the co wine. He's still going, he's pumping those legs. That is eventually brought to a standstill. Yeah, yeah concerning the ball there. Concerning scenes there for the picky old side. Looks like uh, Tudangi picked up a little bit of an injury. He's holding onto his shoulder and back play there if you, if you can see him. Oh, hopefully they'll be all right there as uh, Mason tips it back on to uh, Hakaraya. And there was a two, three-man tackle there. And they ripped the ball out, gifting Hokianga a penalty. And we, we, talked about, we talked about discipline, right? And so now we've got a back-to-back -back set here for Hokianga Storm. Yeah, and and uh, an injury uh, to Dungi, who's been arguably their best player out there thus far. It's going to be a bit of a blow for them if he has to come off the field. He's always getting the magic water. He's getting the magic water treatment. Oh, the Brew no. Lakes. He looks like he's uh, needs the magic water from Oahu instead. So, <laughs> Hakaraya with a good strong run. Mason now looking to pass right from dummy half and they pass it on to another man who's been busy all day. Courtney, antics Courtney, he scores another try for Hokianga Storm. Yeah, Courtney just too strong on that edge. He's uh, scored that try in similar fashion to the last try. He just gets the ball and, and powers his way through uh, the defense on that left-hand side for Pikio. Taking a score now, 12 points to eight with a kick to come. Yeah, and again on the back of a penalty after all of that hard work. Uh, to make all of those tackles, they have to go and back it up and make another extra six tackles. And they couldn't do it. And in the end, Hokianga Storm. With a conversion to come from Manuko. This is Bo Manuko. Looking to put it over the sticks. Yeah, what? Compensate. Compensate. You need to compensate. <laughs> Still nothing in this game. It's all going to come down to those little things and uh, pick you out. Have plenty of time left to score again. It's a crucial kick, though. Um, I don't think anyone's been successful off the boot thus far. And they're still 100% <laughs> uncompensated. <laughs> yeah, 100% uncompensated. <laughs> Is that a word? I don't know. Now it is. It is now. <laughs> yeah. It is now. Throw it, now. In, throw it in the dictionary, finally. Yeah. <laughs> so there we have it. Score remains 12 points. They hit Hokianga Storm over Pikiao. About 10 minutes gone in the second half. 10 to go. Yeah, they're right in this game, and hopefully uh, the injury that Rangi picked up isn't too serious, and he will be able to come back out there and help his team out because, boy, oh, boy, he was causing some havoc for the Hokianga defensive line. Huge danger, um, his Tirangi. So, yeah, hopefully they can uh, get his services back. But then again, we have to remember that these boys have played a full uh, day of games yesterday, and here they are doing the do on day two of this tournament. A few sore bodies. Yeah. yeah so, I guess that's what happens uh, in the tournaments. Yeah, your bodies get sore, and it's just about how you manage. Uh, yourself and your players as a coach. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and here he is. What a strong he was, he was strong uh, yesterday as well. Oh, the ball's... Oh, no, I thought the ball had come free. Oh, but so did I. It is... Uh, I think he thought the ball had come free too. <laughs> got up and threw it away, but no, he earned inside a penalty for a... 
hit high tackle. I ought to be surprised if he says, you know what, give me another run. Yeah. I'll go again. And so Kyung look to find touch. On the burst. Give it to me on the burst. <laughs> he successfully does that. Hands him another 15 metres up the field. They can take it into the 10 metres, mate. Yeah, there you go. Off the mark. No, lucky, lucky now. And here he is. Here he is. He said, yep, no, give it back give to it me. Back. This is Mason Edmonds Clark. Decided to have another run. Oh, a double thing. And he's been busy too, hasn't he, uh, Cleve? Yeah, look, again, pass it off the back of a penalty. Yep. Oh, he's got the numbers. The now. Number 13 for Hokianga. He's getting rid of uh, defenders. Yes, uh, uh, Beasley. Take. Famous oh, name back in the wake up of the BZ Fano. Mason yeah. out of tongue me half. They come up north though. So uh Hokianga now hot on attack. They have a play at him from marker. Coming to the right hand side. Oh yeah. Good, Beautiful good hands, ball. good step back on the inside, and they go over for another try off the back of another penalty. Yeah, Kyrain uh, Taraika. I thought I echoed really with that try. They had a good shift on, but uh, everyone just going for the same bait of grass that time. And uh, number four, Karaika, steps back. Beautiful try there from uh, Hokianga Storm. And, uh, yeah, and again, on the back of a penalty. 16 points to eight now with a kick to come. So about seven minutes left in the second half. Yeah, Pikao can still come back here. They just need to regroup. Make sure they don't give away a penalty. Force Hokianga to their kick. And then, yeah, get the ball moving and get up the field as fast as possible and try and be the next team to score. And as you said, uh, none of our kickers thus far have compensated for the win, so... 100% uncompensated. Jacob holds it up. They have an opportunity now to make those adjustments. Did it. Still Unfortunately. uncompensated. Uncompensated. Score remains 16 points to 8. Hokianga Storm over Pikiao. 8 points, the difference. Pikiao needing to score twice now. And they understand that time's off the essence here, so they're, they're jogging back to halfway. They know they need to get this kick uh, happening attitude. as soon as possible. Good attitude for the picky old side. Okay, which way do they go? Do they try a short kickoff? Do they try and find the touchline? Do they try a trick play here to try and get the ball back as fast as possible. It's a bit hard to say at the moment because uh, got numbers up on that 40 meter line. Does the hook younger side, but the ball bounces. Oh, oh that's what they go for. That's, that's what, they, what they, they need. They were hoping for that mistake, and they got it in the end. There. I don't think he was expecting that ball. Uh, was Courtney? <sighs> Yeah, and he's, he's absolutely uh, devastated with that as well. He knows he's given an opportunity for Pikiao uh, to to mount an attack here and score quickly. But if the defensive line from Hokianga can stand strong here and repel the attack, they'll be absolutely happy with that. But Courtney, yeah, unfortunately dropping that ball. Yeah, Two-time try scorer in this game. The theme of this game has been errors and, uh, and penalties that have led to tries or led to points. Oh, and another error there. Oh, which way is this going to go? Knock on. Both ways. Uh, he touched it first according to the referee, and oh, he yeah. is giving the ball to Hokianga Storm. I thought he pointed to uh, Pikiao's way first, but uh, yeah, unfortunate there. Pikiao couldn't convert that into points. They're 20 metres out from the Hokianga Storm line. Hokianga off the hook. Yeah, there's a coach killers those ones, isn't it? And, uh, when the game is in the balance and you need to hit back really quickly. About four minutes left in the second half. 
Time, uh, the clock winding down. Okianga get the ball out to the right hand edge and another error. Scooped up Scooped by the up. number eight from Piccio. He's going to go all the way. He's got the pace. <laughs> yes, that's the number oh, eight. Oh, wow. Kirangi Pito. Yeah, there was no need for uh, Hokianga to to throw the ball there, being deep inside their own half, and that they have the lead. Just needed to settle up. Oh man, I just admire the pickup by uh, young Ricky Rangi there. <laughs> so close to the ground too, so it looked a little bit easier for him to scoop that ball up and go all of uh, what was it about 20 meters. All right, this is an important kick for yeah. uh, Pikiao now. They're clawing their way back, they've got an opportunity to. Make a comeback. They need to speed it up a little bit, though. The time's not on their side. That's right. And once again, they need to compensate. Compensate for the yeah, win. Compensate. Here's uh, lining it up to the outside, outside of the outside post there, hoping that the wind does bring that around. Yeah, the outside of the outside post. So if you bring it from the outside to the <laughs> inside. And now we're inside out. <laughs> we are... Upside down. <laughs> and he's got it downside up, I think. Oh, the wind didn't bring it around this time, though. And it stayed outside out. <laughs> so score now <laughs> 16 points to 12. Hokianga over Pukia. Hokianga probably just going to walk the ball back because uh, you know, they're not in a hurry. They've got the points. They're defending the lead. All right, Fana, here we go. Hokianga Storm in front by four points. Piccio, they need a clean set here with no mistakes, but they also need to throw the ball and have a crack because they need to score a set in order to tie this game up. So this is going to be a big set defensively for Hokianga and a big set and attack for Piccio. Nice little ploy there to make the ball fall off the old uh, tee to eat up a few more important seconds on the clock. Yeah, so uh, Pukio, I think they need to score here. Oh, taken well on the full. Oh, the, oh, and the ball out. comes loose. Has it gone backwards though? And now they decide to shift it. Here we go. There's what can they do? Settle up, settle up. That's wise just to settle things down now. Pukio here going to the left hand side of the field. Ooh, the clean up those passes. Yeah. Oh, the ball comes loose again. Referee says carry on. No, he doesn't. Knock on, and that could be it, Fano, as Hokianga Storm now will get the ball back. All they need to do is settle up and run the clock down. Yeah, there's about a minute left in this game, and Hokianga can take their time walking to the scrum. They'll be lucky to get maybe three or so tackles. Yep. Hokianga need to, need to put their scrum in. ASAP so they can stop the time. I don't think they're, they're aware of that fact yet. I don't think they I don't think they stop uh, time. And these ones? Oh, yeah, okay. It's just a running clock because of the amount of games that we have to get through. So there we go. You know, it's a little, uh, little tactics that uh, Hokianga can use here. He just needs to settle up the back leave. Of the yeah, well done there. He's been busy all game, Nico Cleave. Nothing fancy here for Hokianga. They don't have to do anything fancy, but hey, they're trying something they're fancy. They're trying something. <laughs> they don't want to. They don't want to finish the game 16 points to 12. They want to have a crack. But that's it, Fano. The referee is blowing for full time. That was the last play of the game. Hokianga hold on for a 16 points to 12 lead over Pikiao. Uh, Fano, we're going to go to a to a break now. Uh, give our camera crew a bit of a Bit of a uh, like lunch. a tap, bit yeah. of a rest, and, and that'll and we'll be back with the semi final action and then the grand final action as well. And of course, Hook Younger Storm will advance through uh, to the semi finals now. Yeah, so hey, hang around for the semis and the finals. The action's about to ramp up. Be back soon.
Mauri ora te iwi ko tenei te whiringa whaiti o tenei te reanga te kauma toru e waenga nui ia waikato Māori, waikato hepiko hetani wha ki tenei o ngā kapa te rongo Māori ki tawhiti me te pai anō hoki o tā rāua haka i te ahi ahi nei. Alright, checking out the waikato Māori side, te kaia Maipi, Quest Prime, Harley Rayner, TJ, Takiari Anderson celebrating his 13th birthday today. Hari rā whanau kia koe TJ. Uh, Crystal Farakura Walker, Jackson Cornes, Mitai Ngatai Matthews, Taina Kore Ford, Takiri, Phoenix King Walker, Kaimani Peters, uh, Liam Taha Williams, Ali Ngawaka, Kingi Potapu, uh, Ryland Nuth, Bentley Clothier, uh, Jeremiah Hokianga, Kalem Rata Roma, Nico Graham Puru, Dejan. Tahu Ryan, Te Hingarangi, Tuhoro Martin, Rifi Mohi, Te Wara, and William Rota. And that is our Waikato Māori team. And for our Tiranga Māori 13s team, wearing number one, Rico Makoare, number two, Cody Wills, number three, Tyrell Manaia, Ngafika Karaitiana, number four, Elysia Tu Laepa, number five, Lambros Tormanga, number six, Jaden Hapi, seven, it's Te Aotuhu, Pirangi Papaya, number eight, Jonas Rake, nine, Peyton Harper, ten, Eli Harboru, eleven, and captain in this game, Miki Matapu, number twelve, Te Rai Mana Tahiata, thirteen, Taishan Taylor, fourteen, Tyler Nukunuku, fifteen, Dazrus, Teddy, sixteen, Isaiah Ferguson, Selkitch, and seventeen, Onyx Simmons is Te Roa Maori have first use of the ball in this match. They played very well in the earlier uh, game we commentated there, Utah, and they'll be looking to back that up in this game as well, being a semi-final, of course. Yes, and that man there that just played the ball, Te Roa Mana Tahiata, he was one of the standouts for uh, the Te Roa Maori side, so Waikato Maori going to have to do a lot to shut that man down. Absolutely. As uh, Te Roa Maori go to the left-hand side, Put a boot to the ball to complete the first set of the game. The ball's allowed to bounce twice, actually, but ends up in the hands of Waikato Māori player out on the right-hand edge. Yeah, very lucky to get the ball back there. Uh, we know, of course, that the ball bounce can be very dangerous. You never know where that ball's going to go or end up. And they're lucky that it did end up in their hands in the end. Waikato Māori up onto the 40-metre line, and they look to go wide early on. Oh, oh good ball there. there. Nice strong ball there. Our line there, and that'll reef to what a... Cutting back on the inside and earns a penalty for his side and Waikato to Māori just want to get on, to, on it. And here's Cornes here with the ball. Looking for a touch. Yeah, and here comes some good stock too, Jackson. As Whakapapa links, uh, ties right into Māori Rugby League. Lines touch 30 metres out from Te Rongo Māori's try line. Bring the ball in, number four. The birthday boy, is it? Yeah, TJ. Takiari Anderson. Looking to tap that now and probably find one of his forwards to take the first hit up, and he does. And this, of course, is Liam Taha Williams with a nice strong run. Thought he wasn't finished off there, but the referee calls him back. Out of dummy half. Another big prop forward to settle up in the middle. This is Taina Kore Ford. Takiari. Takiari now just still going, still going, making some extra meters. Come back to the blind hand side now to uh, Cornes, but unfortunately the pass wasn't the greatest and he couldn't hold on to it. And so, the wrong Modi now with the ball. The right one at Ahiata scooping up the loose ball. So, the wrong Modi look to work things out of their own 20. They're just over the 20 now. So, Wakata Modi with a mistake in the green zone. Modi looking to make them pay here, and a penalty gives them a nice. Well, uh, at least a repeat set. We talked about discipline in our earlier games as well and how they can really play a difference in the outcome of the game. So, really mistakes there by Waikato Māori and are now a penalty. Māori over the 40 metre line now. That's tackle one. Fresh set of six. They look to attack down the left edge of the field. He's been strong all the whole weekend as well, the same boy here. Back toward the middle, looking for some forwards. No, nope, he decides to go himself. That was the number six, Jaden Happy. And here he is again. Terai Manatahiata. Hopping away from a couple of defenders. Well inside the 20 meter line now. Good, strong one. Good ball zone here. Happy passes on to Mickey Matapu, who's kept it. Take it down in a strong tackle there by Liam Taha Williams. 
Come back to the left hand side. Fifth and final here for Tiromo Modi. See what they do with the ball. He opts to go from dummy half. Little cheeky little scoot. He was doing some uh, massive damage in the earlier game too out of dummy half. So Waikato Maori were on to that. Mark is working. Probably wasn't really on. He probably would have got to his kickers there, but unfortunately. Yeah, Waikato Maori came down in their red zone now, so they're just they're just working it out. Nothing too fancy. Not trying to push any um, high risk high risk plays. No, not at all. And just some darts out of dummy half there as the backs come in to release some pressure from their forwards. And here's the Great winger speed, right there. Yeah. He bumps away from one. Oh, straight into two. This kid is tough. Little pinball. Oh, call him Quest. Optimus Prime. And he's in this team a penalty. Ngati Hine Ngati Te Tarawa Motatau Te Tangatara. Great run there from Prime. Yeah, he was on a quest to the try line too. Absolutely. It's a uh, Māori fine touch just over the halfway line now. So a fresh set of six inside uh, Te Rongo Modi's half. Yeah, Matthew's looking to... Uh, tap the ball there, although we have the winger standing in front of him, so ball still coming, waiting for the ball to be passed back in. Uh, already we've, we're five minutes deep and we've had a couple of swings of the momentum already. That looks like a walker to do the honours to tap the ball off. On a nice good big Thanks. run, Dihingarangi Martin. Here we go now. Yeah, the number 10, Wakata Māori. And yeah, that's Kaimani Peters taking it up. Walker now hands it on. 13 taking it up the thing. Pautapu. Pautapu offloads. There we go, Jeremiah Hokianga. Coming back to Jackson. Yes. Oh, nice pass. What a pass. Can he finish it? Good defense. Good defense there, Rifi Tewara couldn't quite get over the line. Oh, what a ominous pass there, oh, but it does go backwards and the referee lets it carry on. Oh man, what about the pass there from the number 19? There Absolutely, fantastic. Poked up now. Oh, bit of confusion on who was getting the balls. They come back to the blind side, he threads the needle, but the chase is there, did they know about it? Oh, oh. did he get it down? There's some claps from the crowd, the sideline says yes. Let's have a look at that replay while the referee in the touchy has a hooey. Looks like everybody was on side. And he points to the spot. That's a try. Hepito. Hepito. First points posted in this match in the semi final. Hepito. Yeah, fantastic uh, try there in the end. We end up going back to the blind side. Just a nice weighted kick. But the kick is only as good as his chases, and the chase was there. I believe that was the birthday boy. DJ Taki Ari Anderson on his birthday getting the first meat pie for his side in the semi-final. Couldn't get a better birthday present. I suppose there could be. Uh, making it through to the grand yeah, final. Man, and, uh, the next step. The next yeah. step. Well, I guess uh, this, it's, this is a stepping stone to that next step. That's right. One game at a time. Like it's Māori now with the early lead. Four points to nil with a kick to come. This is uh, Dejan Atahu Rind. Looking to add the extra two. Going through his processes now. No, no. Oh, he struck it well. So, no, unfortunately, just not quite hard enough. Yeah, maybe should have put that extra wheat bits in the bowl this morning at breakfast. Mm -hmm. So score remains four points to nil. Waka to Māori over Te Rongo Māori Kitafiti. Eight minutes gone in the first half. Nothing in this game at the moment, but both teams have had an opportunity to attack the line and both teams have been repelled, but in the end there, a nice little weighted kick. The difference so far. Te Rongo Modi not in a hurry to, to get us back underway. They're just walking back from the try line. Probably trying to regather themselves, regather some composure. Taking Think some about what they need to do. We're back underway now as they kick off to their left-hand side. Wakato Māori's right edge. Taking on the full there. 
<laughs> he he, he just goes straight pass. at him. That's prime right there. He didn't care. He just wanted to run it. Never mind giving it to my fours. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Telling the fours take note, boys. Playing the ball now. That is Martin. Coming oh, now to it, Peters. It's Jeremiah here. Finds a little bit of a half gap. Pokes his nose through. Takes his team over the halfway line now. Hooker looks left. Here's Cornes. Cornes. Taha Williams now with the ball. Still standing in the tackle. Oh, he was still pumping his legs. <laughs> but a little error at the ruck. I did see that. Unfortunately there. It's just so when they're building a bit of momentum too. And yeah. Yeah, they were. They were. Unfortunate there not to be able to get to the to the kick in that set. Oh, the ref called that held a little bit a little bit early. Mm. Hey, uh, we play to the ref's whistle. Modi Kitafiti now with an opportunity to hit back and they are dangerous with the ball. Yeah, you see they look like they've got some shape set on the left hand side of the field. Early ball out to the number 16 there, Isaiah Ferguson Salkic. Taken into defence by Waka Tamari as they go back to their forwards. The forwards running hard. Made in some solid defence there by Wakato forwards. He might have been a little bit ginger after that tackle. Yeah, too. nice hole. Nice line here run by the number 12. He's the man we said we need to look out for. Terai Mana Tahiata, but he was pulled down just short of the try line. All the Waikato defenders <laughs> on the back foot at the moment. Oh, great recovery there by Waikato, but... He's still got tackles up their sleeve, does the Tiroma Bodhi side. Ball goes over the top. Well chased there by Waikato as well to, <laughs> to make sure they shut it down. Yeah, we've got time off here. Looks like we've got an injury in the back. Player yeah, safety. Ty Wawa and the trainers out there. Just checking on our... Uh, that was after another try saving tackle there too, so he put his body on the line. Yeah, his oh, teammates, teammates. Can, yeah, teammates can thank him for that one. We have one of our uh, commentators over there, Namu Puru. <laughs> yeah. uh, putting Yarns. on the coaching hat uh, for this tournament. Yarns with Nams. He's got no water bottles with him either, so, uh, or does he, in his hand? I don't know if he's got any magic water with him. Might have uh, magic words. Loves a yarn. Yarns <laughs> with arms. Yarns with arms. No, he's got a bottle there, I think. Magic word and magic uh, water. Yeah, as we wait for the uh, Waikato Māori uh, player there to be escorted off the field. It's been a fantastic tournament, uh, fantastically run. Uh, support from all of our whanau coming across the Motu have been awesome as well, bringing that Wairua Pai. And it's been really, really great to see 54 teams uh, representing various uh, regions throughout the Motu. Yeah, massive. And look, uh, yesterday we had a little bit of drizzle, um, but our field... Obviously still held up, pristine condition, and it's made for some great football here in semi-finals and finals as uh, we get back underway. Tirongo Modi out to the right-hand side of the field through the number four, the centre, Tui Laepa. But, oh, it must have been fifth and final. So Wakata Māori now hot on attack. Here's uh, Reef Mohitewara. He takes the first hit up for them to show the 20-metre line. Oh, good defense here from uh, Tarongo Modi, and they force a mistake as well. That was, of course, uh, Walker, who unfortunately dropped the ball there. And now Tarongo Modi with another opportunity to attack the line. Again, it's coming down to those little errors, uh, giving the opposition an opportunity uh, to post some points up on the board. Yeah, look. Uh 
They've still, you know, one of these teams still got a game after this. They're both vying for a position in their in their grand final. So Tiroga Modi 13s now. There's their weapon. There's their number 12 again. Te Rai Mana Tahiata. Absolutely a weapon. Drags two players with him. And this big guy here is another weapon they have up their sleeve. Jonas Rake. Done well to pull him down there. There's the, the, the Wakato defense. And Tahiata with the ball. Uh, with the ball skills as well. Tapping it on to his number 13, Tayshin Taylor. This is a really good line speed from Waikato here, shutting down the plane. And he's been good. He reached out to put the ball down, looking for confirmation from the touch judge. Oh. She says it was a try. Watch it again here. You know, I didn't know he was so close to the line. He just reaches out, bang, right there. Oh, the corner was <laughs> yeah. leading to the referee, the knock on. No, but they had to get across there. Awesome work there by the um, Te Ronga Modi 13 side. Put themselves on the board and level up the scores. Four all here in the semi final final. Kick to come. And then we say it, we keep saying it is round. It's on the back of those mistakes, those early mistakes, and giving over the ball uh, in your red zone is something you do not want to do. And uh, that is the reason why. And good on uh, Te Ronga Modi Kitafiti capitalizing on that mistake as well. Yeah, massive work as uh, Tayshan Taylor. Looking to add the extras and put his team in the lead. Yeah, we see them kick well uh, early on, and we did put a little bit of a hoodoo on Put of a woo-woo. <laughs> so, we <laughs> yeah, he goes through his processes. The, the old double calf raise. Double calf raise. Yeah. Oh, I, I can Take a step. Here's he. And then back in there with the horse trot and then back oh, to the strike. Just off to the right by the looks of things. So uh, score remains 4 all. We're all locked up here in the semi final in our under 13 Tama section here at Pukata Fiddle Park. And that's how we like our semi finals a nice tight uh, match between the two teams. And they've definitely earned their spot here in the semi finals, haven't they? Yeah, look, it's been, a, it's been a long tournament. A lot of these boys would have played about three, four, possibly five games. Mm -hmm. And uh, the speed of fifth or sixth game for them. They've got another game after this if they're able to get through. A few uh, sore bodies in camp, no doubt. No doubt. And uh, I think it comes down to a bit of a mental game now. Who wants it more as Jackson Cornes gets us back underway? Ball finds the ground, but picked up by the prop there. The number Rake. eight, Jonas Rake, he's going down the edge. Pulled down eventually by the right edge defence of Waikato Māori. As they cross the 40 metre line now, strong tackle there by the number 14. Yeah, he's, he's very well defensively. Uh, Nuth. Ryland Nuth. Oh, Modi with a bit of a pep in their step at the moment. Great contact there. Mickey Matapu, the captain. He's been strong all weekend as well. And so is this young fella. Tahiata, the green head gear getting involved again. So he comes at the end of the set. He puts the ball into the air. No pressure there. Yeah. Taken on the full well by the Waikato Māori winger. Oh, good step as well. He's got some good footwork on him. Yeah, and, good. Uh, well. Harley Tahu. No, Harley Rayner. Yep. Is that uh, Joey Rayner's boy? Steps okay. like his mum. <laughs> Straight out of dummy half. Good run in the end, making a good 10, 12 metres for his team. Oh, Scoot out from dummy half again. Yeah, good stuff. A bit of a roll on here is the Waikato Māori team. Out to, Jean, out to Jackson. Completes the set with a nice kick. Finds the grass. Good chase oh, as well. Chases up there. He chases his own kick, does Jackson. He needed to make that tackle too because we know that the fullback for Tarongo Modi has been dangerous in previous games and they need to shut down that space for him and they did that really well. Yeah, so Tarongo Modi looking to work it out here. It's the pink headgear, that's Isaiah Ferguson Salkic. Oh, the dummy oh, out nice to the right and he does, he pulls the marker there. Quick play the ball. Waikatamari still retreating. They get to the end of their set. 
brief. Oh, oh he touches the ball and touch. it goes out into touch. This could be uh, the break that Te Rungo Modi need to take the lead. Absolutely. Starting their set 20 metres out from the try line. Yep. Riffy would want that back, no doubt about it. But hopefully his team can stand up for him and defend their line. As Rungo Modi, as you said, look to capitalise on that mistake and take the lead. So Wakata Mori going to need to be very disciplined. Tahiata here with the ball. No doubt he was going to get his hands on the ball in this set. Well inside the 20 meter mark now. Oh, good, good, okay. good defense. Jonas, okay. 10 meters out. Got options to go left hand side. We hear the Huda. This will be the last play. Can they? Oh, oh it was there. They had the numbers. But the ball didn't stick. And unfortunately there, yeah, it's a knock on, that should be half time final, we, we heard the hooter but I don't think our Kaiwa Wao heard the hooter, no he did, he just he, did now, he, he got the, he, he got the old call from the sideline so there we have it final, nothing separating these two teams, for all we're locked up at half time in the semi-final between Waikato Māori and Te Rongo Māori Kitafiti. and on that, Kaiwa E Haere Tawhiti. We'll be back shortly with the second half of action. Come out on him, I.
Nei mai hoki mai e, e te iwi ki tēnei tukinga o te whiringa whai iti, the semi-finals of the under-13s grade. Waikato Māori, te rongo Māori ki tawhiti, battling it out. Four points each right now. Nothing separating these teams. It's really coming down to uh, field position and mistakes that have uh, really uh, separated these two teams. Uh, you say that, we see a mistake here. Yeah, right so from the Modi. But here we go, Rongo Modi with uh, early pressure on Waikato Māori. It's Jonas Rake there, ever reliable prop for uh, Te Rongo Modi Kitafiti as they're hot on attack in the green zone now. Number 17 there, Onyx Simmons almost loses his shorts. We come to the right-hand side of the field. Oh, back on the oh, inside. Yes. Number six, Jaden Huppy hitting a line. Lucky the inside defence was uh, working there for Waikato Māori. Tahi with the ball. Yeah, defending well at the moment. They don't want to be giving away a penalty. They just want to get in there, make those tackles. Got the final. Ooh, they do get the ball out to the left side. Oh, good long ball. Oh, what good a long pass. ball. And draw and pass. There's nobody outside, but he decides to go himself. Does he get there? No, he doesn't. He had an open man. Very desperate defense there for Waikato Māori. I thought uh, if he got the ball out to his winger, he would have crossed over. But Waikato Māori hang on there. You're yeah, very lucky to hold on there. We've got Walker coming in the ball up for Waikato Māori now. And they'll be looking to just complete the set and get themselves out of the danger zone. Two good scoots there from uh, Dummy Ha from the backs. Stewart looks to take it around himself now as well. Oh, and that looked a little bit high, and the referee agrees. He he doesn't mind that action. Uh, Reefy to yeah, what straight up. back up, back to his position. So Waikato now. Here yeah, with a good piggy back up the field. So he finds touch. Oh, well, did he? Oh, yeah, he did yeah, he find touch. touch. I think they try to carry on. Yeah. Tachi was on the spot there, and uh, I think we've just seen on the camera. But, uh, the player there had the ball and took it into touch, I think, so they'll have a scrum instead. Yep. Or play, the ball. play the ball. They're very lucky to get away with that, uh, Waikato. Yeah, As we have sure Nice now with the ball. To the left now through the number 12. Oh, 12 meets 12. Now Waka. Now Waka versus Tahiata. Good battle there. Jeremiah with the ball. Floating across the oh, field and the ball comes free. I think he tacked the ball though, so that might be back to one. I think he just knocked the ball out of his hands. Yeah. Bentley Clothier here with the ball gets an oh, offload away. Good offload. Now some attack down the left hand side of the field. I think uh, that was the boy. safest option to hold on to it. TJ now playing the ball. Both uh, markers weren't square there. Taha Williams. That's a good run. All over the 20. And and markers in front of him. Oh, he goes down the blind side. He sees a bit of space. And he gets and he there. Goes there. He goes all the way. Yeah, markers get napping there. Had both had their backs turned, as you'll see here. After this good play, the ball. Both markers just turn around. Well, no markers at all. Number three with his back turned. Couldn't get there in time. And yeah, Nuth. Goes over for a try in the corner. Oh, but it oh, looks hang like on. the no. touchy's called it back and must have seen a foot go into touch. Okay, no try. So he took his opportunity there, did, uh, the number 14, Roland Nuth. But, um, he can't yeah, fault him for game that. of inches. So uh, Tarongo Modi Kitafiti with the ball now. And Nuth in there to make that tackle. And you're looking to make up for his... Uh, for handing the ball over. Tahiata with the ball now. And earning a side a penalty. This is uh, where they usually make teams pay. Absolutely. They decide not to kick it out though. Yeah. Oh, but he's off the mark anyway. So they'll bring it back to the mark and they might think to kick it out now. They don't want to waste time there. Nope. nope. They're still opting for the tap. Why not when you've got big, strong runners like this man here? Yeah, Onyx Simmons with the ball. Fancy footwork here from Rico Makwari. He was a dangerous little weapon in the game earlier today. Absolutely, he was. 
Nice step on. Okay, Still pumping his legs. Bit of a roll on here for Tidongo Mauriki Tafeti. Yeah, they've made some massive meters. Starting that, of course, 20 meters out from their own try line, and they've marched right up the field. Nice little stab over top. Knocked back by Rifi. He gathers and brings it back now, five meters out from his own touchline. Now Waikato. Ooh, the little mouse trick play there. Haven't seen that one for a little while. As the birthday boy brings it up to the 10 meter mark. Oh, Another good run out of dummy half. Island again. Nooth. Nooth. Got a bit of speed around the rock there. 40 meters out from their own try line now. And they're about to get some uh, momentum there, Waikato. They come up to the end of the set now. Oh, strong tackle there by Tiranga uh, Mauriki Tafeti, number seven. Te Altura Pirangi Pokaya. Probably related to some of these boys in the Waikato Māori team. Yep. Oh, and he drops oh, the ball and he yeah. had Jackson chasing in. And that will be Waikato ball and feed. No, it's a penalty. I oh, think penalty. The player that picked the ball up was in front of the fullback. They dropped okay. It. Here we go. So now Waikato have an opportunity now to make Te Rongo Mauri Kitafiti pay for their mistake. We'll tap the ball and give it to Liam Taha Williams. Good, strong run. Oh, looks like a player's down here for Te yep. Rongo Mauri. Bentley yep. Clothier just goes straight into the first defender. And uh, time will be called here. Tyler Nukunuku. Looking a little bit ginger. Oh, he's Ooh, pushing, he's pushing he's the ref away. He's pushing I'm the sport right. away. I'm all right. No, you're not, son. Go away, ref. Player safety. He's, oh, no, he's pushing his own players away. They're pushing back to the mark uh, to figure it out. So hopefully uh, somebody gets out there quick. And good on this player, too, for coming across and saying, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. We need to look after you. You've got a whole lifetime ahead of you, eh, Tama? So he will come from the field now. Player safety and anything to do with the head. He so comes from the field by the looks of things. And Wakata might get us back underway. Another, Another mouse trap. trap. And Nuth taking the ball once again, and he's been busy, hasn't he? Oh, is he going to go from dummy? Oh. Oh. Yeah, they jumped out on the ball there, just a... Just so pay the ball, and they weren't, um, you know, nobody uh, was there. Nobody was there. They weren't urgent enough. Yeah. They've got Waikato defense, looking like they're trying to drown this Te Rongo Mauri Kitafiti team down in their own 20, and they're doing a job of it at the moment. <laughs> what a solid That's hit. That's a solid hit. Strong hit there, the number top. And he's forced an error. Oh, he good. forced an error. Good tackle that from Ali Ngawaka. Referee looking for a uh, confirmation from his touch judge. Oh, bit of a hui tahi there. Oh, bit of a uh, blood there coming. I think your island is coming out. Oh. oh. What's, the, what's the penalty for here? Yeah, I don't know what the penalty there for. There's just waiting the referee. for the signal from the ref, but he's just giving penalty. Okay. Well, this is a good restart for oh, yeah, uh, Tiromo Modi. Coming down the left-hand side, they need to be careful of the sideline. Oh, and you've got that man out there, the number 10, Eli oh, yeah, Harbottle. No dangers. Someone's uh, lost the boot there. It's, it's Harbottle. We've had a few uh, single boots being handed into lost and found here yeah. at uh, Fikitafero. There's going to be another one coming our way. This is his uh, partner in crime in the Fords. Jonas Rake, Fahiata, puts the ball on. Oh, is there a little wraparound nice play? Jackson Fornes up in the line for Wakata Māori. Shuts it off. Yep, now uh, Māori inside of Wakata territory, but they forced the another mistake there. Uh, I think it's a penalty mark is not square or knock on? No, it's the knock on. It's the knock on. No advantage to Wakata. Yes, and, uh, it's good work from Marker there. Yeah, both teams are in the grind right now. Both teams are uh, defending well. You see the number eight there for Wakato Māori just telling his boys, hey, hey, we just need to calm things down. 
Yeah, let's just get Play to composed. the composed. Yeah, that's right. Don't have to score every set. Let's just get down there. Still 11 minutes in this uh, second half to go. Ball comes out of the scrum to the right-hand side of the field. A little bit of footwork put on there by the number 23. It's William Rota for Wakata Māori. Yeah, dummy half, and we've had some good scoots from our back three. We're looking to steal the ball there. And Walker plays it in the end. Coming back to uh, Ngawaka. He's been good defensively as well, and another good strong run from Ngawaka. So to the left, forwards. Keep him going forward. Yeah, nice from Takiari here. Not Takiri, should I say, not Takiri, Takiri. Oh, there's their man again. No. Dummy half. He's dangerous. He, he is straight dangerous. Two defenders. And that should open up some space out wide somewhere. They come back to this right-hand side. Oh, oh and the dummy it is. goes. I got the Māori. Look back at that. Oh, That's Ryland hardly Huth ran. A, yeah, it yeah. started from here, didn't it? Ryland Huth out a dummy half and catches them on the back foot. The show to the left. Nitai Ngātaki Matthews linking up with... Harley Rayner there in the centres to put Wakato ahead. Eight points to four with a kick to come. And he wanted he want to slot this over as well just to give them a, a bit more of a comfortable lead, knowing that it will have to be a converted try in order for Rungo and Modi to tie the game up as well. Jackson Corn is with the kicking duties now. You know, he would have spent some time with his older brothers around down the fields practicing these types yes. of kicks. Still yet to see it from his older brother, though. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he might need to do a bit more uh, time down at the complex. <laughs> he strikes it, and, and he, he strikes it. it well. Put some six points ahead, ten points to four. Waikato Māori over Te Rongo Māori Kitafiti in the semi-final in our 13s Tama section. Knowing also that the clock is uh, ticking over to Rongomodi and not wasting any time this time coming up to half to, uh, halfway to get this kick underway. Got eight minutes remaining in this game, in this match. Yeah. It's tied up at the end of it. Do we go into overtime? We do go into overtime. We do go into overtime. We'll have to find a winner to go through to the grand final. Definitely so. Hey, that's not off the cards. Yeah, Tarongo Modi have shown that they're given an opportunity. They can attack. And so Waikato Māori will have to have some really good ball oh, oh, and a tackle like that. Hit. But straight up and straight up play the ball. That's right. They're too busy celebrating uh, Tarongo Māori rather than the job at hand. But no, I take that back because they were just backed up with another good tackle. So they're coming firing. They know they have to strike back and strike hard. And they are doing exactly that. Waikato Māori now. Yeah, full credit to the Waikato Māori boys. They're not buying into any of it, and they're just trucking on, trucking on, and trucking it up. And nobody at dummy half. Oh, so tuck it on. There's play on. Nuth didn't get there fast that enough. Is, that's a coach killer. Absolutely, it is. Now Tarongo Modi have an opportunity. Tahiata now with the ball. Taking a nice tackle there by Bentley Clovia. They have about five meters inside of Waikato Māori territory now. Looking to their big prop and oh, all the touch. Show and go. So that's back to one now, I think, uh, with a touch in hand by one of our Waikato Māori players. Te Rongo Māori with a fresh set deep inside their territory. Oh, Bobby now with the ball. Come back to the right-hand side of the field, and here's his uh, prop and crime. Great tackle around the leagues. Yeah, that tackle needed to be uh, made as well. And that's how you take the big boys. You take them around the ankles. Good line speed here from Waikato Māori. Te Rongo Māori Kitafiti, though, threatening. It's the fifth and final. They look to the right-hand side. Puts a little grubber through. Oh, oh but teed up. Well. And that's that man again. Ryland Nuth, he's been a saviour for this Waikato Māori side thus far. Absolutely, he has. Another run from dummy half. The oh, shrugs off the player there. Show of strength there. Oh, but, but then, yeah, but then driven back. And there's TJ Takiari playing the ball. Reef to run it now. He's going to look for a, for, a sp uh, for a bit of space. Does well so to take the tackle. Yep. 
Here's Takiri. Strong as ever. Up to the 40 meter mark. And they get to a kick now. Yeah, oh, it's it looks a like a kick. A, oh, taken well. Yep. Taken well. Rico Makawari. All class. They've managed to keep him down. Oh, just lifting in the tackle there. It's a hard uh, one, these ones. It's yeah, hard, I understand. I, I, yeah. I guess I guess nowadays everything's about player safety. Yeah. So mm. like any form of lifting is uh, is being ruled out. So, uh, Te Roma Mauri Kitakiti with the fresh set of six. Coming out of this left-hand side where both their props usually uh, camped out or have been camped out. Yeah, and there's one of them there. Okay. Okay. I guess he's going to finish up. Oh no, he runs the front door. Makawari, drawing pass, number three, Tyrell Manai, Angafika Koraitiana, he's pulled down in the tackle. Oh, nice little dummy. So, Tyrell Mamori, hot on attack. Oh, the oh, outside, nice outside play. play. Yep, luckily the cover defence was there. Hape pulled down, just 10 metres out from the Waikato Māori try line. They look to the left hand side. Oh, he does Good a double cut out again. He's drawing pass drawing here. Pass is all it took. Beautifully done as we have a look at that again. And just simple play here. Recognize yeah. the numbers. Tsuro Pirangi Pokaya with a beautiful ball. Simple drawing pass from the center out to wow, Isaiah on the wing. And that's. Uh, Brings the margin back to within two points. Yeah, and that's uh, why that first kick from Waikato, oh, that kick from Waikato Maru was so important, wasn't it? Because as we head into the dying stages of the second half, it puts all the pressure now on this young fella to get the ball uh, over the post and draw this game up. It's not an easy kick either, but it's not something that we haven't seen from him. No, that's right. This is his favourite side, as we saw, the left-hand side. Yeah. Yeah, look, this is exactly what we want to see in a semi-final, a close battle between two teams who have been dominant uh, throughout uh, this tournament thus far. Well deserving to be in this position, both these teams. As we said, it just comes down to those little things, little errors, penalties. Yep, just any sort, any sort of a form of piggyback that uh, they give. As he's struck the ball, it's coming. Oh, oh it's just across the face there. So two points of difference now. Definitely an important kick. I got to Māori jogging back to halfway. Not sure why they're two points up. They yeah, don't want to be just uh, taking their time here. Get a nice, good, deep kick if they can. And we're looking at the clock. There's about two, three minutes left. So it's a set each. If uh, Waikato Māori can stay disciplined here, not give any penalties away, this could possibly be Te Rongo Māori Kitafiti's last set with the ball. They'll be looking to go to Rake and uh, half bottle here to get them some good runs up the field. Yeah, don't and be then surprised. to their captain as well. Yeah, don't be surprised to see uh, Tahiata get his hands on oh, the ball. Oh, brilliant kick. Gone over the head. Brilliant kick. Nobody's standing back. They didn't think that he had the power to kick it. Brilliant kick. And so, oh... That's exactly what Waikato Māori were hoping for. I <laughs> <laughs> trying to get that back on the replay, but uh, the Tiramo Māori Kitafiti team, I don't know what they're arguing about. I see they had a... Maybe they weren't ready uh, for the kick. And yeah, oh, they're going for a short kickoff. That's definitely needed, but scooped up there by the number three. That's Reina. Reina. Waikato Māori here, don't need to do anything fancy. No, just, just run the clock down. And Liam. Oh, score Williams. Oh, no, he's short. Gone. Very close to scoring. Jackson Cornes just needs to. Yeah, they just need to play the percentages. Now. Down. Just play the percentages. That's all they need to do. Play the sit out. Even kick the ball out. Oh, but, the, they, oh but they took it out. And the birthday boy gets a second try. Waiting to get confirmation here. Yeah, and while we await confirmation from the sideline official. We'll look back at the replay. 
He's shaping to go to the blind side, and Liam Taha Williams draws in a number of defenders. And he gets it. The thumbs up. Birthday boy gets two in the semi final. And Wakato Māori know what that means. Right on the stroke of full time. They go up by six points, and there is the hooter. So Waikato Māori will go through to the grand final for the 13th Tama. We still await uh, the other results to see who they will be playing in the final, and the other game was between there Counties Māori and... Hokianga Storm, was it? Storm? Can't confirm, sorry. I can't confirm who... who uh, was playing in that other semi-final, but here we go. Welcome to Māori, advance through to the final. We'll be back very shortly with the 14th final, which is going to be another crack of a game, I bet. A semi-final, sorry. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mauri o re te iwi a nga ka tahuri ake i a e nei ki te whiringa whae iti o te reanga te kauma fa semi-final action right here for Puki Te Whero Park. Rotorua, e tu hei te auri yariki, taking on ko tahitanga. Both these teams have been phenomenal over the last two days and they will be cracking at each other right now uh, in the semi-final. Uh, of course, a lot of their players coming from overseas and Kotahitanga, they've been at the forefront of this competition for many, many years, always finding themselves in the semi-finals and if not even better, in the finals and as champions in years past. So they'll be looking to, uh, to replicate those uh, past performances here today. All right, Tahu Omua is number one, Raiden Ashby Pau. And number two, three, Lennox Gray, Samania. Number four, Lachlan, Lachlan Ellis is the Tamaiti of one of our, our sponsors. And number five, Jaden Waipodi Gray. Six, Houston Jessup. Seven, Shane McEwen. Uh, and number eight, Cooper Hayward, who's been strong. Nine, Koya Cook. Uh, number 10, Isaiah Javier. At 11, Kendrick Munger. 12, Dayton Edwards. 13, Fitzu Pefaidangi. And that'll be the start in lineup for our team today. As we get back to the action. Yeti Heiti Aori Ariki with the ball to start off this match. And uh, there's been some solid contact between both these teams as we hear a penalty blowing towards uh, the Yeti Heiti Aori Ariki team. Still waiting. For, oh, yeah, look. Again, it's that lifting. Uh, I think you know, a lot of people have grown up being taught to hook the leg and things like that. And yes. that uh, for for reasons of safety uh, is being ruled out. Wrap his arms up. So just to confirm uh, for our previous game, Waikato Māori will be playing against Etuheita Uri Ariki in the 13s final. There's uh, Etuheita Uri Ariki in the 14s now with the ball. He looks to throw an offload, but ball goes to ground and goes forward. So Kotei Tanga off the hook a little bit there. Yeah, they, they defended well there, and there's some really good, strong first hit up or first contact from uh, Kotei Tanga. It's not, there's not, not going to be much between these two sides, to be fair. Both have some strike power, some really big forwards as well, and Hayward and Javier. Uh, Edwards also uh, put his hand up and the game we caught this morning so here we go with uh, Kotahitanga bringing it out of their half now some good contact there on Samania as he plays the ball now here's a uh, man with the mullet he's been great for our team here today asking the, the question is Edwards Really strong defensive by the number 12 for Hetu Hetu Ariki. That's Kalani Ford Stevens, and I was impressed with him yesterday. Yeah. Uh, he's a big second rower who's got the ball playing abilities of a half. There's uh, Kotei Tanga now towards the back end of their set. Oh, good play, bit of shape. Yeah, the and well, gets the, gets the offload. And now Cook at dummy half. Of course, his father was a Aotearoa New Zealand Māori Rugby League representative as well. He played. Some great footy over the last day or two. Has Cook. Good kick and good chase. Oh, but a one on one strip right there, I think. Or did he get again that ball? I'm not too sure, but well he done. Ball. Luckily, and just Wayne Adams comes up with the ball there. Strong defense there by the Kotei Tanga side. Yeah, Cook and Munga in their tackle. Working, working their way up the field. Oh, and again, just trying to bring the markers into play there and uh, draw them in to oh, pass the ball. Call here, though. Touched by Kotaitanga. Scrum feet here. Yeah. Yeah. Scrum feet to Etu Heitia, so another All set of six for them. The yeah, they welcome that. change in their defensive uh, setup now as one of the players has been asked to Ooh. jump out of the scrum. Oh, he charge that ball down from the scrum. Uh, we'll pack it again. Here to Hatia with the feed. 
their time, lucky maybe. <laughs> As the ball goes to the right hand side. Oh, they've got they had the numbers out there, but a good read from the winger out on the left hand edge for Tikutai Tonga. Yeah, not, not scared the chance there, aren't they? As Etu Heite Udi Ariki. Great ball work here by uh, Etu Heite Udi Ariki for the second rower. Hey, with there with a good tackle as well, and he's, he's been busy all, all weekend. some uh, feed coming through from the sidelines people saying watch Kalani that's the number 12 but uh, oh, hey, look at that watch the number five Avery Wetere tries to put the chip in but it's picked up and look at this it's a race it's a race oh, as they he's fall going. over he's going. he's going oh he steps back in oh but he finds a sideline but hey not bad good field position in the end to go out on and what a turnaround and Big Mihi going out to Etu Heitia Uriyariki, cover, cover defence there, had to come across and catch him to put him out the, on the sideline. Good run. Yeah, man, what a turn of events there. That was, well, that almost was. Um, Etu Heitia Uriyariki looking like they were going to go over some, or in their right, uh, on that right edge. Mm -hmm. And then uh, try to put a kick in, gathered up by the Kotaitanga winger. Almost going all the way, but if it wasn't for the cover defense of Etu Heitu Uri Ariki, they'd uh, work their way up the field now. There he is, Kalani Ford Stevens. Oh, he's looking to get an arm free. He gets a quick play the ball instead. Dummy half works off that. It's a nice scoot there, Kobe Tekiri. He's out to Noah Tekiri. Must be a brother. Fair fight, I with a nice, good, strong tackle there. Left and right. Comes to the left hand side. Oh, that he's Fano, the that Fano, he's got, he's got on his fan base. We can hear it every time he touches the ball yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and again, he hasn't even got the ball. <laughs> Edmonds with a good tackle. And that was the fifth and final. Yep, so, uh, it's you hate you. probably be looking to try and drown. Oh, what's going on? Hey, um. Just to play the ball, so Etu Heitia will be looking to try and drown uh, uh, Kotaitanga attack. Keep them in this little 10 by 10 box, but... Uh, a big strong run like that, it's going to be hard. He's saying otherwise. And it doesn't they decide to come down the blind side. There's Kama, Kamara, Kamara Nani. Brings it up, and he is himself a penalty for his team. Just kept it up a bit high there, so the Kai Wawao. Above the shoulder. Finds touch about 40, just over the 40 meter line. Or just on the 40 meter line. Inside their own half. They're taking their time too as uh, Kotahi Tangit is finding the mark there. Chad Kamar, Kamara Rani. Not too sure which one is. Oh, and just guilty or maybe of looking at his opposition rather than the ball there, Kendrick Monga. Taitanga uh, got marched up the field pretty easily. Uh, Etu Heitia now start to set inside Taitanga's half. Scrum feed here by Blaine Adams. So off to the right hand side of the field. Takes the ball to the line. Oh, oh he read that. Couldn't quite Adams. gather it in. Yeah. Play to the whistle, yep, that's right, it's Eddie Adiki to say, I'll just carry on. Penalty now? Well, uh, not too sure. Oh. Uh, not too sure what that was. These jersey pulling. Jersey pulling, I didn't know that was a uh, ruled out as well. Okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm learning too, Fano. Yeah, yeah, so am I. Uh, maybe just thinking about the whiplash there or something, but... Yeah, that's, that's new to me as well. So, we're, yeah, we'll be learning up in the commentary box. So, number four here, Elijah Toomanga. Settling it up. First hit up. Tristan Renata Kokiri. Second, second hit up here. Quick play the ball. Off to the right-hand side. Great shake here by the Hitu Heitia side. Back to that right hand edge. Yeah. Oh, good. Good, good tackle. 
Shut down very well there by the Kotahi Tanga defence on the left edge. Yeah, and the touch judge did signal a knock on there, and those are some really good pressure from the left hand defenders of uh, Kotahi Tanga. Fantastic result for them. So the rest of the field will be for Kotahi Tanga. Nothing in this game? Nothing, Nothing in, in it. it? Yeah, I was just thinking that as well. Ten minutes gone. Both teams have got strong defense. And some really good attackers as well. This young fellow here decides, oh, you know what, give me the ball. I'm just going to fend my way up the field. He's still going. He's throwing defenders off his roof. And he knows the, um, the only way they could take him down was by taking him around the neck. <laughs> Kendrick Monga, who made the mistake early on, decides to, back, uh, to make up for it with a busting run right there. Oh, what a charge that was. And earning the penalty, so they'll start a set of six. Yeah, inside of Etsuhetsu uh, Uriyariki territory now. 40 metres out from the try line is Kotahi Tanga. Gives it to Edwards. Nice strong run there from Edwards. Out of dummy half. Turning it back inside. And here's the man himself who ran all the way up the field, earning that penalty is Munga. Speed there from you to hit the right key and shut it down. That's what the result. Oh, I'm getting a bit lazy at marker there. And yeah, Cook trying to take uh, advantage of that. Yeah, almost made them pay for it. Jessup with the ball now. He decides to put a chip kick over the top. There's nobody there at the moment, but covered well by the winger. He did well to cover that ball. Good on you, mate. Good little kick there from Jessup, uh, earning a repeat set for his team. Haven't seen a team go for the short kickoff yet. Like, uh, we've seen in the NRL, uh, the chance they are at that, but I'm not too sure if the same rules apply. Yeah, I don't think the same rules apply when not the NRL. <laughs> yep. And not all the rules uh, transfer across here. We have different international rules in Aotearoa. We up for the, the long kickoff. That's gone about 35 metres on the full. Jesse passes it on to Hayward. And he runs it up nice and strong run there. Yeah, Isaiah to Tepaiti there, just hanging on by the shorts. He passes it on to Samania. Cook back into a hookup. Passes it off now, finds Jessup, who passes it on to Pefairangi. <laughs> Cook back to Ewan. Look, Ewan. Oh, out to the out. fullback to Omua. Omua looked for a chip over a little grubber kick there, but. Unfortunately, didn't find its mark. So we've got a knock on by Kotahi Tanga. Scrum feed here on the 10. Game, both teams standing up defensively and defending their line really well. And that's why both these teams are in the semi final. Yeah, not neither team's been able to crack um, the other team, so. It's interesting to see who cracks first and, and what's going to cause it. Absolutely. Uh, Blake Tikino here with the ball. Taking the first hit up, keeping things safe for Etu Heitia Udiariki. Getting the backs in. Oh, oh what a mistake here. Oh, the ball's come free. Yep. So Kataitanga be able to put some more pressure on now. A great field position. Oh. Gives an opportunity for the backs to have a bit of a crack here now too. I thought I saw the saw, I thought I saw the referee signal um, scrum feed to Etu Heitia. <laughs> McEwen to feed the ball and they've got uh, Cook at the back in the loose forward position as they find Jessup now. And this is settling up run there from the uh, number four, Lachlan Ellis. Strong contact there by the number 12. Yeah, Hayward Ford Stevens. They're fighting him now. Fighting the big prop, and he's looking like he could go all the way, and he does in the end. They're great try from Javier. If you watch it again, Cook finds Pe Fairangi from dummy half. He just draws and passes it to Javier, and Javier just too strong in the end there and cracks the defense there. And it comes down to that mistake. 
Yeah, it did. And um, it, all it took was uh, shooting shooting defender for there to Heite Uriariki team, leaving his inside shoulder vulnerable. And Koteitanga made them pay, so it's four points on the board for Koteitanga with a kick to come. All right, Jessup steps up to take the conversion. Uh, the first conversion of this match. And we saw, of course, in the uh, in the previous game that these two points really does matter, and you really want to make sure that you get the two points across the line, especially when you get kicks this close to the post. So Houston Jessup stepping up for his team. Oh, that one goes straight across, yeah, straight the, face across the face. Post. He'll be absolutely livid with that one. He's uh, kicked well throughout the. The tournament, not going to get uh, very much opportunities that close to the pace. But four points to zero, they still lead uh, in the semi-final. Five minutes left in this first half. Not much could separate these two teams. So here to Heite Uriariki to get us back underway with the, with the kickoff. There we go. Oh, nice oh, little kick there. It's a high one, yeah, and it's floating around there, but caught well by Lachlan Ellis, who played the ball on the 30 meter mark. There's the try score, Javier. Tracking it up to the 40 meter mark now. Cook out of dummy half, and he passes it on. And here comes the big number three, Samania. Strong run there by the big number three. Yep, Cook passing it on to this man who's been running hard all day, Kendrick Munger. Still going. The referee oh, says uh, the tackle help. wasn't completed. Making some extra meters. Now he's only 20 meters out from the try line. Cook out of dummy half. Cook out of dummy half. Still going. Still going, this Cook. Just, just caught inches away from the try line. As oh. Edwards looks to dive over from dummy half, but <laughs> defended well. The referee seems to play the ball. Oh, hang on. Referee, oh, uh, I think there's an injury in back play. Player down? Yep, player down. And so they'll wait to see how he is. And I think he fell over not very long after that run from Munger. And so hopefully everything goes well. We just got uh, got confirmation. 650 of our whānau uh, tuned on in uh, to the semi-final. Ngā mihi kia koutou katoa e mā takitaki maina. And wherever you're watching from across the world, we hope you're having a fantastic day. And that the whānau is A-OK -okay ka pai. So we've got a little break here, and a decision has been made on the uh, on the play of the ball. As you can see, a etu heitia uri ariki a... Have the ball in hand, a uh, knock on by uh, Dayton Edwards. As he tried to jump across the line from dummy half. So it's a bit of a serious injury at the moment, it seems, and uh, we're going to take a little bit of a, a pause in our action as the medics come onto the field to check uh, our young thumb up from Etu Heite Uri Yariki. And uh, of course, we send our Best wishes and aroha to the young boy. I hope that everything is okay. But yet, no, it's been a great two days, and I can't thank enough uh, those who work behind the scenes to make these tournaments happen. We've done a fantastic job, especially with 54 teams. I mean, this is the biggest Tama tournament we've had to date, isn't it, the Utah? Yeah, it's huge. And, you know, the scary thing is that it keeps growing and growing each year, so um, you know, we're going to have to maybe another venue and it's good to see our uh, it's a player back up on his feet and he's walking off yeah oh my tapaki paki the crowd's getting behind him as well that is a great sign to see our thumb up back up on his feet and that'll probably be him for the rest of the tournament now and here it is penalty to here to hate here for double movement okay so it looks like they'll be uh yeah, they'll, they'll be trying to find a sideline here I think that was a good call too because he did have a second effort yeah. at trying to get over the line that Edwards so but that white line fever so close yet so far 
still waiting for. Yeah, I'll play to be off the field. And here's some haka being displayed here by some other uh, whanae on the sidelines. And it's a good kick. Now they will restart the play on the 20 meter mark. Staying here, boys. Hungry. Kenny, all Kenny. Getting their toe toe from their coaches there. And that sound is the Pitatara, of course. So do we do have a fano. There's the half time for the semi final between Etuhetia Uriariki and Kotahitanga in the 14s grade. Again, another semi final with nothing, well, not much separating them. Four points in it. Kotahitanga taking a slight lead into the break. What are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, no, exactly right. Uh, Utah, there's nothing really separating these two other than the four points that's been posted by Kotahitanga. So both teams will have to come out in the second half and look to have ball security when they have the ball and make sure that their defensive line is nice and solid and they make that first contact um, count. So, yeah, nothing in it. We'll be back with uh, the second half very shortly at Divi. Now my hockey mic is in the way hanga two arua. I think they are defending a fight in the semi-final between Etu Heite Uriyariki and Kotahi Tanga. Uh, we are coming back um, a to false start. False start there. False start. Still waiting for the hooter, I think. Nothing in this game, as we have uh, alluded to earlier. Both teams have had opportunities to score, but both defensive sides, uh, both teams have been great on defence. But Kotahi Tanga. Uh, we're the first to break uh, the defensive line of the opposition to score the first try of the match. But nothing is really separating these two sides. Oh, early on, penalty for his hand was crept up there. Lifting oh. again. Okay, they're really stepping that out of our out of the grades here. Cup white. So yeah, they match up another 10 meters. Does uh, Kotahi Tanga? Here we go. Looking to go wide early. 
finding uh, Munga. Pay the ball in the middle. Yeah, get another penalty away of. Sorry, there's Munga there. That was perfect. Okay. Offside. Oh, and these discipline. Yeah, back to back uh, penalties, man. Yeah. They're going to hurt the two hates your side. Absolutely. That's a good fi uh, kick finder there. Marches up another 25, 30 meters almost. So they're 30 meters out from the try line now. Is called Tahitanga. Kamara steps up to tap the ball. He has Edwards prepping himself for that run there. Oh, but they throw it backwards. He, he sold the dummy. Back to Pefairangi. He pays the ball. The middle of the field. Cook out a dummy half. Oh, but the uh, his opposite was up to the task this time. Jessup finds Hayward. Strong tackle there from the number 11 for Etu Heitzia. Tipping in Moise. And here comes uh, Samania now, settling up. They need to watch Cook. Cook likes to come out of dummy half, uh, close to the line. As Pefairangi finds McEwen, who finds Edwards. It was now just a meter out from the line. Cook with a long ball. Out to Omer. Omer oh, does a long pass top. over the top. What does the referee say? Yes. Oh, what the referee. Well, they have a hui. He looks like he's going to award it. Steps back, points to the spot. Yeah, Look just a uh, the replay. Omer there seeing the open man out wide. Great vision there. Great vision. And I think that was the number 14, Desmond Kingy. Uh, he goes over to the try there. Kotaitanga early, hey, it's those back-to-back -back penalties. Exactly. And then picking back up the field, and Kotaitanga take an 8-0 lead now. Exactly how they wanted to start the second half as McEwen steps up this time to try and add to their score. Shane McEwen, Tararawa. Yeah, as you said, this, this, this discipline, those little areas are going to separate the two teams i think as we can see in the uh camera there a couple of the boys giving them the spirit fingers there they are yep <laughs> not too sure if that's the spirit fingers to get it or the spirit fingers to miss it uh, yeah, not, not too sure, sure what side kind of they <laughs> side they're, they're supporting oh and one of the boys said oh, cut it my spirit fingers <laughs> you're helping them <laughs> you're not helping them Oh, it's a good strike. Uh, it's waved away again, so those two missed kicks could prove very crucial coming into the back end of the second half. Absolutely. And uh, we've seen what the Etuhita Uriariki side can do in uh, previous previous games that they've had on, on the live stream. So, uh, e even though they're 8-0 down, still can't rule them out. Absolutely not. 15 minutes to go in the second half. Plenty of time. And then make sure to stay on side there too. Nice kick. All the way down to the prop forward as Hayward brings it back up and runs it like he has done all tournament. Arm is free, but good discipline. He decides to hold on to it. It's only tackle one. Have to march back a bit there to play the ball as someone here brings it up now. Strong carry there by the Kota Itanga prop. We go back to the right hand side of the field. Here, Fairangi passes it off to Munga. Very brave uh, body on the line tackles there by number 13 for uh, Petu Heitia. Yeah, they needed to do that too oh, because he's a strong runner. Yes. This could yeah. be the uh, thing to swing the momentum. Bit of a shepherd there. Yes, yeah, exactly what Petu Heitia Ariki, Audi Ariki wanted. An opportunity to attack the line. And they'll look to kick it out as well. Mahi Penny with the ball and to improve the position and he finds touch. Oh, almost 10 meters out from 15 meters out from um, uh, Kotei Tanga's try line. Ball comes back pretty quickly in comparison to the other balls that have gone out on that side. Kalani Ford Stevens here with the arm free and he was looking for the offload. Oh, ball comes need out. To do that. Oh, we had two balls on the field. 
Yeah, they're trying to feed to him. Can we carry on? No, can we get the ball back in the uh, ref? No, mate. Sorry about it. They're playing the knock on, scrum feed to Kotai Tanga. Set the first head up. Yeah, he just needed to settle that ball, didn't he? And he knows it too. He was uh, quite disappointed in himself after that. Yeah, I think it might have been uh, conflicting feelings because he knows that he's got the skill to be able to get that offload away. But knowing it was the first uh, hit up, probably should have just held on to that. So uh, Kotei Tanga off the hook, looking to work their way out of the red zone. And I'll come Alice to play the ball now. It looks like, uh, oh, that's good, that's good tackle there. Good tackle there. Number 14 has stepped into the uh, hooker roll now as Desmond Kingy. Edwards with the run. Oh, he's still pulling them across. He's got them both behind him. Both markers weren't square. And that brings us up to halfway. Kingy sends it out to Pefairangi. Pefairangi to Jessup. Jessup puts the ball up. A nice big bomb. It's right in the middle of the park. Nobody wants to catch it. It bounces. It bounces again. Kingy with the ball. He offloads. Pefairangi with it now. And that will be fifth and final. And a handover. Two Heitia starting their set on the halfway line. Probably want to be uh, starting to, to put points on very soon. Mm -hmm. Pressure is slowly mounting with the clock winding down. Yeah, they just need to truck it up for now. This is complete the set, settle into the second half. Don't do anything too stupid at this stage. Just get up there. Pay the percentages. Ball up to the 30 meter line, just over. And carrying on with that tackle a little bit too long for Taitanga. So, Maihi Pene. Okay, what can Etu Heitu Uriyadiki do here? We've seen them in the past games, they run a really good shape play. Uh, at the back of, of course, some good forward momentum. So let's see if they apply that now. Tukuni is here looking to get that forward momentum going. Oh, no, it's oh, a kitty. Run. He's punching onto that ball. Got some solid defense there by Edwards for Taitanga. Here we go. Oh, but ball control once again. It's been the Achilles heel in this match so far. Handing the ball over. It was there too, they had numbers out wide. Yeah, so uh, the errors, man, they're just killing the to Haiti side and you know, going off the game that, that we saw of them yesterday, it's quite uncharacteristic for them. Absolutely, it is. But it's the pressure of the defence of Kotaitanga uh, that are uh, causing the uncharacteristic mistakes. There's Kotaitanga now looking to spread the ball wide and early. Yeah, yeah, right up on their try line too. They're not afraid to throw the ball around. I mean, they have the lead. No real need to panic or to throw caution to the wind at this stage. We've made a few changes here. Has Kotahitang, as few of their, their bench now has come onto the field. And here is Hayward, who's been busy all game. Chucking it up. Kingy at dummy half. He passes on to Pefairangi, who finds McEwen. McEwen surrendering. Oh, no surrender here. If you go behind the player, there's no such thing as a surrender. And also, on his Zealand Modern Rugby League again, we are not the NRL. He was hard done by the, he did surrender. Mm. It's the second, second penalty for the same thing here to Heite Uriariki now. Getting another shot at the try line. This man, the number 10, Tristan Renata Kokiri. Yeah, Kotei Tanga can't continue to uh, give easy field position to Etu Heitea Uriyariki because all they need is one good set with a, with the pass gets to its mark and it will be try time. Just as I said that. Just as you say it. 
Yeah, here it is again. And they showed they were, they were creating space. They just couldn't get the ball uh, into the hands of the right particular player. And this time they make no mistake with it. And try time. And so now four points to eight with the kick to come. And about nine minutes left in this half. Yeah, and um, talking about that particular player, it was uh, Kalani Ford-Stevens just drawing past simple, simple stuff. And the thing about him is that uh, he's a big body, so he, he does draw in a lot of numbers, especially so mm -hmm. close to the line. You know, if, if you don't shut on him, he's probably going to carry your teammate over the line. If you do shut on him, he's got the ball skill to uh, get that pass away. So uh, definitely a dangerous player and, and one you'd rather play alongside than against. Absolutely. And here we go again with that swing and the Reese Walsh lead up. And unfortunately, doesn't get the kick. Four points to eight. Points Anybody's to eight, game. Yeah. Eight minutes left in the second half. Plenty of time for you to hate you to bang another try in there. Absolutely. And this again, disciplinary issues with uh, Kotahitanga allowed it to hate to Odiatike and numerous opportunities uh, to score the uh, score a try there. So they'll have to get this ball nice and deep. They'd be defending well, though, uh, Kotahitanga. Yeah, definitely. And with a deep kickoff in the back of the fence. Trying to drown the two hates side down in, in their half. Taken well on the pull there by the two hates to the winger. He's locked in Alice. And their winger, uh, Poe. Five. There we go. Hates it, playing with a bit of, uh, playing with a bit of a bit more passion, now. yeah, a bit yeah. more speed, Got a bit of belief in, a bit more belief in themselves now, a bit more confidence, more of a pep in the step, mm -hmm. as some may say. Two balls on the field, so uh, waiting for that to get off. Isaiah Tepidi taps the ball and finds Tikin in Moise. He takes the ball up. Just shy of the 40 meter line. Oh, it's a kitty. Takes yeah. a second hit up. And he's really no stepped up for his team, hasn't he? To kitty. At least, is, uh, to go back to their left hand side, they found a little bit of success down there in the set prior. Do they look to that man again, Kalani Ford Stevens? They've just found the prop, the number eight, Peyton Trey Paco. to Tikiri. Oh, and he nice. plays short and yeah. what a line. What a line. Back to back tries for Etu Heitia Uri Ariki. And he did what he did yesterday. He held the ball in two hands and he just took it to the line. Just took it to the line to Kitty. Yeah. Nice bounce over from uh, Tristan Renata Kokiri. He had the defense in sixes and sevens as uh, they had the shape set. Now, all locked up, eight all. Yeah, and from a penalty once again, and okay, so this Kicks kick was a little bit closer, and uh, it's and it's a, it's a really really important this one. An opportunity to take the lead and put pressure back on to Kotahi Tanga yeah, to play one. catch up footy. As Hayward comes off now, as you can see. Should have waited a little bit longer and ran past as he was kicking it if he wanted to try that. <laughs> a little uh, part boy. of the tactic there, <laughs> So Moyes here looking to add the extras. This will decide whether Kotei Tung will be chasing or whether our game could possibly go into uh, overtime. Golden point. He's taking his time. He knows this is how important this kick is. Reese Walsh swing. Scoop. There's his line. Picks it up. He struck it. And it's collected oh, the scaffold. Yeah. And so the score remains eight points all. We've got four minutes left to go. Will we go into Golden Point Final? Or has Etu Heitu Odiatiki got a bit of momentum behind him now? Yeah, well, this is exciting stuff. Eight points to eight. We saw this in the previous game as well. Nothing really separating both these teams. So 
Semi-final action at its finest at the Iwi. Both teams have played four or five games even up to this game right here and it doesn't look like they're taking a backward step in the semi-final for Tahitanga to get us underway. McEwen sends it deep down to the left-hand side or the left edge of Etuheita Uriariki. Well, it's going to be uh, about who's the most disciplined now. They don't want to be giving up any penalties, any piggybacks down the field. Etuheita Uriariki backs getting in, getting busy. And as I say, that penalty. a penalty is blowing. He's disappointed in that. Ooh, uh, shoulder charge. Shoulder charge he's called. Another seven or so metres. And he taps it and runs so it. out to Pidey. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Tipping in Moyes, the goal kicker there. Oh, yes, they've oh, got a bit of momentum now. A couple of uh, defenders, he's Another. still going. Yeah. Oh, he makes three. a mistake in the end. Lucky there for Kotei Tanga. They didn't give up on the tackle. Yeah, so Kotei Tanga now off the hook. Three minutes to go, Fano. We're going into Golden Point. Kotei Tanga going to make them pay for the mistake. Oh, they look like it jolted free as well. Referee didn't think so, though. And Omua brings it up from dummy half. Cook back into dummy half now. He wasn't square. Does he earn a penalty for his... Oh, the referee didn't see it. Taitanga now hot on attack. It's who hates you. Needs to be disciplined in their defence. Yeah, Pefairangi middles up now. A one-on-one -on -one yeah, opportunity. One -on -one. Pefairangi to play Cook in dummy half. Dummy's left. Uh, dummy's right, should I say. Comes back to the left-hand side. Oh, good strong defence there. Shutting that down. It's fifth and final now. Told to move over. I feel like Kotei Tanga's got a little bit of momentum behind them at the moment. 15 final. He yeah, goes Jessup for goes for the chip and chase. For himself. But cleaned oh. up nicely there by the number two, Blaine Adams. I think that kick needed to be just a little bit deeper. Yeah, so the fullback here. Working it out. Blake taking note. Oh, he goes back goes back to the number seven. It's a Rick. race. Oh, Mahi Pene. Mahi he Pene. shows his footwork. Look and to the it away. Are they going to go all the way? No, oh, not good sure. cover defense. Of there. Good he possibly cover saved the game for his team. Yeah, well done. Well done there from both teams. Exciting stuff down the sideline. Oh, I try to catch the, the back end of that. Kotei Tanga with some desperate cover defense there. Forcing them to go across the sideline. And so now Kotahi Tanga off the hook once again. That was almost almost disastrous there for Kotahi Tanga. And Etu Heite Odiariki could have been yeah. celebrating right now. One minute left in the game. Look if they can force an arrow or something here. There's a minute to go. Kotahi Tanga, Etu Heite Odiariki. Yeah, they're looking to keep it safe at this stage. There's Lachlan Ellis. Plays the ball there. Oh, Ooh, good hands there from Omar. They're going wide. They go They're wide now. on the outside. He does. He thinks better of it. Oh, and a bit of a oh, penalty dear, here. A bit of a hit high. They're happy too, but they don't want to be making the round. They want to hurry up and get start the set before that. Who to goes? McEwen right, steps up. Yeah, and he kicks it out. Does not muck around? He's going to need a ball very quickly. Ball goes He's out running on the halfway line. They this will get will one last shot. Play. Oh, the penalty should have been able to be played out there. I'm, I'm thinking yep. the referee, you do have to play the penalty. So we're going into overtime. We're going into golden point, Fano. Oh, I thought uh, Kotei Tanga was a bit over uh, hard done oh, by there. Yeah. Being a penalty, they should have been able to play that penalty out. So the ref brings in the two captains and uh, he's just explaining. Yeah, John Devonshire is coming out now. He's having a bit of a corridor and of course uh, he is the... Uh, chairperson off the altar on his inner Māori Rugby League board coming out to let them know how the how this is going to work great first half oh, sorry, great game I'm sure great say. game great game so, yeah both teams just getting the rundown about what's uh, what's happening from here good show of sportsmanship there congratulating each other on getting this far in the tournament
Okay, this and I think uh, he might be. And, and this might go back to our Tuakana tournament. You know where our Wahine had double overtime and still no uh, score, no score, so they had to. But that wasn't a that final. was a grand final. Yeah, yeah. that wasn't the, to make it through to a final. So he's just laying down the law. Both teams understand what the go was from here. So it could be though that there will be a count back or maybe uh, points for and against if nobody scores. Uh, and the end, just wanted to make sure that both managers and coaches knew uh, what was the game. So we've had the coin toss. And the ref picks his money back up. <laughs> and it looks like Etu Heite Odiatiki will stay as they are. As they are. Oh, an exciting, exciting game. Absolutely. Both these teams have been the informed teams of the competition thus far. At least in the pool rounds anyway. Last minute week. And this is the C. Well, I wonder if anybody's got their drop kicking uh, yeah, boots, boots on. on. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't leave it at the bottom, eh? I have seen um, there have been talks around the NRL as well about um, in their golden point that should be golden try. You can still go for the drop kick if you like. Uh, yeah, but I think I saw that, that little playing. yarn from yeah, yeah. us. He's not a fan of the old, no. the old kick off, the shootout. Hate you, hate you, you will kick off in the first five minutes of overtime. Tunga with first use of the ball here. They kick it nice and deep. Nobody there. And Nobody oh, there. Does he save it? He's allowed the. Oh no, this could be crucial. Yeah, that's his basic stuff. He should have somebody standing on the line ready to catch those deep ones. Here to Hate Udiyadik in great field position now. Hey Tunga with the goal line dropout to start this overtime. Wow, oh. what a turn of events right from the kickoff. Do you think Yeti Hater will just get their forwards to middle them up? Absolutely, that's exactly what they need to do. Middle them up, get them close to the goalpost and possibly go for the one. Or do they go for the try? Or do they go for the try? Oh, oh no, penalty. They go for the two. Go for the two. Go for the two. Yeah, we can hear the, uh, their coaches yelling out to them to go for the two. Oh, no, the discipline here, so. And they do, they go, they signal to take the kick for goal. This could be it, Fano. Come down to a penalty discipline. Well, it really came down to that kickoff, didn't it? Yeah, man, look. And it, we're always told it's easier to run into the ball, so. It's easier for you to stay deep and have to move into the ball than have to try and chase it running back. Yeah, and we saw that in the under-13s grade, the exact same thing happened. Uh, so, yeah, this could be it. TPN Moyes, game's on the line for his team. Just tying his boot. Probably putting that extra knot in there for that uh, extra bit of mana. Game on the line. Okay, here he is. Let's take a hard hit. Goes to the post. So there we have it at the final. And over time, Etu Heite Auri Ariki taking out uh, Kotahi Tanga. What a match. What a match. What a match. And that's the semi final soon. Hey. Oh, I'm, I'm excited to see what the grand final brings, Patara. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's going to be a big, big grand final. Etu Heitia Udiyariki did well to come back into this game. Of course, they were eight points down uh, to start the second half, and then they crew, uh, clawed their way back to draw the game, and then they go into overtime, and yeah, they managed to get the penalty right in front of the post and, and, and win it, and that sends uh, Kotahi Tanga. Uh, keep the going, one, but they can hold their heads up. How, man? They've they've uh, showed some exceptional talent across the park 
uh, as Kotahi Tanga have done for many, many years now. So, Kotahi Tanga, Karo Haki Ako Tau, but here to Heitia Uri Yariki and Mihiana, you advance through to the Piringa Toa, Itene Fakatai Tai, out there on the Zero Mari Rugby League final. Yeah, and you can see the disappointment on the faces of the Kotahi Tanga boys. They put their heart and soul out, they left it all out on the field, and I guess, you know, that's all you can ask for. So, with that final, that uh, concludes our 14th semi final round, and we're moving into our 13th Tama final. And, and in that game, we've got Etu Heitia Uriariki again uh, taking on Waikato Māori. That'll be an awesome and interesting fixture. So, don't go too far. We'll bring you that coverage very shortly. Kamoto Numai.
Enga mana, enga reo, enga kāranga ranga maha ko tēnei te whiringa toa i roto i te reanga te kau mā toru. E tu heitia, uri ariki e pakanga atu ana kia waikato Māori, ko waika e ke ki angi tu, ko waika e ke ki te tihi o te maunga, ko ia ko te pātai, ka whaka utu hia i tēnei wā tonu. We have live action right here from Puka Te Whero Park. Grand final time in the under-13s grade. Both these teams have battled it out all weekend to get to this point. Kia kaha, kia toa, kia manawa nui tamama. Fiwa toka toa, i roto i te nei pakanga nui whakaharahara. At the Fano, we've got kickoff just around the corner. Jackson Cornes for Waikato Māori about to get us underway. Kicking off to Etu Heitia Uri Ariki, under 13's grade. Second well there. Etu Heitia Uri Ariki. What a nice tackle there from the Waikato Māori defence. Two teams. Oh, and already we've got a break. Nicely saved there by the number 16, Jeremiah Hokianga. See it's who hates the Udiadiki side rolling up the field now. Yeah, they do really well, aren't they? It's who hates Udiadiki making some good yards. Up to the halfway line now. Coming, toward, coming to the end of the set. Strong run here by the number 11. Pulled to ground by uh, Castiel Farakura Walker. And then final, they get the kick away. Completed set. Oh, it's allowed to bounce and a good quick chase. He decides to go on the outside and he steps into touch. This could be uh, the beginning of something good for the to Heite Odianiki side. Yeah, he chanced his arm, didn't he? He wanted to go down the sneaky sideline, was Nico Graham put it. Unfortunately, though tiptoeing on the line there. Can't mock him for giving it a go. So here to, here to hate ya. Uri Ariki playing the ball. 20 metres in from touch. They go down the left-hand side. The prop going very close. Oh, the number seven. He slices his way through. Open the scoring. We'll look back at the replay. The number 10 here. It's Owen Reti. Great. Dummy half gives it to the number 7. Legend Gentles. And I believe uh, his father is coaching this team. Remus Gentles. Remus Gentles, a legend in the touch game. He also was a legendary rugby league player as well. He represented Tamaki Makoto back in the day. And Boy, if, if you see all the jump steps that you see, the Benji Marshalls, the Sean Johnsons of this world, that all started from the man himself, Remus Gentles. Okay, and it's uh, the apple obviously doesn't fall far from the tree. Footwork there of uh, Legend Gentles slices through the defence of Waikato Māori and opens a scoring for Etu Heitia Uri Ariki going in under the black dot to, to get the first try of the match. 4-0, three minutes down pick to come. Elijah Korpu with the goal kicking duties here. Right in front of the sticks. As he prepares himself. He knows how important these two points are. Right in front of the post. He doesn't want to make a mistake here. He wants to put it over the over the dot. In watching the past two games, you know, these two points have meant, have meant the world. So Elijah Korpu moves into the ball, makes no mistake. The flags are raised. Two, two points extra on the board. 6-0 here to Heitia Uriariki over Waikato Māori. And now 13's Tama final here at Pukita Whero Park in Rotorua. Waikato Māori to get us back underway. 
fire in the boots of Jackson Cornes. Go for the deep kickoff again. Go the same way, taking on the forward there. Off the back fence. Oh, great run. A lot of backward step from the prop there for Etu Haiti, and they go down the blind side. Oh, and he Good stands step. the winger up. Gets Still rid going. of the centre. Number four here, Ariki Wihongi. Eventually pulled down by Dejon Tahu. Tackle that needed to be made too. Wihongi going all the way up there. Oh, look at this. Oh. He's got a whole field in front of him. And, and off he through. Here's the try scorer, Gentles. Shot the ball. Knock on. Yeah, unfortunate there for the young fella. No, I don't think he's injured. I think he's just disappointed. He's disappointed. In, uh, yep. Knows they had an opportunity there. He puts his hand up. Ah, but the side of mate. Went very close to scoring again, did a uh, young legend. But Wakato Māori desperate on defence to get across there. And they're going to need to do something here to try and get themselves back into the game. It's five minutes gone. All the momentum's been uh, one way at the moment. It's who hates the Uriyariki. Yeah, now uh, Waikato Māori will have an opportunity now with the ball. Sumitai Ngātaki Matthews to beat the scrum. Jackson Cornes parked up out to the left-hand side there. Beat the scrum. Cornes gets the ball. Goes back door. Yeah, they have to shift it early. Oh, early shift. And they find oh, Reef Oitewara, and the ball goes to ground. Backwards, says the referee. Not back. Lucky to get away with that one. Yeah, I agree. And, and they earn a penalty. penalty. You're very lucky to get away with that. It's TJ will look to run back down to that blind side. Celebrating his 13th birthday today, and Jackson steps up to kick the ball out. So you get near extra 10 or so meters up the field as we uh, wait for the ball they'll tap it on the 30 inside their own half like it's Maori and here's uh, Liam Taha Williams yeah he's very strong in that semi-final match as well was, uh, Williams. Jeremiah Hook Younger Slammed to the ground by the strong defense of the two heats here, Uriariki Fords. And the hop, skip, and a jump here by the number 10. Yeah, no, he's, he's been very strong. It's Kaimani Peters. Coming back now to the loose forward. He does a strong run. Kingi Botapu. Itai shows under. He finds his outside back there. Rylan, Rylan, Rylan Nuth. He was fantastic uh, in that semi final match, too. Was Nuth. He stepped up for his team. And another, another penalty towards Wakato Māori's, uh, to, to the Wakato Māori side. Just a party to our whanau out there. We do have a little bit of issues with one of our cameras, but we will do our best to make sure that uh, you're viewing. He's not interrupted. It's Kaimani Peters Peter's back, on the, uh, back on the back on the run. Bit of a roll on here. Jackson Cornes shows. He tries to go himself. And now the hooker. Oh, they're oh. doing another mousetrap play. Oh, is that a double play the ball? No, he's no, yeah, just, just no, a clean loss. It. So it's who hates who the Adiki hold them out. He's got a little bit loose in the ruck there for Wakato Māori. Yeah, this is they're starting to build a bit of pressure as well. It's Haiti Uri Yadiki. They'll be clapping their hands. They stood up to the challenge there. Yeah, again, a bit of confidence from that set of defence as well. It's Haiti to feed the scrum. Here we go. Ten metres out from their own try line. They, they do look to shift it early. Shifting early in, in the red zone. And uh, the cover defense, defense comes across. Yeah. Well done. Oh, they look to settle up in the middle. Hit the tram line. They're just looking to work it out of their own half. Strong 
running here by the number 13. That's Liam J. Tupo Richmond. Yeah, that's been good too, Richmond. Good hard defense there, turning it back and forcing a loose ball. Referee oh, doesn't know what happened. Oh, a penalty. No, it will be handed over. Knock on. Knock on. And I'm not going to get to hide it. Yes, yeah, so just outside of the 40 meter line now. Waka to Māori. Get another opportunity to have a crack at the Etuheita Uriariki line. Okay. We talked about the discipline stuff uh, in previous matches. We could come down to this. We'll do that in this match as well. Protopi off the back of the scrum. Ryland Nuth, oh, he's got some speed. Okay, Masters. Matthew Matthews again, shows, gives it out to the winger. Nico Graham put it down the sideline. Oh, and he almost got oh, there. He just heard the whistle go off though, must have been. Maybe a four pass. pass maybe. Hopefully. I oh, know, yep. Uriariki will have the ball now. Yeah, so scrum feet to Etu Heitia, unfortunate there. Oh, uh, they're, they're fancying their chances down the blind. There's Wakato Māori. And a lot of uh, confidence shown there by young Nico to get yeah, with the sideline. Yep. Yeah, oh, and then bit of a blindside raid here by the air to hate you. Oh, what the hell, Fade? Strong tackle there by Liam Kahu. Oh, Taha, sorry, Taha Williams. Come on, he's able to tackle. Peters. Yeah, nice to shift the ball around and Forcing Waikato Māori defence to move around the park a little yeah, bit Kopu, Oh, look at Kopu this. Kōpū splits them. He's going to try and stand oh, the full back up. Ryland Nuth pulls him down. Here's a try scorer. Gentles, legend Gentles. That was a great run there from Kōpū. Coming out to the left-hand side, Waikato Māori retreating on defence. Fifth and final. Where are they going? Left, right. Oh, but he oh, the going made to the play lose the ball. the ball. So that'll be just to play the ball, fifth and final. Or we're going to have a scrum. scrum Either way, we walk out to Māori's ball. Man, this Etu uh, Heitia Uriariki side looking very dangerous. Early on, 12 minutes gone. First half of our 13th Tama final. Potapu off the back of the scrum. Nataki Matthews. Nuth. He's, a big, he's been a weapon for the Waikato Māori side. Has he ever? He's just full of energy, that boy. The energizer bunny, as they would say. And they've earned themselves a penalty again. What's the call from the ref here? Is he saying not square? Yep, looks like it looks that way. Okay, so the done by there, the number four, Ariki Wihongi. I thought he was, I thought he'd screwed up. Peoi, uh, Ataki Matthews. Just oh, back on the way, Jeremiah Hook Young, a solid, solid collision. Yeah, beautiful. Rolls over, finds his fronts in the end, passes it on now. Fotapu. Yeah, Fotapu. Good run. Good defense there from Utu Utu Uri Ariki as well. Slowing it down just a little bit as Jackson. Drops him back under. Yeah. Birthday ball, CJ. Not expecting the ball there. Uh, it, was, it was Peters, but he caught it and tucked it under the arm. And as all good props will do. Yeah, got him going forward. Let's go. Matthews. Right, Matthews back on the inside. And settled up now eventually by Takiri. Jackson Cornes. A little stab over the top, taken well on the full there by the winger, the number two for Etu Heite Uriariki, Zion Monday. Now coming back 
through the middle of the park, hitting the tram line. Nice settle play there. Peters, though, he was on to it. Skipping across the field now is there to hate your backs. He's giving the boards a rest. And a double dummy cut. Oh, they've got Arike. Arike, Arike Weehongi down the left hand side. Oh, oh he does a little hizzy. And he the way. stands the full back up. He's got his hand in the air. He knows he's dotting down for this try. Look back at the replay. Ariki Weehongi comes to the fullback, stands him up. Goes on the outside and brings the ball around toward the middle of the post to improve the position for the kicker. Ten points to nil. Etu Heite Uri Ariki over Waikato Māori. Fifteen minutes gone in the first half of our 13th summer final here at Pukitafero Park in Rotorua. And they make them pay for the mistakes there, does the um, Etu Heite Uri Ariki side. So Elijah Korpu here with the kicking duties once again. Tying the laces. Making sure his uh, boots are on properly for this kick. Yeah, they're not scared to throw the ball around in, in their own half. And even on the first or even the second uh, tackle, both these sides. Which is really great to see, especially in the grand final. Some teams, they go into their shell, but not these two sides. They're throwing caution to the wind. They know it's either now or never. E pau tōrea. Ka pai koutounga, ka Exciting grand final. And we saw in the previous uh, semi-final, anything can happen. There's two halves to this game. As Etu uh, Heitze Uriariki take our first half lead of 12 points to zero. Michael Tamaldi is still very much in this game. Yeah, they're going to have to do something very quickly though to um, end the half on a high, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Start with this kickoff here and a good kick chase and a solid defensive line. And again, not to give away any penalties as well. And as, as we've said throughout you know, the course of pretty much the whole tournament is that uh, the discipline and errors are two huge things that are often lead to points in, or often have led to points in, in these games. Absolutely. So Jackson Cornes uh, to get us back underway with his boot. Now he goes deep. Taken well there by Gentles. Trying to end up prop and he's going straight off the back fence. Oh, what a collision. What a collision. What a collision. Both men and i'll call them men with no worry about their own self-preservation yeah, no for themselves yeah none at all that was the hingarangi tuhoro martin taking on his opposite absolutely fantastic <laughs> collision right there it's right here yariki Popu across the field Ooh, he's showing some nice footwork there <laughs> Number 19 here for you to hate you, Demetrius Havili. Instructs him from the sideline, get to the kick, and that they do. Yep. Gentles puts the kick in, finds touch yeah, that's just before well. the 20. Well, that was a good defensive set from uh, Waikato Māori. They didn't give away any penalties, so they'll be happy with that. But a good completed set from Etu Heite Uriariki as well. Yeah, definitely following points. You know, you always just want to at least complete uh, the next set mm -hmm. and they've done just that as Wakata Māori look to play the ball 20 metres in from touch 20 metres out from their own try line straight out of dummy half he's the manager in Ryland Nuth standing in the tackle gets a good quick and play back the down ball. the blind Harley Rayner gets an offload again get back to Nuth Kotaku now with the ball just pumping his legs through three defenders on him Still finds his fronts. Yep. Cornes gets the ball on the left-hand side. Oh, Liam, good run. Taha Williams Taha breaks Williams. the line. He's going. He's, he's going to go back. all the way. He's going to take the fullback on. Oh, excellent and run. And the position. Taha Williams. 
And we see that again. He just runs a nice line straight between two defenders. And he's got the speed to burn the fullback as well. Liam Taha Williams. Just like that. If Wake up to Māori, hit back on the cusp of half time. Oh, so great work there by Liam Taha Williams just to hit that hole off uh, Jackson Corness, who uh, has the goal kicking boots on for the Wakata Māori side here. They're looking to. The extra two points on the board for Waikato as we close out this first half. And the conversion is successful. Six points to 12. Etu Heitia Uriariki leading Waikato Māori. And that brings us to the end of the first half. So there we have it, Fano. Another game on our hands, not much in it. Six points the difference. Etu Heitia Uriariki going into the break. 12 points up. To, uh, 12 points to 6 over Waikato Māori. Man. Again, nothing in, in uh, between these two sides. It's going to come down to ball security, discipline. Yeah, I thought I thought uh, Etu Heite had most of the momentum in that first half, but we see how quickly things can change. And uh, Liam Taha Williams just running a nice line off uh, Jackson Corness. Puts uh, Waikato on the board. So, hey, whole another half of that to come. Absolutely. Nei mai hoki mai e te iti e te rahi. Tātou katoa e pikari taringa maina e mā takitaki maina i tēnei te whiringa toa o te reanga te kaumā toru e tu heitia Uriariki e pakanga atu ana kia waikata Māori e tu heitia Uriariki leading 12 points to 6. This is the second half 
off the grand final. Who will take the honors? We'll find out. It's ready when it's time. Wakato Māori was first, uh, with first use of the ball in the second half. And out of dummy half. Then Nuth. Man again, Ryland Nuth. He's come out with a... It's in a roar, really, isn't it? He's been like that all, all, all tournament. Very speedy around the ruck. Nataki Matthews passes the ball on to Bentley. Clothier carries the ball over halfway for the Waikato Māori under 13's side. A little, little bit of confusion. Yeah, a little bit of confusion. But they clean it up. Make a few metres off that run right there. Comes out to the left. Here yeah, coming back out to uh, Takiri. He settles up in the middle for them. The options both side. He decides to go Jackson. to the right. Another Jackson trip corner. Position well there, the winger. Oh, yeah. The yeah, arm high. crept up a little bit there. He acknowledges Jackson this knows it. So that's exactly how Etu uh, Heitia Udiariki wanted to start the set with a nice penalty and an easy chance to increase their field position. Another 10 or 15 so metres. A bit of a piggyback for them there. After a careless uh, arm, finding the face of this opposition. There we go. Back underway here through the number four. Hariki Wihongi, one of the try scorers for uh, Etu Heite Uriariki. Oh, oh, a little juggle. Oh, the brother picked that ball up. Yeah. Great hands there by the number 13. It's Liam J. Tupo Wichman. He backed it up with a strong run as well. Just shy of the halfway line. Dummy's inside. Props getting busy here, Chad Pike here. And the big man getting them to, getting them going forward. Brave tackle there. Demetrius Havili. Korpu here with the ball. Oh, nice. Throws a cutout pass. Comes off the boot of the number two. Oh, oh but, a, but an intercept. I don't need to try anything too outrageous here. No, just settle things down. That's all you need to really to do, isn't it? Just <laughs> take the tackle, but he hands the ball over. And now, Waikato to Māori hot on an attack. And that's Ngawaka who will play the ball now on the halfway mark. And Takiri, nice strong run. Just settling it up for his team. Heading back out to the middle of the field. Matthews oh, inside, inside, outside. Right in. Oh, this boy, man, he's electric. He's Looking to go to the right-hand side. Bentley Clothier here with the ball. He tucks it under his arm and goes forward. Fifth and final. Marcus went square. Back to the right-hand side. Good chase. Finds the ground, but yeah, nobody's touched the ball the yet. And oh, danger here for the Waikato Māori side. Luckily pulled down there. Yes, good stuff there by 2 8 Udi Ariki cleaning up the loose ball there. Strong tackle there by Bentley Clothier on Ariki Wihungi. It definitely need to, needed to be made. Ariki has shown his class. Kimipati Lea. Oh, some easy meters up the middle there. Gentles. Well read there by uh, Jackson. Oh, yeah, but that was offside. Make the uh, team. Another fresh set of six, and they're inside the Waikato Māori half now. As gentle sparks orders to his team. Yeah, and he gets a steam here for uh, Owen Retty Gray. Oh, look at that, straight through, just straight through. Oh, and he gets offload. offload, and he pops another offload. Gentles, though, flipped up. This could see a sin bin here as the referee comes out to talk with the player. Just a penalty. Oh, did he send them? Yeah, I think so. He didn't. He didn't actually think that. He did. I think he just spoke to the player and sent him off. Gentles now got the tap, and he just goes into touch on the first. But no, he went out. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yes, he did go out. He didn't signal the old uh, sending off. There, he just spoke to the man and said, "You're gone." Must have. So young uh, Mito Ngātaki Matthews there without a half uh, at the moment. Waikato Māori. 
Five minutes in the bin uh, for this game. Reef Mohitewara takes a scoot out of dummy half. Oh, nobody at dummy half. A little bit of watch right out there, show and go. 30 metres out from their own try line, Wakata Māori. Needing to get some go forward here. Oh, they go wide. A little bit of shift out to Tara Williams again, hoping to replicate what they did uh, before half time. Got a little bit of a whiplash there. Got up holding his head. Jackson Cornest there, ordering his troops around the field and Wakata Māori earning themselves a penalty. So score remains 12 points to six. Looking like they're opting for the tap. The penalty starting to creep into the second half now. Both teams are guilty of uh, giving some piggybacks to the opposition team. Oh, on the burst, Ryland. Oh, he just doesn't stop this boy. Energizer bunny. Back to Jackson. Turns it back inside. A little juggle off the ball, but he does well to hold on to the, uh, the ball. Here's Ngawaka. And he's still he's going Ngawaka. Finding the legs, 20 metres out from Etu Heita Uriariki's line. There's the try scorer here, Liam Taha Williams. Got, a, got up a little bit ginger after his last run, but uh, good to see he's shaking it off. Yep. And feels like they've got a little bit of a roll on here, Wakato Māori. The Takiri just to middle it up for them now, and they should have options either side. It is the fifth and final, so where do they go to here? Nuth, 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 oh, the show is going, and he puts his head down. And he goes over. A well-deserved try for Nuth. He's worked so hard in both halves of this grand final. You look like a panic pass. He just steps back. Shows, shows enough to hold defenders off him and for him to get over the line and put Waikato Māori on the board once again. 12 points to 10 with a kick to come. This is another important kick. Final we've got on our hands here, Fano. Very much like uh, the semi final that we just witnessed before in the 14s. Come a great chance to lock it up now. Jackson Cornes off the boot, and he does it 12 all. We're locked up. Wakato Māori and Etu Heite Uriariki. second half. Tuetio Uriariki just walking it up to the halfway line. If they're happy just to slow it down just a little bit. Elijah Korpu scanning left and right. Besides he wants to go left. Yeah, set up for it. Important for Waikato Māori here to try and uh, complete the set at least. That's what they want to do, of yeah, course. Bentley Clothier. Strong run off the back fence. Great a beautiful song. tackle there by the number 16, Hannah Matheson Johnson. Here he goes. The try scorer. Coming back to Takiri. He's strong on his feet here, uh, Takiri. He is, isn't it? They, they, they have trouble putting him to the oh, ground. Nice. Liam, Taha Williams. Pumping his legs. Tall, rangy second rower. Good solid run. Back to Takiri. Takiri wants another run. He's giving me a uh, Adam Fanua Blake kind of vibes as uh, Takiri. As yeah, they yeah. come back to Jackson Cornish on the left hand side. Puts a little grubber in for himself. And oh, he toes it her head again. Oh, oh he just going to go Oh, but they drops the ball. He drops the ball and knocks it on. Where was the touch judge? The touch judge should have seen that. Yeah, you know, the referee let that one go as well. He must have said it went back. And, and a penalty. Oh, they were unlucky side. there, Waikato Māori. Very yeah, unlucky agree, not to get the ball back. Yeah, both the sideline judge and the referee missed that drop ball from Etuhei uh, Te Uriariki. But we play on. Yeah, so they take the tap here 
Michael Tamari on the fence. Tackle 20 metres out from his own trial line is the number one there, Kilipati Lea. And this man again, the number 13, he's been very dangerous, Liam J. Tupo Wichman. He has. Around the ankles there. And on the blind side now. Gentles just decides to take the take the tackle. The discipline. This big boy, we've seen him run through a whole lot of defense earlier on. And a little bit of an ankle tap there brings him to the ground in the end. Coming back down this blind side is Corpu. Corpu with a step. Oh, the footwork. And, and the, the offload. offload. Oh, that ball's gone to the ground. Oh, and looks like Corpu's hurt on the ground at the moment. He's finding it hard to get back up. It was the fifth and final. Corpu. And it was fifth and final. They'll hand that over. But, uh, we'll have a bit of time off, I think. Just got to play it down for you to Heitia Uriariki. That's a big yes. loss for them if he does come off. Corpu, their goal kicker. I think his shoulder was a little bit hurt there. He's okay. That's the last game. It's game for a lot of these boys. It'll be the sixth or so, seventh maybe game. Reefy getting in. Mohitewara. Go back down the blind side. Ryland Nuth. He's caught by the markers. They're getting very busy. But they knew he was going to run that ball and they needed to tie him up quickly. Yeah, so uh, Wakata Māori needs some go for it here. He's also plays the ball. They haven't really made much. Oh, he kicks early from inside his 20. Good idea. Good idea. Finds the ground and is bouncing. Nice we just did the chase well. now. Beautiful kick. It's a good chase. Needs a chase line to get up there with them. There they are. Well done. Good kick early. And we what? hear a whistle again. Oh, oh there's a player Somebody down back in back play for uh, Waikato Māori. It's uh, young Ryland Nuth. Looks like he's just cramping or something. Oh, yeah, hopefully he's okay because he is the danger man. Yeah, just to remember, eh, they have been through a number of games thus far. And it is a cramp, but I think there's somebody further back. Oh, there's another player another down the back play for play, yeah. Etu Heitia. I think they might be Corpu once again. Oh, Ooh, and stumbling. yeah, he's in a serious way at the moment. So hopefully, well, hopefully it's his not uh, head injury, but more might be his legs and he's finding it hard to walk okay so it's hopefully he's here. all right the young fella there yeah. Ryland's back up and he's trying to get himself back into the defensive line or oh, he is playing fullback at the moment so let's tackle one awesome work there by the referee uh, just to ensure the safety of our players absolutely Here we go again, number four, Ariki Wihong. Yeah, and you're not allowed to surrender. The surrender is not an option here in this tournament. As we said, this is not the NRL, so oh, as soon as you go back the player. Then, yeah, ran behind the player. So this gives to Māori an opportunity. Yeah, we're looking to see what out from Etu uh, Heito, Ariki's line. And stepping up is Takiri. Waikato Māori's version of Fanua Blake. There we go again, Jeremiah Hook, younger, straight and oh, hard. He gets rid of one, two. He's getting out towards the oh, offload. It. Offload. And back in. Oh, oh and a bit of a head eye there, and he'll off. get the penalty. He will get the penalty. Yeah, the referee's yeah. seen it. The referee's seen it. And he'll bring him out to. I don't know what the what they're all moaning about. The referee did uh, pull pull, yeah. pull it up. And uh, just as we say that, looks like the bin player from Waikato Māori is back on the field. Yes, yeah, we said that he's uh, a bin player for Etu Heitia Uriyariki now. Yes, yeah, so uh, Waikato get one back and Etu Heitia lose one to the sin bin. Okay, they'll probably look to go find some space here, set it up in the middle to begin with. Hey, hey at least that seat would be warm. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Your naughty chair's warm. <laughs> oh, it's over here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, Waikato now, fresh set of six. Going very close to the lot. Oh! Ooh. Oh, oh he did call Howard. Takidi. We'll have to play the ball. 
Nooth, Nooth, looking to throw the ball out. Here's our Simon Panna back on back oh. on the field as was Mitai. Just shy at the line now, right there. Desperation stuff from Metu Heitu Uriyariki on defense. They go down the blind side. Okay, where are they going? They're a bit bunched now, Waikato Māori. Everyone keen for the try. Yeah, get a bit of white line fever. They can smell it. Jeremiah Hook okay, just bouncing across the field. He oh. knows he's got an offload too. And he, he passes, passes the ball out. Dives down low. And there we have it. Try scored there from Ali Ngawaka. You look back at the replay. Yeah, they were punched up. And so was the Etu Heita Uriari keep the fence. Jeremiah Hokianga gets the ball out. And Ngawaka steps back on the inside. Gets slow and puts himself on the try scorer's sheet. Waikato Māori now taking the lead, 16 points to 12 with a kick to come and about four minutes to go in this 13th time of final. And it comes back to that penalty that was uh, given away for the head high and uh, Etu Heitia Uriariki left the man down on the fence now. Put Waikato up by six. Jackson Cornes. 100% off the boot thus far. 18 points to 12. Oh, four minutes to go. Fado. All Etu hates you need is a try and a, or a converted try. And they've leveled things back up and we'll probably go into overtime again. Yeah, it's, it's been that type of day, hasn't it, the uh, Utah? Just when you think a team is gone or out, they come back and... Yeah, to Heitia, no, they need to speed things up here. And they waste no time getting the ball back in play. Jackson Cornes finds Reef. Mohite Mare, he just wants to stay in field. Yes, Hold on to the ball. Tackle. Liam, oh, Taha Williams, he's been strong for this Waikato Māori outfit. He's still, he's still running. Players caught offside for Air 2 Hater by the looks of things. It's still going. Those post contact meters notching it up there. And here is the man himself, Takiri, who's been very busy in this second half, running it up the guts once again. And looks like maybe even earning himself a penalty. Oh, he's calling another player out as the referee. Or he might be calling the player back onto the field from the Sinbin. Oh, could be. Just the past five minutes. Yeah. But yeah, pretty pretty quick five minutes. Okay, well, we carry on. Time does travel fast when you're having a good time there, Fano. Yes. Yeah. Matthew Matthews. Oh. oh, but he gets taken out. Good work from the defense out on Absolutely. the left edge for Etu Heite Uriariki. Exactly what his team needed as well. Oh, he's bringing him back on the field now. There he is. He's coming back on. It's right to Uriyadiki, of course, do not want to be wasting any time. They want to get into the scrum as soon as possible. Get the ball back. Yeah, Waikato Māori in no hurry. Yeah, they know the time's on their side at this moment. Scrum is set. Really needed to stay tight around the middle, though. Waikato Māori. Referee still talking, they. He tried to feed the scrum before it had been packed. <laughs> they need. They just want to get on with it, ref. Too hate to hate the key now. Oh, oh, good run. Yes, no handbrakes here. Great footwork showing. Body up from their own try line to go down to the left hand side. Yeah, they found some success there early on. Yeah, they know they have to shut the uh, gentles down. Got some good footwork. Oh, good tackle. Jeremiah Hook Younger there. Coming in solid. Gentles. Oh, he's put a nice little chip in behind. Got cleaned up by Young Nuth there. Well, he wants oh, to go to the side line. He's flirting and had to throw yeah. the ball back inside. Yeah, almost, almost well, into disaster minute. there. Wakato Māori, there's the hooter. 
There's the Huda. There is the Huda. And there's the whistle. Waikato Māori hang on. My the skin of their teeth. To take this one now, 18-12 over here to Heite Uriariki. What a game. Waikato Māori coming 12-0 down. Pull it back. 18 points to 12. Waikato Māori, your champions. And now 13's Tama Grade. Stand up. Waikato. Massive. Massive. Massive efforts from both sides. Here to Heite Uriariki. They can keep their heads held high. It's been a long tournament. They made the long trip, a lot of them, from uh, from across the ditch. And they made it through to the final. Waikato Māori. Wow. These kids amaze me, man. The next teams to take the field in the under-14s grade. Uh, Etu Heitia, Uri Ariki and... Te Whanganui Atara. So stick around for that match. It'll no doubt be an interesting and exciting match like the one we've just witnessed. Kia mai.
Arai te whānau, ko hoki mai au, me tokin ko tahi. I'm back, I'm back. And I'm bringing you the 14s final between Etsu Heitio Uri Ariki and Te Whanganui Atara. Some heavy hitters in both sides. And, man, I think we're, we're in for a hell of a final. As both teams uh, prepare themselves for four kickoff. Te Whanganui Atara in the black and yellow strip. Etsu Heitio Uri Ariki in the light blue and white strip. Just waiting to see who's doing what, but uh, in the meanwhile, I will go through our team list. So for Te Whanganui Atara, wearing number one is Kobe John Kaide, number two is Lockyer Simeona, number three, Manaya Karehana, number four, Moa Lua, number five, Roscoe Douglas, number six, Jacoby Harawira Marino, number seven, David Matai Tonga, number eight, Cleveland Liali Fano, number nine, Tane Milk, ten, Fayora Tipuna Hita, eleven, X Reynolds, 12, Horona Baker, 13, Oluolu Tsiohane Hune, number 14, Timori Lemi Seal. Number 16 is Tane Branning, and wearing number 19 is Kyron Tahere. For the Etu Heitia Odiariki side, number 1, Blake Tikino, number 2, Blaine Adams, number 3, Isaiah Tepaidi, number 4, Elijah Toomanga, number 5, Avery Wetere, number 6, Rico Ford, number 7, Mahi Pene, 8, Pai, uh, Peyton Trey Pako, number 9 is Kobe Tikiri, number 10, Tristan Renata Kokiri, 11, Tipene Moise, 12 is Kalani Ford Stevens, 13 Noah Takiri, 14 Tyson Barnard, 15 Jonah Bell, and 17 is Zaris Barakat. As uh, we're underway here, Etu Heite Uri Ariki, Kalani Ford Stevens with the boys, one to watch for uh, the Etu Heite side. And uh, equally, oh, he tries to get the offload away, but doesn't pull it off. It's been deemed to have uh, been knocked on. Not the star uh, that Kalani would be wanting. Uh, just as I was saying, he is one of the ones to look out for. He knows that he's got an offload on him. But uh, equally in the Whanganui Atara camp, I think uh, Axe Reynolds would be one to look out for. Nai te iaratau e whakarite ana i te donoke. Ko tai mai taku rangatira. Uh, Hemana Waka, uh, Mamau, Atene, Kemu, e Karanga, Tena, Koe, Kei Taku Rangati. Uh, tena Koe, Utea, Nami, Hiki, Akwe. O tira koe te whakarono mai na e mātaki taki mai na tēnā koe te agatoa, nā mai ki kunei ki te tākoro whakamutina uh, ki wānu ni nā tīma nei. O tira i tēnei wā, uh, ko etu i heitia. Ko... Oh, te whanganu i atara. Ah, te whanganu i atara. Te tīma nei. So te whanganu i atara with, uh, with the ball now. Ah. Coming out to their right hand side. Get things going through the forwards. Number 14 there, Tyson Barnard getting busy for Etu Heitia. Just shy of the 40 metre line inside there, Etu Heitia, Uriariki half. Pick off shape set to the left hand side. X. Reynolds takes the tackle there. It looks like they've got to the fifth and final. Complete the set. Complete the set. It's a high kick, but taken well on the full by the fullback for Etu Heite Uri Ariki. It's Blake Tikino. And a uh, bit of speed here. For the quick play. And number 10, Tristan Renata Kokiri. Oh, no, with the, oh, tahu te oma tēnei tāna te koi tēnei. Oh, Isaiah te paidi. Oh, 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 oh. oh no tūhoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tēnei inoa no tūhoe. Uh, koi te oma takitaki mai nā, ko te tīma te whanganui atara. Uh, I hana mai mai nā, nā iwi katoa, i rato te whanganui atara nā reira. E hana i te mea nō no Nāti kua tāna hei, e nā e kao. Uh, ko te wetahe nō no no Nāti plau, Nāti kahu, uh, Nāti rangi tihi, uh, kahu nuni ki wairua. Lani Ford Stevens. Oh! Just as we say. Oh! Look back at their replay. Isaiah Tapaiti in the uh, play previous. Lucky to hold on to that ball and Lani Ford Stevens. Yeah, with the offload that he possesses. Oh, Karawe, Karawe. Looks it off to Avery Wetere to open the scoring. Etu Heitia Odi Ariki 4 0 with the kick to come. He tanga te, oh, he tama i te nunui te, 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 te number 10, te pairi, ne? Tama i te nunui. 
kotra no no te wānui a tāne. No te uru wera. Te wānui a tūhoi. So it's a hate to eat a yariki. Yeah, just trying to get the number. I think that is the number 11. Tipene Moyes kicked them into the into the final the uh, in the semi. Went into oh, oh went into overtime. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tene tana tana. Tene, yeah, tene poi. Right on the sideline, on the right hand touch, touch line. Going through his processes. Strikes it. Ooh. That's across the face of oh, the yeah. goalpost. So score remains 4 0. Here to Haiti Uriariki over Tifanga Nui Yatara. Five minutes gone in our first half of our 14 Tama final. He must be having a bit of a buzz, eh? Why can't the one the other one? Yeah, yeah, happy, happy, <laughs> happy for them. <laughs> of course, yeah. It's been a while since they've, uh, they've won a tournament of this uh, magnitude. Well, oh, man, uh, look. I'm, I'm just I'm more amazed at the at the uh, skill and talent uh, yes. on display here. Yes, you know, absolutely. Yep. Um, when you when you think that a lot of these players are 13, 14, even 12, 12 yep. years old. Yep, yep. Um, you know, sometimes we could forget that. And man, look, they're playing like premier players. Yeah, you know, a lot of accolades go to their coaches. Eh? Yeah, they, they 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 take the time out to train these fellas. Yeah, definitely, but a uh, strong run there uh, by the number 14. Is that the number 14? Tyson Barnard, but uh, he looks like he's picked up a little bit of an injury. Why? Aye, aye, he did. Uh, come on, Maharatato. These boys have played... Their fifth game, would be their fifth game? Five or six, yeah, 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 yeah. maybe ten games <laughs> over the past two days. Yep. Uh, bodies, yeah, definitely taking a toll on the, t on the bodies now. The first, the first three games will be the pull rounds eh, to get into the semis and then to the finals. Mm. Ah, so it, it does. It's a very, very tough tournament. But hey, they keep coming. They, they keep coming. They keep coming. And we're in our 30th year. They keep coming. On a sniff of an oily rag, they come to our tournament. How high? The one of the jerseys they wear. Faka papa. Five Māori, four Māori. That's who we are. Mm. So, uh, He's being replaced there by the number eight, Peyton Trey Paco, on the field now for Etu Heite Odiariki. Whanganui Atara to feed the scrum, 30 metres out from Etu Heite's line. So he bounce across to the right hand side of the field, but that's. Yeah, that's been knocked on, unfortunately, there for Etu Whanganui Atara. So they'll uh, have another scrum. 30 metres out from their own line. Etu Heite Uriariki with the feed now. Oh, yeah. Silly errors at that, at that stage. Eh? Right. Simple errors. Wayne Adams to feed the scrum for Etu Heite. Four nil, six minutes gone. Get the ball out to the right hand side. Number seven here, had a uh, bit of shape running off him. Decided to hold on to the ball. Nothing fancy coming out of his red zone. Nice little scoot here from oh. dummy half, picking up a valuable Kala. 15 to 20 Kala. meters. Kala with the and again, the number 13, poking his nose through the line. Another 20 or so meters. Noah Takiri, he's been very busy for his side th uh, throughout the duration of this tournament. Oh, and they're just finding gaps. gaps yeah. Blaine Adams there with the ball. 10 metres out from Tafanganui Atara's line. Oh, Tipidem Moyes finds his fronts. Oh, didn't look like oh. much was happening there, but. That looked like a try. Yeah, yes, it is. Kalani Ford Stevens. So, as we see in the, in the last um, play, yeah, that last Moyes play gets tackled yeah. and Ford Stevens oh. comes in. Just falls over the line. Three tackles and but three tackles. Oh, so it's a heat here. Turning up the heat a little bit. Yeah. Eight nil. Yep. You know, at Yakote uh, Fakalunumaina, it wasn't too long ago, at this tournament, we had the Tane and the Tamawahine combined. 
but because it's got so big, we had to separate them. Now you don't. Yeah, so you we've know. gone from five tournaments to yep. six now? Six, six tournaments now as a result of the numbers of our, our tamariki coming to the tournaments. We're getting feedback uh, out here in the paddock for the last couple of days from some of the parents who's come to Totok with their kids. They're rugby players because rugby doesn't put anything on for them, so they've got no alternative. And you wonder why they, why we get so many now. Aye. Because we, we, we have a product that's available for their kids. A lot of our tamariki love oh. to celebrate being Māori and using yeah, rugby league yeah, yeah, as exactly a vehicle right. to do so. Yeah, the vehicle is the, yeah, rugby league is that springboard, eh? Well, he's another misconversion for him. Yes. And as we've seen in uh, previous games, these yeah. conversions are crucial. Crucial to make. Just while I went with the kickoff, uh, uh, the Hakas was just as crucial to, to judge. You know, with 54 teams, it was like, well, it's good I had three teams to scatter out to do it. And when they came up with their points and my points, we could, uh, put them all together. It was very hard to distinguish the first three. Because <coughs> we didn't judge it on one hucker, we judged it on a couple of their huckers. Mm -hmm. Very hard. <coughs> so the Whanganui Yatara get us back underway. It's not going to take much for momentum to swing their way. They might just need, or they need the ball, first and foremost, but strong run off the kick. Here's the try scorer, Kalani Ford Stevens. He's got an arm free, we know he's got ball skill. Decides to hold on to the ball. They go to the right hand side. Pipeide gets the ball out to his winger. Back. Oh. Oh. Why did he stop? No, I think the, the flag went up from the touchy and um, it was a little bit of an early call by the touchy. I think he so. Tried to, he, he tried to protect his flag. It was too late. Yeah, the ref had already called it. So they'll get a scrum here to Heite Uriariki. Just goes to show that we're all human. We all make mistakes. Even from adults. <laughs> oh, a little, little set play there by the Heite uh, Uriariki fullback and half. Oh, there's, a, there's a mistake. Where's the mistake? Tyson Barna just unable to hold on to the ball. So Koba Wall calls for time off and more players going down now. Just holding on to a shoulder by the looks of things. Maybe a hand, finger, yeah, so elbow. A big boy that he's trying to tackle. Yeah, man. These boys are brave putting themselves in oh, front yeah. of the hard running yeah, uh, players. And they're, they're running with speed. Ten minutes gone in the first half. So we've got our next tournament, Queen's Birthday. Now, our next one, Queen's Birthday weekend? Yeah. Matariki. Come to come to Matariki. And that'll be our Rangatahi Tama tournament, the Rangatahi first and second Tama. of June. Yep, yep, that's right. And that's the age group, the age group is our so we see the Whanganu Yatara player being helped off the field. In a long tournament for these boys. And, and a uh, long travel home. Yeah, the referees just telling them, yep, we'll get play back underway. Set the scrum. It's Whanganu Yatara, your ball. And they'll feed the ball, uh, f feed the scrum 30 metres out from their own try line. They go to the left hand side of the field. Oh, and he's met oh. by a solid tackle. Oh. Comes shooting up out of the line. Yeah, that was uh, the Toby John cut it, uh, the hooker for Tamanuyatara. It's a nicely controlled tackle there by Etu Heite Uriariki, but. Saying here is it a flop or just holding him down a little bit too mm. long? Looks like Etu Hatia opting to go for kick or touch. 
Sprung the other just kicking it out. That's Reynolds' kick that goes just Oops. straight up. It didn't go out. And down into the hands of Tristan Renata Pokiri. Oh, what a nice take. And that was uh, Mua Lua. Oh, coming down the left hand touch line. All ends up in the hands of Maihi Pene. They know how to explore, uh, explore those gaps. There's plenty of it. 20 metres out from the opposition goal line now. Nawatakiri putting the foot down. Quick play the ball. Still players trying to get back for Te Whanganui Atara. Ooh, look like they try to do the little. Uh, Outside ins. Mm. Inside pass. Bounce out, bounce out play. But um, unfortunately, there. let off the hook. Yeah, very much so. Let's go and feed 10 metres out from their own try line. What an awesome tournament we've had uh, over the weekend. You know, the weather's held out for yeah, us. Yeah, very bit, lucky. Yeah, a little bit of drizzle here and there yesterday, but yeah. nothing too too major. No. It's Bangano Yatara get us back underway. Not shy to move the ball. <laughs> Goliath. Yeah, the big prop out. Yeah. Ending, out on, uh, ending up out on the wing. small ones. Ooh, oh, it took the ball off him too. Tristan Renata uh, I think he was already on the ground. Yep. So, uh, Tapanganu Yatara. Hopefully, this kick can uh, go into touch. And it does. So, it goes into touch on the 40 meter line inside their own half. Get a fresh set of six. Small to his voice. Fuck a buck. Yep, small in stature, big in heart. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, uh, still still got a. Still charging through. Number four there. Yeah. Picks from dummy half. Picks up a nice little 10 or so metres for his team. Well into the there to Heite Uriariki half now. Whanganu Yatara. Setting some shape on to the left hand side of the field. Here's Axe again, Reynolds. Trying to fight his way out of yeah. the defense of Axe. Big boy. Yeah, big boy, strong boy. Oh, and this oh, one. What a <laughs> sh oh, look. What a run that was. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. The second rower, number 12. Kalani Ford Stevens. Here to hate it. Ball just keeps keeps alive. Yep. I think the ball bounced out in the tackle. <laughs> Come to the fifth and final. Is it or is it fourth? Uh, Can't see the ref's hand up. No, no, Must no, be no, the fourth. Fourth here. Bit of a show and go. Five meters out from the try line now. Come down the right hand side, the short side. Oh, they had Looking well to marked. just muscle their way over the line. Yeah, that's more, uh, more lure. Oh, oh, tries a little scoot from dummy half. They read that like a book. Yes. Spangano Yatara going back to the left hand side of the field, trying to get the off right away. Last thing final now. They decide to move the ball, shift the ball. Oh, nice little wraparound play. X Reynolds, he powers his oh. way over the line. I think he got across. Oh, he's had a second oh, effort at it. Right, yep. Double movement. Yep. Yeah, it's worth a crack. It was yes. the fifth and final. It's so close. Good defence from uh, A2H. So uh, they look to kick themselves out of trouble here. That they do. Ball goes out on the 10 meter line. So we'll just wait for a ball to get back before uh, Itu Hater get us back underway. It's 
16 minutes gone in this first half of this grand final for our 14th time of grade. Te Paiti taps the ball. It's the goal kicker, Tipene Moyes. Takes the first hit up. 20 metres out from his own try line. Kalani forward, Stevens. Putting the forward and go forward. Unusual not to see the Kotahitano in the finals. Yeah, but they um, bowed out in the semi to this Etuhaita Uriariki oh, yeah, team. Yeah. That was a heck of a game. That, that, that was forecast to be the finals. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Well, Etuhaita Uriariki now, well inside. It's Whanganui Atara's half. Now what's a kitty? Some late footwork at the line. Breaking his nose through, stays standing on his feet. Ford Stevens, back door. Good shape here. Oh, here too, hey, to Oh, he went out. He went out. I'd like to look back at that, though, on the, on the replay. Awesome shape here. They deserve their try with the beautiful shape they run. Simple draw and pass, but unfortunately there, the winger just being taken into touch, but... Awesome work by the defence on the left edge there for yep. Whanganui Atara. Yep. And as we said, it's a game of inches as we hear the Huda yep. signalling half-time in our 14th time of final between Etu Heitia, Uri Ariki and Te Whanganui Atara. 8-0, still anybody's game, Matua? Anybody's game, anybody's game here. And we're so fortunate that the weather seems to be holding off for our finals. <clears throat> yeah, so with that whanau, we'll uh, see... What's in the water in both camps uh, when we come back for the second half? Not Erika Motonuma. The water's been drunk. The lollies have been eaten. The magic water. The magic water. The magic lollies. Yeah. Hoping to get that sugar rush for the last 20 minutes of action here between Etu Heitia Uriariki and Te Whanganui Atara. Both teams ready to get back underway for our second half. Etu Heitia's been here before. I think they won it last year, didn't they? They beat the Kotahitana. I'm not too sure, yeah, but yeah, oh, yeah. that is the start that Etu Heite Uriyaki would have been wanting. Whanganui uh. not too happy about it. Fair enough. But uh, Etu Heite with a, with a solid start and a 
Good opportunity to post early points in the second half. Caught them sleeping. Caught them sleeping. No excuse. It's, not, it's been a while since Whanganui Ataraka has been into the finals. So the Whanganui Ataraka get us back underway. The ball's allowed to bounce. Bounces kindly for uh, Tristan Renata Kuokiri. Settles things up in the middle of the field. Gives options left and right. There he decides to go right. Now to Kiri back door. Oh, some nice shape yes, there by nice Air setup. to Heitzia. Nice setup. But, Good yeah, a little, uh, we look back at that. Just held on to that ball a little bit yeah. too long. Did uh, <coughs> the number pass. two here. Join pass. Yeah, yeah he ran yeah, behind his player. So try is not awarded. Score remains 8-0. Penalty to Te Whanganui Atara. I think it was uh, obstructed. Yeah. So uh, Blaine Adams just held that ball. If he let that ball go a little Quicker. bit earlier. Yeah, yeah. But man, the, the shape that this Etsu Heitia Uriariki side can run. Well, they'll it's run that ball all right. I don't know too much about that. So it's Whanganui Atara looking to work themselves out of trouble. Just yeah, lucky to get away with that one was Te Whanganui Atara. Yeah. They carry on down their right hand side. And it uh, looks like they're struggling to get their timing right here Te Whanganui yeah, Atara. And they need to be they careful are. because the ref will pull it up and will penalise it. Ax Reynolds here plays the ball. Settling things down. Big collisions here. But awesome defense from Air 2 Heite Uri Ariki. Keeping uh, Whanganui Atara in their own half and making them kick from their 40. Taken well on the fall. Uh, fall there by the number five for Air 2 Heite, Avery Wetere. Blake Tikino now. Scoop from dummy half. Trying to get things up the middle. He slips out of a couple of tackles there. Good support play. Good support play. Find support in the form of Maihi Pene as they carry on their attack down the left-hand side. Noah Takiri now ends up with the ball. Desperate defense by Te Whanganui Atara. So, They've got numbers so. down the blind side, and they punish it. I think that's a try. Yep, that is a try. We look back at that. Just Te Whanganui Atara getting caught on the back foot. They're getting caught outnumbered. Good eyes up play here from uh, Etu oh. Heitia Uri Ariki. And the number 10, Tristan Renata Kokiri crashes over for the third try for Etu Heitia. Taking the score, 12 points to nil for the kick to come. Four minutes gone. They're slowly pulling away from Whanganui Atara now. He's in no hurry here is uh, Tipene Mois. Getting told to bring it in line with the referee right on the so sideline. Yeah, this young young T boy having a bit of a cunny cunny on the field. He's been with the uh, Etsu Heitsu the Ariki side all weekend. He's got his Crocs on sports mode to get the T out uh, a little bit faster. Yeah, part of the team. Get the water out to uh, the kicker. Got a noise here, lining up the kick. And that one's low. And off to the left-hand side of the, uh, the post. So score remains 12 points to nil. Still, uh, Te Whanganui Atara still in this match. There's only two converted tries there. So if they can get a, a call or two, you know, their way. Uh, they might pick up a little bit of momentum into the back end of uh, this game. Yeah, because I think that they can poke the hoe doing all the defence. And suddenly they've got the ball and they've got no energy to run. So uh, just walking back to halfway, trying to catch their breath. Try to regain some composure. 
the num number one there for uh, Tupanganui Atara. Kobe John Kaede from Natikahu. Getting us underway. Goes short. Ooh. Taken well on the full there by uh, the try scorer, the number 10. He gets an offload away. And the number nine, the hooker. He goes around the outside of the winger. He's going to go. Oh, he gets ankle tapped. That Very lucky. Needed to be made. And what's the penalty for here? Ref? Just waiting to see what the penalty was for. Is it for a flop? Oh, that can't have been for a flop. He got ankle tap. He got ankle tap, yeah, but it was a second No one was on top in. of him. Yeah, yeah, to hate you aren't uh, complaining about that. No, they'd be happy. Yes, <laughs> they take the first hit up there, yeah. 20 metres out from the opponent's try line. Now they're going to run their shape again. Oh, the pass just goes a little bit wayward. Yeah, yeah. Luckily for Tafanganui Atara. Nothing wrong with the pass. I think it was just where he was positioned. Maybe a little bit of timing timing issues from the winger. Yep. Could have been a little bit deeper. But uh, we have a play the ball now for Tafanganui Atara. 10 metres out from their own try line, 20 metres in from touch. They've hardly ever been in the 22 of uh, the 2 2 h here. Yeah, it's been a pretty one-way yep. uh, one affair at the moment, this game. But as we've seen in previous games, uh, games it doesn't take much for momentum to shift. Whanganui Atara just looking for the little spark they need to get them up the field. But when you've got the fence like that, it's a bit hard to find that spark. As uh, Whanganui Atara come to the right-hand side through their number three. Manaya Karehana. Oh, it's you, hates you. Great chase from the markers there. The banana kick. And there's a fullback coming up. Oh, scrum out. So, Tiki know they're just cleaning the mess up from uh, fullback. They go down their left hand side. They found success down there before. Number 10, so try scorer. Tackle. Justin Renata Kokiri yeah, definitely yeah. needed to be uh, made that tackle. Oh, what's a kitty? Puts his foot down. Reynolds there over the top. Ford Stevens. More shape here. here Tikino gets a ball out to Tepaiti and they just make it look yeah. like easy. it's so easy. So easy. Draw well, and pass, draw and pass. One. Ford two, Stevens. On to Blaine Adams. To Blake Tikino. Isaiah Tepaiti. Finishing off the goods, but it oh, what's a prop doing out there? <laughs> <laughs> so that takes our score: 16 points to nil. It's who hates our Uriariki over Te Whanganui Atara. And there's our our T boy again. He's enjoying it. <laughs> He's oh, absolutely, absolutely. Oh. He's the next uh, next generation of uh, of our players yes. coming through these tournaments, coming, no yeah. doubt. No. Yeah. Especially if the Pirates is, uh, is a league fanatic, guarantee it. Oh. And we'll possibly see him in our Tamariki tournaments, mm. uh, yeah. if not this year and years to come. What position you reckon? Half? Does he look like a cheeky yeah, little yeah, fella? He, no, he looks like a dummy half. Yeah, he hook up your hooker. Uh, Moyes lines up the kick now. Oh, that's a better strike. Looks and good. he's nailed it. Yep. So it's who hates you, Uri Yariki. 18 points to nil. Oh, I guess the writing's on the wall. With three converted tries, Tefanganu Yatara needs now. 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes left in this entire tournament. Exactly. The last 10 minutes <coughs> of the tournament. Whanganui Atara be wanting to put their names on the score sheet. For sure. They uh, walk back to halfway. So 
Toby Kairi. Yep, Toby Kairi will do the kick it. The kick it. Kick us back on the way. Mangano Yatara. And uh, we just hit a little bit of Porirro from the sidelines. Not about how you start, it's about how you finish, and yep. you couldn't agree more. That's right. Strong run there by the number 15. He almost loses his shorts. Like he's got a second pair on underneath. It's Jonah Bell there. See, that what happens when you go up the top of the big fella. You <laughs> just carry on walking. And oh, a great follow-up play, that. Elijah to Omanga. And again, showing their class. It's who hates the Uri Ariki tipping in boys now with the ball. Oh, made in a strong tackle oh. there by Axe Reynolds. Oh, yes. Cuts him down like an axe. This right hand side, Isaiah Tepaidi. Draw and pass and simple put down. We'll look back at that one. You see, catch the back end of that strong tackle by Axe Reynolds. But uh, the organization on this right side, just early ball, nothing fancy. Put it through the hands, let the ball do the work. Yep. And Avery Wetere goes over for a try in this final. 22 points to nil here to Heite Uriarki over to Whanganui Yatara. Eight minutes to go in the second half. Yes. Get a breather. Yeah, look, no, no rush for uh, Tipene Moyes here. They feel like they've got this one in the bag. It's definitely going to be a bit of a task for Te Whanganui Yatara to try and pull some sort of comeback. It's not, uh, it, it's not out of, uh, out of reach. But it's definitely going to be a task and a half, especially against the well-drilled side like uh, Etu Heite Uriariki is. So the old scoop, the Reese Walsh scoop. Another good strike, but this one's off to the right-hand side of the post. So score remains 22 points to nil. Here to Heite Uriariki over to Whanganui Yatara. Now 14's final for our Tama here at Pukutafero Park. Still a, still a major, still a few people around, eh? You know, saying to watch our, our finals. Yeah, massive. Final and, you know, after after this hit the final, don't go too far. We'll yeah. have our uh, presentations. Yeah, that's right. Our announcement yeah. of our teams. Yeah, we'll, we'll name the team of the tournament, uh, the best haka, yep. uh, players of the tournament. Yes. So at the, uh, at the conclusion of this game, don't go too far. We'll have that coming up not too long after uh, we finish. So it's a Whanganui Atara. Kairi again, maybe. No, it's the number seven now. Uh, David. Who's that? Uh, David Matayoko. Uh, Oh, and full head of steam. But a bravery to stand in front of someone running that hard. So the number 15 here. Oh, God. Jonah he's Bell. Fresh. Jonah he's Bell, he just goes straight through yeah. the line. He's fresh ass. And he's pulled down just short of the line by the fullback. He wants to get a quick play of the ball. They're going to go from there dummy half. There and he bounces over. That's going to be a try. Yep. The referee points at the spot. We'll take a look back at that. Good work there by Kobe Kaide, but it was all in vain. Is uh, got a quick play the ball and the cheeky yes. jump from dummy half by the number nine, Kobe Tikiri. Good thinking, quick thinking. Just putting the foot on the throat and they're not letting off. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a subbed out kicker now. It's uh, Noah Tikiri. I'm going to say uh, probably brothers or cousins. Noah and uh, the try scorer, Kobe. So we're uh, looking to convert this try. And the Setu Heite Uriariki team keeping the T boy very busy. His parents will be thankful for that. Uh, he struck it and he struck it well, wow. adding the extra yes. 28 points to nil. Could have been higher for all those other kicks that have gone over. He's happy about it. Oh, yes. One from one. 100%. <laughs> 100%. 
Strike rate. Strike rate. Yeah, and come for a sub. <laughs> I'm going to keep my strike rate. So I hate to hate to Odiariki just running away with this one now. Oh, for sure. About four minutes left. I think the wager is all gone now for the Whakanui Atara. The desire. You just can't wait for the final whistle. Yatara are going to go for a last try wins. They're going to go for the last try wins tactic, strategy. Ball's allowed to bounce twice. Dives on there kick. by the number two, Blaine Adams. Oh, but it's deemed to have been dropped. So a knock on there. Yatara. Very likely... Uh, yeah. Get the last try here. Last try oh, wins. Oh, well. well. They should work on it. That's the closest they'll ever get for now. And there's in the set of tackles. Make use of it. Yeah, so uh, look like they're set up to the right-hand side of the field. And that way they do go. Takes it all the way to the line. They've hardly, hardly ever had the, the chance to, to play the ball, right? run with the ball. As they go out to the right-hand side, nice skip pass out to the wing. Oh, he's taken high around the chops. Yes, that should be. Number 17 there, Zyrus Barricat could be in a little bit of hot water. About that one. So uh, we're back underway to Whanganui Atara. Inside the 10 metre line. Charging forward. Oh, still charging forward. Oh, he's pulled up two metres short of the try line. He's going to have a little crack from dummy half. Nope. Uh, but this defence for Etu Heitia Uriariki. Still standing strong. They're going to try and get it wide. Oh, he shows it from dummy half. He goes himself. He's trying to drive the legs, uh, but they're too hate to hate to keep defense drive him back. And they're just trying to power their way over now. Yes, they are. Oh, looks like his uh, leg popped out there. Matai Tonga puts a little grubber in. It's a nice little grubber. And X Reynolds, think, that man, yes. what a nice little uh, bit of play there for Te Whanganui Yatara. パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パカリテヘキ。パ
And man, look, the boys just left everything out there. They're, they're, they're smashed. <laughs> In case you're wondering where Etsu Heiti Uriariki come from, it's supposed to be the team from West, um, thing one from Australia. Australia. Uh, but their Faka Papa is here at um, Pukehina. Yeah, so with that Fano, 28 points to four, your champions here to yes. HO Uriariki. Yes. Yep. Hey, don't go too far. Like I said, we do have prize giving coming up. We've got a little bit of a highlights package from the semis and the finals coming up. But before uh, we sign off, just want to thank you all uh, for tuning in, for watching. Uh, it's Ikana uh, One Foundation, our uh, sponsors, our Above Sound Production, bringing you the live stream footage. And yeah, again, to all the whanau, uh, everyone that sponsored Tamariki to get to our tournament, Absolutely. Massive, yeah, yeah. massive, all the work behind the scenes to get our tamariki here. It's, yeah, we just can't thank you enough. And uh, very grateful, very grateful for the sacrifices that you guys make as whānau at home, as sponsors, um, yeah, people and that just support <coughs> our tournaments. Even, very to, even to our own work, work people here, eh? Yep. Yeah, like the, the, the social media team. Our chef got called out to our, our ringa at the back who's been feeding us uh, breakfast and lunch. Beautiful kai over here. And our little runners, uh, running all of those ones, getting all the scores from the referees and bring it back to us to, to give instant uh, calls and updates on our uh, scoreboards. And uh, we have all the, the little people behind the scenes who make it a great tournament. Yeah. Yeah, really great. Really great <coughs> tournament. So, what there, Fano? Again, thank you all. Uh, our next tournament is Queen's Birthday Weekend. That'll be our, uh, our Rangatahi tournament. But we'll uh, sign off here. We'll leave you to it. And have an awesome night. Stay safe. And until the next tournament, we'll see you then.
your efforts. The way you fellows played and conducted yourselves over the tournament was absolutely nothing short of amazing. So, ngāti no mihi kia koutou, e tu heitia, huri ariki. And congratulations also to our uh, management and coaching staff as well of our Waikato Māori uh, under-13s grade. You did a fantastic job with our tama, ngā mihi anō hoki kia koutou. And one more time, our runners up for 2024 Etu Heitia Uri Ariki. Nga mihi tamama. And just as our uh, team are getting ready for their photo, I just want to do a shout out to all of our scouts who came from across from Australia to have a look at our tama. Uh, we had the roosters here, we had the bulldogs here, we had the dolphins here, we had the wahs here. Uh, we also had Sport Vision uh, all come over uh, from Australia to look at our tama. And no doubt a lot of you will be getting a phone call very, very soon, Tamariki Ma, so fantastic. And also the Titans as well. And a big shout out to the Titans who sponsored us some prizes as well. So thank you very much to the Gold Coast Titans. And once again, our 2024 winners, Waikato Māori. We'll now move on to the Wahanga Kite Haka. This is the most coveted trophy of all, El Hoa and I'd like to ask our kaumātua, our rangatira, te tanifa hikuroa, a he mana waka, a te tuku yana kōrero, and can I please ask a wirimi moiahu to come and present this award as well. Uh, tēnā tātou katoa. I have to uh, give our accolades to all the tutors who taught the haka from the north, south, east and west. You heard we had 54 teams, and I can assure you, all those teams were marked accordingly. I had a team of three separated going all out, doing all the marks. Some we got twice to get some confirmation, uh, but the standard of the haka is to be proud of yourselves, to Māori. So all those teams that participated, a very, very good job. And I can tell you, the winners was just a point apart between the runners up and the winners, one point apart. And so how did it get there? All those that they all scored over 95 in their first rounds of hackers. The minute you get up to that level, you're in a very high level. And it was very close because about three teams got up there. So uh, I now hand over to Wirimu, one of our, my other um, judges, and he will hand out these prizes to you. Kia ora tātou. Come on. Oh, well, let's get to it. Ko te kapa. I pai te takahi o te wai wai. I pai te wiri o ngā ringa ringa. I putea i ngā karu i whetero anō hoki te arero. Homa i te paki paki, our 2024 National Haka Champions for the Aotearoa New Zealand Māori Rugby League. Te ko tahitanga! That's for the under-13s grade. We do have an under-14s haka winner as well. So this is for the under-13s. Hara mai koutou. Te reo ngā te kau mā toru. Ngā tāne mā whakātu atu ki te tini me te mano hea harā koutou. I eke ki te taumata i te wāhanga ki te haka.
<laughs> you thought, well, we could take the photo before they do the haka, otherwise they'll look all sweaty in the photo, so. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Kātū ki te iwi. Hā harā koutou i eke tau matei roto i tēnei o ngā wahanga. Tukuna te ihi, te wehi, te wana, me te tapu. And although rugby league is the vehicle which drives us all here to these tournaments, we can't forget, of course, that a lot of our tamariki don't get an opportunity to grow up in a Māori setting, and this is an opportunity for them to reconnect with their whānau, with their iwi, with their hapu, and that is the main thing uh, when it comes to these tournaments, and that's, to me, uh, the biggest uh, celebration of all is reconnecting our whānau back to their iwi and their hapu. We now move on. Sorry, boy. <laughs> We'll move on to our tournament team now. Now, the tournament team will be playing on the first weekend of November in Tamaki Makoto at the PYC or the PAC tournament against our Pacific Māori brothers and, of course, our sisters as well uh, later on in the year uh, with our wahine teams. Kapai. So, our uh, selectors did a big job to bring this together. Uh, Norida e mihiana uh, no hoki uh, ki a ratau. Uh, so our tournament team, presented by uh, Jason Sayers and Manaya Osborne, Epayakini. No e tu heitia, uri ariki, homai te paki paki ariki, wihongi. From Waikato Māori, Bentley, Claudia. From Raukawa, Kitamaki, Caesar, Panapa. From Waikato Māori, Dejan, Rind. From Raukawa, Kitamaki, Dayton, Jollet. Note Waiariki, Devon, Hansen. No ko tahitanga, Desel, Joe, Purcell. Representing counties, Monaco, Māori, Rugby League, Jashon, Albert. From Waikato, Māori, Jackson, Cornes. No te rongo Māori ki tafiti, Jaden. Hape. No te kota hitanga, Javion Matafa. No te rongo Māori ki tafiti, Jonas Rakae. No 
ロテカパオテコタヒタガカイデンマタポーロエチューヘイチアウリアリキカライオカチパルウス North the Kappa, all counties, Monaco, Māori, Rugby League, Kratos, Puna. North the Kappa, all Waikato, Māori, Liam, Taha, Williams. North the Tai Tokero, Ngāpuhiahi, Menage, Bristow. No te kapa o awa, ra kairoa ngātai. No ngā piko ngā o te awa o Waikato, Waikato Māori, Ryland Nuth. From counties, Manako, Māori Rugby League, Spencer Foster. No te rongo Māori ki Tawhiti, te raimana, tahiata. And the last of our players to wrap up our tournament side for 2024 in the under-13s grade. No te ko tahitanga, Zai John, Paul Campbell, Paul. Kapaim, and as our tournament team have their photo, I will announce the player of the tournament. And this time I will be presented by Shantane Hape. And our player of the tournament for 2024, Liam Taha Williams. Now, if we can get a representative, please, due to a technical issue, we forgot to uh, present our Waikato Māori team with their trophy. Uh, so if we can get, uh, very shortly, one of our whānau from Waikato Māori to come up and receive your winner's trophy for 2024. Also, I'd like to acknowledge our uh, referees. Oh, I get that though. I just want to pay acknowledgement to, to our PYC management. The coach of this team will be Nick Hortere, our manager, Gay Scott, and our head trainer, uh, Stane Hune. And they will be our uh, team management staff. And also to our under 13s, Tachis, Berta, Makiha, Gina, Te Rongomau, and Poko, the referee, as well. I'd like now to present. If we can get Harley, uh, Harley Wall to come out and present the referee of our tournament, please. Yeah. Harley Wall, if you can come out, please. And just while we're waiting for them, if I can get, please, to wake up to Māori, our captain, to come up and receive your trophy for the under-13s. Championship this year. One more time, please. One more time, please. Waikato Māori. Aroha mai e tama. No mātou te he. Kaori tāko hatu. Kia koutou. Tā koutou taonga. I te wātika. He wai. Ko te mea nui. Ko whakawhitia koutou. I aeni. And if you can come over here and take a photo. And uh, if we can get Hayley, uh, Harley Wall uh, to come out to present our uh, referee of the tournament. A 
All right. All right. Without our referees, of course, we cannot bring you these tournaments, okay? Somebody has to get out there and do the mahi in the middle of the park. And I'd like to thank our Referees Association and, and their tireless work behind the scenes to bring us a whole bunch of referees each and every single year. And to anybody out there who wants to become a referee, because as I walk around, I see a lot of you think you know how to referee a game. So if you want to put your hand up and join our Referees Association, come over and have a court all, and we'll hook you up uh, with that. Kapai. Okay, our referee of the tournament, Homai Te Paki Paki, Moses Cooper. Kapai Moses. And he, of course, officiated the grand final of our under 14s uh, grade. Kapai Moses, Ngamihi Kaukwe. And a big shout out to our touchies for their grade as well, uh, Matt Watane and Abel Masters. All right, we'll get straight into our under 14s presentations now. Kapai, Ngamihi ki ngā kapa e rua te whanganui a tara and e tu heitia uri a riki and if we can give a round of applause for our runners up for 2024, te whanganui a tara. Hara mai tāne ma. Nga mihi te whanganui a tana, tāhua tā koutou tū, i roto i te roa ngā koutou te whakataitai nei, fellas, we're absolutely fantastic. And I know you're getting down to the, to the wire there in that grand final. It's very hard to play numerous games over a weekend, and I know a lot of the players were getting hurt and dropping off towards the end there, but you stood up, you stood tall, and you did your whānau and your iwi prao. Now, if I can have now at the Matsuo Te Rangatira e Hemana, mai we tuku i anga metara, mete mete taonga no hoki ki te kapa i tua i roto i te reanga a te kau māwha. And as our whanau are taking the photos over here, let's give it up in a big round of applause for our winners in the under-14s grade, e tu heitia, uri, ariki, kapa e hoama. Great tournament, Tanema. The skill level was absolutely fantastic. It was awesome to watch. Etu Heitia Uriariki, our winners for 2024. Also, a big shout out to our management staff from Etu Heitia for Etu Heitia Uriariki. Nga mihi kia koutou for all your mahi as well with your boys. You know, they paid their hearts out over the weekend, and these are the fruits of your labor. So, kapai koutou. We'll get you to come over, take your photo, and then I'll ask your captain to then come and receive the trophy for winning the 2024 Tama Tournament. Now you got a job.
And presenting the winner's trophy to Tatau Rangatira, to Tatau Kaumatua, Hemana Waka. And can I get the captain, please, to come and receive your trophy? Etu Heitia Uriyariki, Homai Te Paki our 2024 champions. Okay, we have another Haka trophy uh, to give out now. As our team take their photos, Kapai Brothers, thank you very much. Go and take your seat. Kapai. In te wahanga ki te haka o te reanga te kaumāwha. O mai te paki paki, our haka champions in under 14's grade, te toka o waitaha. Kapai koe tā, haramai, haramai. Kapai. 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 Get your trophy, take your photo, and then sukuna, toihi, toihi, te wana, and let everybody know why you are the 2024 Haka Champions. For the whanau who don't know where the toka uh, tu o waitaha are from, i haere mai te waipauna murano. Uh, they came from the South Island and travelled all the way up here. So a big shout out to all their whanau as well. Had to put a lot of money together to get these boys up here to Rotorua for the weekend. And now they take home a trophy back to the waipauna. Ngā mihi kia koutou tāne ma. Anei, te teho a ratau kaihaka, i kahara o tana takahi te whenua, i pakaru te wāwai. Think about all the adversity that the South Islands had to endure over the years, earthquakes. They've had to endure, of course, the mosque shootings and that as well. The whanau have gotten together and helped get these kids here to the tournament. Ngā mihi koutou i eke panuku, i eke tangaroa, i roto i te wahanga ki te haka, te tuka o waitaha. We will now move on to the announcement of the under-14s tournament team. And I'd like to acknowledge the PYC management. The coach of this side will be Grayson Takiri. The manager, Kylie King Hazel. Assistant coach, Shane Preston. The head trainer, Tokowaka. And assistant trainer, Vidal Morgan. Presenting uh, the medals to our tournament's uh, team, Puma Huyates and Cole Sayers. And a big mihi, of course, to all our selectors for the tournament team in the under-14s grade as well. The tournament team for 2024, Notefanga Nui Axel Reynolds. No e tu heitia uri ariki, Blaine Adams.
No e tu heitea uri ariki, Blake Tikino. No te kapa o te kotahitanga, Chad Kamara. No te kapa o e tu heitea uri ariki, Jonah Bell. Ano hoki no te kapo e tu heitia uri yariki, Kalani Ford Stevens. No te kapo o muri whenua whai repo, Kavali Wiki Rawiri. No te kapo o ko tahitanga, Kendrick Monga. No te kapa o e tu heitia uri ariki Kobe te kiri. No te kapa o ko tahitanga Koya Cook. No te kapa o ko tahitanga Lennox Gray Samania. No te kapa o e tu heitia uri ariki, maihi, pene. No te kapa o e tu heitia uri ariki, naua te kiri. No te kapa no hoki o e tu heitia uri ariki, Peyton, Trey, Pakau. No te kapa no hoki o e tu heitia uri ariki, Rico Ford. No te kapa o te tokatu o Waitaha, Robert Tahi. No te kapa o te tokatu o Waitaha, Ruin Tahi. No te kapa o te kotahitanga, Shay McEwen. No te tai tokerau, i whatitiri ai te uira, Hokianga Storm, Māori Rugby League, Stalin, Merito, Allen. No te kapa o te kotahitanga, Tahu, Pōtiki, Aumua. No te kapa o e tu heitia uri ariki, tipene, moiz. And rounding up our under 14s tournament side, no e tu heitia uri ariki, Tristan Renata Kokiri. Once again, I'd like to acknowledge all of our sectors and a reminder also that the boys will be playing in the PYC, the PAC tournament in November of this year. And I'll let them take their photo and then I'll announce the player of the tournament. Just a reminder, boys, don't go anywhere after the photo. You'll be going behind here to have a pakuhui with your management staff. And our player of the tournament for 2024, the Tamaiti Iekeke Taumata, Noa Te Kiri No Uri Yariki. Presented by, of course, our whanau here. So to the boys, don't go away. We'll have a uh, hui with our management staff so they'll let you know what's happening for the future. Kei a kuiti, kei a kurehi, kei a kui whakatika i tika tēnā koutou. I tō koutou kahatou toko i te whakatai tainei.
Kapaya warm up. Before we take off, though, I'm going to do our quick cutty here. I'll do a fast one so we can get into our cars. Kapai to hoki atu kita wa kainga i tai a Māori mai me hoki a Māori atu kita wa kainga. Kia tau, kia tātou katoa, te ata whai o tō tātou wariki. I ukurai ti me te aroha te atua, me te whiwhinga tai i tanga ki te wairua. Tapu, ke tonu atu. Amine. Kapai to hoki atu kita wa kainga e hoa ma. Māori ora kia tātou katoa.